Hello, hello. Welcome to stream. Welcome to stream, everybody. It's Saturday. It's a quiet, quiet, lazy Saturday. Um, so it's just me today. Harpy is Harpy is tied up dealing with uh, with with her thing that did not get finished on Friday due to uh, due to some external circumstances. She's also feeling a bit under the weather. So, um, so if she gets done with work, she may jump in and join me in last epoch or, or another game, but, um, but I'm afraid you're going to have to deal with only looking at me today. Well, and whoever else you have up and, or whatever else you want to do, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So on, on that front though, on that front, why don't we just get right into it? Why don't we just get right directly into it? Um, and by it, I mean last epoch. Let's just, uh, let's fire right into last epoch. I think, um, so the game has had uh, a pretty oh geez <laughs> i just popped my my elbow brace off yeah as i mentioned old lanids is uh <laughs> i'm doctored up right now i'm doctored up um to try and keep my wrist and, and shoulder from hurting so bad so i can get through stream i think i'll be able to uh feel free to take off anytime you need to with your arm hurting i will i will yeah i won't overdo it um because it hurts no matter what i do um, and it's really, I mean, it's, it's my shoulder. It's that shoulder injury up top. It's that's it, it manifests in the wrist and elbow, but it's the shoulder. Got a cat sleeping inside my shirt. So I'm here lurking. Very nice. Very nice. So last epoch, I remember now why I don't wear this one very much. The Velcro is worn out. Um, it's one of those where it's got like the hooks on the strap and then the body of the brace itself is like the the, the the fuzzy part and um it's i've worn it so much in the years that we've had it that that it, it doesn't hold on anymore so anyway <clears throat> excuse me last epoch has had has had a run to put it mildly and um i think uh they they, they put a they put out a server update that they're like really happy you know like I'll, let me back up the game had been running like a couple thousand active players at any one time during point nine when they'd release a patch it'd go up to like three four thousand and then dribble down as you would expect and then they they dropped 1.0 and immediately cratered the servers i think originally they planned to have thirty thousand players online um 10 times the normal load the normal surge so they planned for 10 times immediately cratered everything everything went to hell in a handbasket and um so they fought through it, did the best they could. They kind of knew it was coming. They planned for it a little bit and, and implemented a very robust offline play mode where you can't really play with other people, but you can still play the game solo, which is what we did on stream. And it worked great, right? <clears throat> and so over the over the next couple of days after the launch, they, um, they implemented some stuff. And um, yesterday they, they're like, okay, well, we had planned for 30,000 and we were kind of struggling with that. Like you guys, there were more of you than that. So we went really gone soon. We went for 180. Okay. So now we're good. Now we're good. There are 240,000 people currently playing the game and the servers are overloading again. <laughs> so they can't win. Like they're, it's great. I mean, it's great to see them getting all the success. They actually just beat, I think POE's all time. Um, Steam high, which is that doesn't mean anything like that's not I'm not saying that like haha ha, better than PoE It's just like but goddamn PoE is a pretty long-term game and to to um, Beat that all-time high uh, So quickly like that shows there's a lot of interest it, um, Again having all-time high numbers doesn't mean anything about like whether the game's good or, or not It just means that there's a lot of interest so but it's kind of wild. Like they plan for 180 as they're like, okay, we've already blown through our pie in the sky number of 30,000. So we'll multiply that by six. And they just blew that. Like it, I seriously think there are probably a half million people trying to play the game. Um, you know, 300 to 500,000 would be my guess, which is a pretty remarkable number. So anyway, um, but I'm online. Um, I've made two online characters, as you can see, and then we have our um, our offline character uh, there to switch it offline. So here's here's Mortalia that we made. She's our Lish, um, and she's the character we played before. And then um, when I got online a couple days ago, I made a sorcerer who is um, uh, he's an ice sorcerer at this point. So he's a mage, 
um, and then has specced into the the mastery class of sorcerer. Um, and uh, and he's he's pretty fun. He's pretty fun now that he's got all his base abilities. Um, I'm enjoying him a lot. He's he's surprisingly beefy, and, and he too fucks shit up. So and then uh, and then I made a uh, I made a sword and board guy like I wanted to a sentinel who could then become either a paladin a void knight or a forge knight, um, and him I was gonna probably lean towards forge knight, just because I don't really know like holy holy warrior of the light it's all good and fine but you know kind of support, um, not the class fantasy that's my favorite I like support roles don't get me wrong but when I'm sword and boarding I like to I like to be in the thick of it. And the Void Knight is, um, I worry, would be squishier. You know, like I prefer a tankier sword and board. You know, I want to be basically indestructible, even if it means that it's going to take me a little longer to kill something. So I'm thinking maybe Fortunate is the way he should go, but I don't really know. Um, that said, in this game, pretty much everybody can be tanky, including mages. And everybody can be, you know, massively... Whoop, um, yeah, well, so there it is. That's, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. And that's uh, that's Harpy and and our dog the Doofus, Udo, at the gate to it, right outside Estes Park. We um, this is 2017. That's the trip I broke my leg on. Uh, this is before I broke it, and um, we went to um, we had to go get some stuff for my stepfather. That some of my mother's stuff. My mother's ashes are scattered in, in Rocky Mountain National Park. I scattered them there actually. Um, we had to uh, we had to go get some stuff from him that he still had in storage, and he lived nearby still because they lived in Estes Park, right outside Rocky Mountain National Park when she died. Um, <clears throat> so we had to go and, and get all that, and uh, we we said, you know what, let's just make a little trip of this. And Heather had never seen the spot because she couldn't go when I had to go uh, deal with my mom's final affairs and everything. Um, and so we. Uh, we went and I took Heather to show her the spot where I scattered my mom's ashes and everything. And we, we spent a few days there. And it was a wonderful trip other than the leg breaking. So welcome in, Ask. Welcome, Ask. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure which to play. I kind of want to play Mortalia, but I'm, I, I'll tell you, I'm also really enjoying the Sentinel. I'll, I'll play the Sentinel for a little bit. Let's just, like, kind of get a look at him. We're going to just kind of play around. We're not going to, like, I'm not going to rope myself into anything in particular. Hey, welcome in, Rave. Welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. So we'll see how it goes, and and if the online play sucks, we'll switch to offline mode. Because like this here, <laughs> this is this yeah, this is where this is where the uh, um, server issues are going to come up. Like this, and when you zone in, when you cross zone barriers, sometimes you'll just sit there for ten minutes, an hour, five minutes. You know, I've had pretty good luck, but so the fact that it pulled up my character list immediately, I was thinking like, well, we might be doing pretty good, but. Um, the fact that we're stuck on that screen, we might not. Let me pull up Steam, Steam charts just to see how she's doing. Yeah, they dropped player count a little bit. So they peaked out, it looks like 20, 234,000. And we're down to 230, 223 right now. And that that makes sense because we're, we're hitting dinner time across the pond. and uh, Or we've hit dinner time across the pond and we're coming up on dinner time on the East Coast. So view counts or player counts are going to start going down. You know, like any players like in Russia, they've come offline pretty much now, probably, um, or are starting to anyway. So looks like we did make it in. We'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a whirl and see how she goes. And then, uh, like I said, if it doesn't work, <clears throat> then we'll just go offline mode. Um, because honestly, I don't do anything online right now other than like if I'm going to play with Harvey or anybody else. Like I have chat disabled. <laughs> so I find it much more immersive. I, I don't like seeing chat in uh in arpgs unless i'm like in town or something um but like diablo like i ignore chat if i'm not actively you know talking in it but the first thing i do is is try and get rid of it so the fact that they have a button to to disable chat in this is that's a happy feel for me i'm sitting here like okay i better get my phone out i better check for messages from harpy oh wait <laughs> my girl's right next to me i don't think she's listening to us though I don't think she's, I don't think she has stream up. I think I'm getting a look. Fuck, I think she has stream up. Hi. I love you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got called out. Shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it in. We'll give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. <clears throat> so anyway, 
yeah, that's uh, let's see what's going on. What's going on? So Harpy's home, but like I said, um, she she may not be joining in at all on stream today. She might later. Um, given that given that Peach is oh we got a <laughs> oh so that's the driveway of the little house we rented in Oklahoma before we bought the house that we lived in, and that is a garden cart that I made for Harpy. Um, I made it to haul potted plants around and haul supplies around our yard as we worked because we had containers. I didn't want to plant a whole lot of stuff permanently because we didn't own the house. Um, and I had put in a rain barrel system because we were going through a really bad drought and outdoor watering was like prohibited. Um, and Oklahoma, of course, is, is very, very hot and very, very dry in the summers. So if you can't water, your plants are all going to die. So, um, I had put in a, a rain barrel system. I had tapped into all the downspouts to, and put big rain barrels on them. So we had lots of water from that. And then our air conditioner drained um, outside. Unlike a lot of places where your air conditioner just drains into, um, into like a, a normal drain, right? That goes into the sewer system. A lot of houses in Oklahoma and other parts of the Midwest had their, had their air conditioning added later. Um, uh, after the houses were built. And so the houses weren't necessarily designed with them. So they may not be like a drain up in the ceiling. That's easy to get to da, 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 da. So a lot of times those, those drains just are PVC pipes that like run out to the edge of the roof somewhere and stick down and then just drip on the ground because it's, it's clean water. The condensation you get from your AC is, is condensed moisture from the atmosphere. It's, it's as clean as rain. You know, it's, it's very, very clean. It's very potable. So, I captured that. Um, and of course, in Oklahoma, it's relatively humid a lot of the time. And when you know, you're running that AC all the time, um, I was getting a 55 gallon drum full of water every two days or so, you know, it's like 30, 40 gallons of water a day sometimes that I got out of that system, which was enough to water quite a few containers every single day. I mean, you know, your average watering can like a big watering can is two gallons. So I was getting 25 cans worth of water every couple days um which is enough to that's quite a few trips back and forth so um we would use that cart to sometimes bring the plants to the container to do the watering because it was faster and other times i would I, you know or like if we were just doing planting you know we'd put load up like dirt and um fertilizer and pots and shovels and you know whatever we needed to and take it to the spot that garden cart still exists it's at the house we bought and we left it there um, as a, as a gift for the owners, but it was still perfectly fine. still worked great. Um, very simple thing to build. And I, I think it looked really good. I was really happy with it. We're clearly not, <clears throat> damn, excuse me. <clears throat> we're clearly not going to make it in. So I'm going to, I'm going to get out of game and we're going to just start that over. We're going to do that again. And this time we're going to play offline. We'll play online. There's two kinds of offline play in last epoch. There's offline play where you're still online and can chat, but you're not like, you know, playing with other people offline. And then there's offline, offline, where like the game is not online in any way, shape or form. Absolutely, you cannot chat, you cannot anything, you, you can't play leader, nothing. You've got nothing at all. So if we have to, we'll do true offline mode, but I don't think we will, I think we'll be fine. <clears throat> Last Epoch, I think we'll be fine, he said, waiting for the game to open. I'm not one of those. Their their Discord is a uh, is a horror show right now. I um I went into the to the Discord just to kind of keep up with the news because it's where they they post stuff which I really like. Um, I hate it when companies are like to keep up to date with us. Follow us on Twitter. No, no, I will not. I will not. I will not have an account. I refuse. I deleted it long ago. I will not recreate it. I will not contribute in any way to that platform's success because of the um the uh abuse and uh mismanagement at the highest levels of it and and the purposes for which it is being used i, I cannot and will not support that platform like pretty much most every social media platform uh in my case spark up i can do that i can do that I'm, I'm fighting a little bit of a tickle, so I'm going to take it a little easy. Harp, that's what Harpy's sick with, and I don't want to get what she's got because she's she's coming down sick as a dog, unfortunately. Um, but I'll take a I'll, I'll take a little you know, foam foam. Yeah, it will help the shoulder. It absolutely will for sure. 
There you go. Oh, mama. So we're going to go offline this time. <clears throat> there it is. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll go offline. We'll play Mortalia the Lish. I think you'll hear it <clears throat> in my voice, too, that, that I've got this tickle and it's trying to frog up on me. Okay, so we're a Lish now, and uh, if you guys remember, we're a Lish, and we have this badass Lish form we can go into and become just an absolute beast bitch, um, and that's Reaper form, so let's turn into the Grim Reaper herself. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. I mean, that's, that's sick, dude. That is sick. I mean, come on. Come on. What's not to love? Look at her go. Ha. You know, like I'm, I'm here for this. Um, this build, if I remember right, well, this build, every spec in this game and every class in this game has insane numbers of different viable builds. Like basically, you have to really work to not be viable for at least for part of the end game. There will be builds that can go farther. At the end game, this is a lot like Diablo 3, where you have greater rifts and you try and go farther and farther and farther, and there's, um, no limit to how far they can go and eventually they'll just be too hard and you can't beat them um, and you can switch your build and switch your equipment and maybe go 10 levels farther but eventually you'll get to the point where no matter how good you are you can't beat it like it's the best you can do um, as a player and the best that character or spec can do so you'll run into that there are definitely specs and things that go farther than others but in terms of getting through the campaign leveling and doing like the first you know half of the end game Pretty much everything's about equal. Like, they don't really matter too much, which I think is great. So, let's get our butts. We are at the end of time. So now we're going back to uh, not the end of time. And we're going to, uh, we're going to go hunt. We got to go find this, this city. We, we got to go find the city and talk to the peoples and let them know, holy shit, time is broken. And, uh, and I'm here from the far future with knowledge from my many future selves to uh to lend help i think i think that's what we're supposed to do yes yes so i gotta go to the cultist camp and then we gotta go up here that's where our that's where our actual quest is so we've made it to the forsaken trail so we'll just we'll, we'll waypoint locked oh i haven't found that yet okay I'm, i stand corrected we made it to the surface so we'll go to the surface god damn look at that art man that art is beautiful and uh and let's see what we do so but i was saying this build like I think a lot of Lish builds are going to be built around like ramping up DOT. My my class fantasy on her is to be the Grim Reaper, right? Like that's what I want to do. I don't know how viable that's going to be. So we're going to play with it and see what we can do. Um, yeah, so I've got Curse, Transplant. Okay, that's my Warp. Yep, all right. So basically in her case, I'm going to curse things and then I'm going to go Reaper form and kill them. Or I'm just going to curse them and not go Reaper form if Reaper's on cooldown. It's got a pretty short cooldown. I think it's 20 seconds. And if you do it right, it can last... Jesus. Or I'll let the golem just eat everything, because apparently he's hungry. <laughs> he doesn't want to share, does he? Yeah. So she doesn't even need to go Reaper. We're going to save the Reaper kind of for the big boys. Just to get a feel for stuff, because she's doing just fine right now. Yeah. She's doing just fine right now. Which I would expect. Okay. Reaper form active. Oh, wow. When she charges through them, that is... I mean, when she reaps is what it is. Oh, my God. It does a lot of damage and it heals me. So, the thing with Reaper form is, you know, that's it, right? She's taking damage now. You can see her health bar is getting lower and lower and lower and lower. And, uh... Wow, she fucked him up, though, bro. So her health bar goes down, and once her health bar is down, then um, you go back into mortal form, and your your 20-second cooldown begins, which is no biggie. So the goal, ideally, in Reaper form is to be able to suck in health constantly, constantly, constantly. And that's why a lot of people do Reaper form at, with DOTs and um, uh, drain life. Yeah, you know, health leeching type stuff going on because they're, they're constantly pulling health in. I don't really have that very much right now. I don't think. I mean, I've got rip blood. Drain life. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, so five points into the passive tree, I'll get drain life. And I think this R of Decay is the other thing they use. 
Um, yeah, just straight up an aura. So that's just straight up doing damage to everything all the time. And then on your gear, you get like mana or health leech and you're good to go. Um, but you do those along with maybe blood curse. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, I don't know. We'll, we'll look at that. We'll look at that if and when we get to that point. For now, we're clearly doing just fine, I think. Just fine. Okay, so we gotta we gotta find the uh, the city of Wellrim. What we're looking for, <laughs> Jesus. What we're looking for is um, God. When I put that curse on them, they just all fall down, don't they? The golem just says sit, and and by God they sit. Ooh. Um, actually, hold on. Is this actually good for me? Increased critical. Yes, it is. Yes, it it really is. Increased physical. Increased necrotic. Ooh, ooh. Still, though, it's pretty good. Um, I'm using a two-handed sword, so it really shouldn't be anything. Um, yeah, and I don't I don't think I have a loot filter on, like, at all. I do not, because I there is no build for this character, so I don't really know what I want yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going we're gonna to be a little um, picky about the items we pick up, because otherwise you're going back all the time, and you just don't need to be doing that. And that's that's kind of weird that you don't like. Oh, there's too much, too many items you don't want to pick up. There's so much loot that drops in this game; it's insane. You have to use loot filters. Or, oh, oh, okay, all right, fine. We'll play that game. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you can see she did pretty good there. I think I just tried to reap my own revenant. Ooh, ritual steak. I like the way that sounds. Hmm, it's all spell damage. Okay, so, uh, why don't I just pick up this skull hat thing? Gain ward on kill with hungering souls. I don't use hungering souls to kill, unfortunately. Okay, fair. Keep moving on. <laughs> Get a level. Love that. Okay. Yay, new passive. Let's go. The levels come pretty quick and easy, too. So you can see my goal now in Reaper form is to move, 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 kill, kill, kill. As much as I can. Hit stuff. Everything I can hit. The more stuff I can hit, the more stuff I can kill. The longer I can stay in Reaper form. Ooh, ooh. But even out of Reaper form, she's doing... She's not having any trouble. She's not having any trouble at all. Okay. All right. Picked up a couple new items. Uh, freeze rate. No. Increased lightning damage. Melee fire damage. Hello. Hold on. Hold on. So, like, right now, our harvest is 120. Okay. About the same. About the same. Damn. Damn. Get a new golem out. Our golem doesn't really heal. Ooh. So, yeah, she's just tearing through them right now. Come on. Well, or I just end up st standing in the crap. Uh, what do we got here? A pickaxe. Ooh, physical. See, that's great, but... Eh. Melee crit. Chance to ignite. Chance to ignite. Imagine a Reaper that's lighting people. 7.8% of melee damage leached as health. Hello, hello. Welcome to stream. We take a hell of a damage reduction. But, 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 we can light people on fire. And we can, we can leech their, their damage as health. So, for example, whack, whack. Yeah, you see, she's staying at full health right now. Which means I'm going to stay in Reaper form for a good long time. Ow. Unless I stand in that, obviously. Ooh. 
get a new golem up. He's getting getting a bit low. Ugh. Getting stuck on something there. Nasty little spiders. All right, so that was nastier than it should have been. That was definitely nastier than it should have been. Hello, hello. Increased armor, dodge rating. Eh. I don't know. What do we have? No. <laughs> Definitely want these shards, though. Shards are life. Very soon, we're going to get into crafting, probably. We'll start crafting some gear. <laughs> all right. Put those guys all to bed. Look like there's anything else down here. Got a rune prison. That doesn't seem great. Rob. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. All right. Got a mage. Gonna kill him. Gonna kill him. Ow. Okay. Well, he's gonna hurt us a little bit. You know, that's okay. That's okay. You do that. You just do that. I don't like this near me. I don't like that either. Shit. Come on, dude. Bro. Oh my god. He is all over the place. What an asshole. Well, he's still he's still pretty chewed up. Okay, Golem's about to go down. We're gonna bring him back on our terms. Almost got him. And he's down. Ho, ho, ho. He dropped some very nice bracers. We will take that. 100% we will take that. Let's see what we got. None of that other stuff looks remotely. Care of here. I don't give a damn. Okay, so we got purple. Purple is the top tier of, of basic dropped gear. You know, then you got uniques and legendaries and shit that go beyond that. Yo, welcome in, Chicle. Welcome in. So purple's your top tier. And this item is just got a shitload of armor. 11% um, of armor mitigation also applies to damage over time. That's very nice. Armor does not help you against like DOTs or magic at all. Plus 46 armor. Also nice. Now, what are we wearing? Increased minion damage. I like that, but no thank you. I mean, this is this is a no-brainer. Ooh, increased minion damage. Hello? Hmm. Oh, yeah. We'll replace that ring right now. Okay, that was easy. Um, and this thing, don't care. Okay, all right. Minion health, elemental damage. Okay, on we go, on we go. Yeah, we got some, I got a, I got a, I don't know. I, I think my Reaper fantasy, while noble, is perhaps not the play. Perhaps we need to think more dots and, and just being a, being a, ooh. I really thought we killed you. Ooh, hello. This is why you don't look at the loot on the battlefield. <laughs> well, we're not playing a hardcore character, so, well. What a bunch of nasties, though. Yeah, you definitely don't want to play the hardcore character. That's funny. Okay, yeah, we have the... Do, 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 do. We'll go up this way. Let's see what we can find. Maybe we can get into some trouble. Ooh, heretic garb of life. Increased armor, mana, and health. Let's take a look. What are we wearing? We're wearing intelligence, vitality, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, the health is good. Increased armor isn't. Yeah, I don't feel like that's really worth anything. Oop. Oh, yeah, it's doing this stuff where it's throwing me out of the game, too, sometimes. So hang tight. That's that's one thing I, I hope they fix. I saw some people complaining about that on the Discord, so I'm, I'm glad it's not just me. Like being, you know, spazzy. Like the game is, for some reason, in windowed mode. You'll just click through the window and grab focus on whatever's behind it or your desktop, and you won't know why the game suddenly stopped, like, responding. You know? But it doesn't do that in full screen or uh, borderless window mode, which is good. 
which is normally how I would play it. And I may I may switch over if it continues to be. Oh, dude. Okay, so she's really taking an ass whipping now. When there's oh, hello, we found a unique. Hello. Oh, look at it. Look at it. 19 physical damage. Yes, please. 41% increased companion revive speed. Okay, so this is 100% for um, Beastmasters. You know, Druids and uh, Primalists in general. I think all Primalists can get like at least one or two pets. And then Beastmasters do a shitload of pets. Like that's their whole shtick. That is very much a Primalist axe and or a Beastmaster axe. So no use to us, unfortunately. But we will keep that because that's a that's a nice item for down the road and i do think we're going to change her build around because these abilities are not really working yet of course we don't have a lot of the ones we need so why don't we why don't we look at that too so we've got our passive tree here this is these are the acolyte passives which are the base class and then you can be one of the three master classes but you can actually put points in any of them um because sometimes you might find, like, some of these Warlock points may help us. Like, increase damage over time. That helps us, regardless. Um, like, all these spell abilities don't necessarily. But So we definitely want some 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 stuff here. Um, you deal increased damage. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you. All sources of health leech are converted to increased damage. No, I actually want health leech quite a bit, so... Um, I think this is the way to go for us. We'll do that. And then, um, actually, I'm going to continue to look at those, though. Yeah, Drain Life is, I want Drain Life for sure. Channeled spell that targets three enemies around the target location, dealing necrotic damage and leeching it back its health. So, but you get, while you're channeling, you get no mana regen. And so it just drains your mana. You can't do it constantly. But that's okay. So I definitely want that. And then I want the Aura of Decay. So we, we know we're going to get those two skills as we level up. So let's just continue pushing forward carefully this time. Um, and we'll go from there. Ooh. See, like that. That fucking hurt, dude. Holy balls. Sir. Broken Sword of Hunger. Oh, well, I picked it up. God damn. Yeah, those those throwers, man, they are they are nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Little pieces of work there. Okay. Let's see if we can't get into some more trouble. Come on, hello, anything? I want to eat, I'm hungry. I kinda cheated there. I uh used the potion to stay in Reaper form. Because you have no health regen. But your health, um, it decays faster as time goes on, so. Man. Okay. Sheesh. Sheesh. Evasion. Health regen. Dodge rating. That's actually not maybe bad. Um, we got cold and, uh, I don't know, man. Dodge rating is probably better. She sure is taking a lot of damage from bulls. Why don't we try that out? An assassin's sword of hunger. One-handed. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be any good for us. Alright, let's 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 continue forth here. Yeah, we're just not going to fuck with those guys. We're going to just kill them. A staff of sleep. Bro Whoa! Hi, Zach. Hello. I will hydrate. Because I just pissed myself. You had to do it when I'm in Reaper form, too. Damn it. God damn it. Yeah, dude. Welcome in, Zach. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Zach, I looked at that stuff that we... Uh, that. And so far, performance seems to be good. So I think we're a go on uh, on those those little uh, add-on, you know, quality of life things you mentioned. So I'm not really seeing any major effect. There is an effect, but it's pretty minor, um, and it's I can live with it. So we're good. And I think we good. OK. 
Okay, so far so good. <laughs> get reaped. God, I love her reaper form though. I really, really do. It's so delicious if I can get... Yeah, these are the guys. We really got to deal with those guys pretty quickly. I love her reaper form. Ooh. Don't get distracted. Start and finish the new build on the next one. Nice. More noise. Oh, fuck. Okay, no reaper build this time, boss. Or no reaper uh, mode. And that's okay. She's built to take a bit of a beating if she needs to. Because she pulls out that revenant when she goes below half health. So that helps a lot. Yeah, I, I do like her. I do like her. She's fun. If we can get into online, I'll show you some of the other characters. Because that sorcerer dude, he is. He's, he's regarded like how OP he is right now. Do not be alarmed. We are not the madmen you've seen on the road. We're different survivors. That's what every cultist in the world is going to say. Okay? Hey, don't be alarmed. We're not like the others. Bro. Bro. What brings you here? Is this Walrim? Yes, although it's seen better days. The cultists who use the blessings of oblivion are an excuse for destruction. As an excuse for destruction have rendered his city, this city uninhabitable. Those, those of us who retained our sanity were forced into exile here on the edge of the ruins. What brings you here? I am searching for the Temple of Atera. How interesting. We would like to make an offer. We'll double the offer. We're planning a ritual. Not cultists. We're planning a ritual. Yeah. Should you succeed, it will give us power to defend ourselves from mad cultists. But we need aid retrieving the relics from Welrin. Phylactery from the ruins to the north. Hello, fellow kids vibes. Yeah, no shit, exactly. Hello, fellow not cultists. And the symbol of hope held by the cultists in the docks to the south. If you gather these relics for us, we will grant you passage beyond the city. Well, we need the symbol of hope. I don't think we need to let them have it. What are those relics, or where are they? North of here. Down there you'll find an undead from the Immortal Empire. Neat. To the south of the docks, on the first day's um, sent aid, the symbol of hope. Okay. Well, I don't really think that's great, but sure, we'll give it a whirl. Do, 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 do. What do you got? An optional. Have you also lost your home? I have. Feeling that glint of grief in your eye. We had to leave the larger ruins. Others led the void to them to violence. They relish in cruelty and taint the void with it, attracting horrors. Horrors. Why can't they see tranquility? Dude, I mean, this is straight out of Conan. Tranquility. You know? Seek emptiness. Dude, Thulsa Doom, it like... That man fucks. That man fucks. In both snake and regular form. Whichever one is his real form. Probably neither. Actually, did it ever occur to you if you watch Conan the Barbarian that Thulsa Doom, that human version of Thulsa Doom, played by Edward uh, Edward James almost, Jesus Christ, by James Earl Jones. Um, did it ever occur to you that that human form is maybe not his natural form either? That it's as fake as his snake form is, and that he's something completely different. Food for thought, because they 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 kind of imply it. They kind of imply it. It's subtle, but it's there. Another re one of many reasons I love that movie. Why can't they see tranquility, the peace of oblivion? Instead, the horrors ruin our home. May tranquility, tranquility be with you. Mm. Okay. Well, we got to go each way, so let's go. Let's go down here first. And let's also uh, sell off all this bullshit we're carrying. Yes, hello cultists. I heard that you buy bullshit. I have so many Cheez-Its now. You have so many Cheez-Its. Oh, I thought you meant like IRL. I was like, bro. Bro. I have half a box of Cheez-Its and it is insufficient. We might have another one actually. I hope you may have got someone human shopping. I don't remember. Melee cold damage. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I mean, this is nice. Actually, increase damage over time and health on hit. Hold this. Let's think about that. 
that's definitely not. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, we know we don't want any of these. But this I want to think about. All right, so right now we're doing 97 damage. And now we're doing... God, it's an even more of a drop, but... Yeah, no. Mm. No. Okay. <clears throat> it's, oh, shit. Well, <laughs> I just tore his counters out. Mm. There you go. Later, dude. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. And let's go find the stash real quick and drop this axe off. Because this axe is pretty fucking nice, actually. So we got a nice axe. And we got these gloves. Increased leech rate. Hello? Elemental damage leached his health. You know? I mean, we don't do elemental damage. But, um... We do have leech. Let's see if that increases our leech ability. I mean, we're early enough. We can play with stuff. I know this is heresy around here, but I don't even like cheese it's that much IRL. If Athena were here, which she may be, I would just say, actually, if Peach were here, I mean, Athena may may, may, may throw the ban around, but do not ban Lindfirm. We welcome alternate opinions in this chat. You fool. You fool. You're allowed to not like them that much. That's fine. I like them. I don't expect everyone else to like them. It's a big, beautiful world, and we can all we can all like different snackies. All right, so we gotta we gotta. Jeez, oh, there's a lot of fools on these dogs. You know what? Now we're gonna get get reaped on. Get absolutely reaped on, bro. Just means more cheese its for the rest of you. Valid. Very, very, very valid. Damn, this guy is nasty, bro. He is extremely nasty. I mean, he's basically just having his way with me there. God damn. Kind of didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, I hate these guys. I've got to get a filter going for this. I'll figure out a build for her at some point, and then, then we can get a loot filter going. Instead of just blindly... Because, like, oh, I'm going to just only grab the purple stuff. Why are you even looking? Because plenty of times, blue weapons, which are, like, your base magic item, are better than, than a purple if they have a higher level affix on them. Or higher level affixes, or the affixes are better, especially while you're leveling. It's just like in Diablo, you know? As you're leveling, a lot of times a new piece of bottom tier magic gear will be better than that rare you have from the first act. And it's the same here. That while we're leveling, ah, these guys suck. I do not like these things at all. They just, they, that bombard of theirs is kind of rough, bro. Chewing up my golem, too. Do, 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 spark up. Jeez Louise, y'all are insistent. Spark ups. Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I see you, Raven. I see you. Oh, shit. Okay, God. She, she, I mean, when she's in rape, reaper form, though, man, she, she does not play. She, she decides to have lunch. And lunch is cultists. You know what I mean? And I'm here for it. I, I'd love that reaper form. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, well, we found a thing. And we found a bunch of other things. Great. The thing has its own things. I love that. I love it when the thing has things, you know? Okay, got them. Ooh, shit. No, no, no. It's a void centipede? I hate that so much. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. That was the sound of a man's penis just getting engorged. Blighted pike. Increased damage over time. 45% increased necrotic damage. Reaper form. While in Reaper form, da da da, da um, 
basically, your damage turns necrotic when you're in Reaper form. Which means that 45% extra. Uh, so, th yeah, long story short, that's that's a good pike for me. That shield is a nice fucking shield, actually, but not for us. Um, yeah, so damage is actually lower with that pike. But when I'm in Reaper form, it's going to be, well, 274. Yeah, see, 237, 274. So we're going to be drastically more effective in Reaper form. Give me the symbol of hope, fool. Take the symbol of hope. Well, that was easy. Cool. Now let's see if we can get in some more trouble. Yeah, it's definitely slow, but boy, it hits like a truck. And I love that. Hmm. Sash of life. Minion health. Potions. Health. What are we wearing? Oh, we're wearing that good... Yeah, no. Forgot we're wearing that good set piece. Um, let's also spend our points like good little peoples. So I now have drain life. Yay. Ow. God, they're just so gnarly, dude. They hit so hard. And I don't have a lot of, like, escape mechanisms on her. But, 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 but. Okay, now that that's done. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of Transplant because I'm not using it. Transplant is a teleport that, that sucks health. So there you go. It takes off about 10% of my health, but I get to teleport, and it has a pretty low cooldown. And that's great. But in Reaper form, I can also do a short-range dash, and I think that's good enough. I say that, but you know what? L why don't we try this, actually? Let's keep the escape mechanism. We'll get off of soul, off of Harvest here as much as it burns my soul to do it. And we'll put Drain Life on there. Because Drain Life, I think, is straight necrotic damage. Yeah, it's necrotic damage over time. So 229 damage per second right now. And our other weapon, without that necrotic bonus, is 159. So you see how that 45% is, you know, huge, huge difference. So now in Reaper form, yeah, see, I can just slurp these dudes up. <laughs> I mean, if, you know, well, you know, um, and, and, and live off their life force quite easily. And in Reaper form, that will be even more significantly improved. So we, we dot, we dot, and then we go, gimme, 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 gimme. I don't care that you're hitting me. And lo and behold, he just went down like a chump. Absolute chump. So even though this is a garbage weapon, because it's got that 45%, holy balls, is it effective for us. And you can see they just melt. When I, when I hit them with that beam, they just absolutely crater. And the best part is, if I have a few enemies I can pull from, I can stay in Reaper form for a long time. So this is going to be fun to experiment with, for sure. Slurping dudes. Exactly. You get it, Obi. You know. If you're not sucking down your enemies, I mean, and claiming their power for your own, what are you doing? And this thing... uh why settle for doing damage when you can do death damage? Exactly, exactly. See, Lin Linfirm also knows. Linfirm also knows. You get it. It's the Necron life, right? I say that like I played Alicia in this game. I haven't. I'm learning it with y'all. Okay. So, same thing here. We're looking for... Uh, we're looking... Uh, okay, we'll let the golem have him. Yeah, see, I, it hits three things, so it just chews them up. Just absolutely chews them up. Oh, I like this, man. I like this ability a lot. I, the, the reaping is great, but oh, shit. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's do that, and now let's slurp, 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 slurp. Yeah, so you can see, even though she's taking a pounding... Come on, get out of there. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's one important fact. <laughs> Do not regenerate mana while doing it. So I can't just sit there and sit on the ability. Increase lightning damage. Damn it. Oh. So I do have to pay attention to my mana, for sure. In a major, major way. And there's the rub. I don't have... Yeah, so... That ability... Ooh. Ooh. That ability's great, but since I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any way of attacking then without mana. Hmm, that's also good, but... So, we do need something that we can use without mana to fill in time. Yeah, okay. So, I think we're going to get rid of the curse is what we're going to do. We'll get rid of the curse. We'll put Drain Life on key one, and then I'll put my, my Harvest back on this key. What do you mean? Not enough space to unequip item? Huh? Weird. Bone mask. Hello? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so she just fueled up on all those guys. All those little dudes, just boop, 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 slurp them down, and uh, on we go. So anytime I've got mana, that's what I'm gonna. I'll be doing. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be sucking, and uh, getting my health up. So you can see, I'm still in Reaper form. We've been in Reaper form now for a hot minute, and now that I'm out of mana, I'll run up and I'll, I'll actually get in melee. Now I'm out. There we go. And she finally dropped Reaper form. But that was pretty long. I was in Reaper form for, what, a minute? Maybe? A minute and a half? I don't know. And the cooldown's already half over. And I can just mow them with that, that ability. Yeah. That's, that's feeling better. That's feeling like a, a good way of playing right now. Jesus, I love it when he charges. I know I say that every time, but I, I can't help it. Staff of Stillness. We're going to look at that. Okay, let's remember that staff is in there. Ooh. What a, what a terrifying looking helmet. I kind of love it. One-handed axe of poison, melee, and health on kill. Also not bad, though. But we'll hold on to that in case we can find an offhand that's good. Okay, let's look at that other thing. What was it? Shit. Come on, guys. Give me a break long enough to look at my stuff, bro. A sacrificial staff of stillness. Chance to poison. Ooh. Okay, so this would be a case where we want that necrotic damage really badly on this, right? We got bonus spell damage. We got reduced health cost of spells for those. We got good melee damage, so it's, it's still good for whapping people upside the head. Um... This would be a great example of a staff that if it had that ne bonus necrotic damage, we'd be really, really happy with it. But here's the thing. It only has three affixes. I still have a prefix I can put on it. So if I click that, we can look at what I can put on it. And do we have... I have necrotic damage. I can put necrotic damage on it. I wonder how many of these shards I have. Hmm... I mean, surely it tells me, right? No? Yes? What do you tell me? Do you tell me? It does not tell me specifically. So, 
That will burn off one of our affix shards if we do that and cost a little forging potential, but that's okay. We'll put a Glyph of Hope in there so we maybe don't use the forging potential. And our Glyph of Hope saved our forging potential. So we didn't use up any of these 22 forging points it has. That's how much you can work on the item, right? So by the way, we're doing crafting now. We're doing crafting now. So this is this is the shit that makes this game really neat, I think. So um, I can now, if I want, if I had another um, shard like that, I could um, raise the level of this from tier one to tier two. So the spell crit strike, I don't particularly care about. Um, the only thing I can bump up is this stun chance. I guess I got another shard that'll do that. So what I was thinking, though, is let's put a Glyph of Chaos in. Um, no, I have to upgrade. Okay, never mind. So we're not going to do that. We're happy with this item. So now, if we look at this, like 87 damage there, 229 there. We're going to take a damage hit, surely. Never mind, 279. Yeah, we're going to take a damage hit here, but our Necrotic's going to go up. This, I think, is going to be a better item because not only are we going to be poisoning... Um, yeah, we're going to be poisoning, and then we're going to be leeching that poison damage. And we've got a lot of extra spell crit, which, Drain Life, is a spell. So it's going to do really good for us. We'll take this guy. And here, if we put in a... Nope, not a glyph. Um, let, me, let me get out of that. No, I don't want to put a glyph in at all. Come on, no glyph. No glyph at all. There we go. We'll put in a Rune of... We can do a Rune of Shattering, which will just break these and we'll get some shards. Or... God, they're both good, though. Or I can put in a Rune of Removal, and that will actually give me two Necrotic Shards back. I kind of want to do that. Oh, it'll only remove... It'll just remove one of the affixes. Okay, so there we go. We just got that one. I mean, the damage over time is also pretty good, and that took all the forging potential. So this item is now dead. We, we stole its ability. Um, it took all the forging potential. We can't do a goddamn thing with it now, which is fine. So that's a garbage item. But now on this item, I can now upgrade my necrotic damage, yeah, yeah, which is pretty cool. And if we put a Glyph of Hope in, maybe we'll get to do it for free. So it's going to take 1 to 10 forging potential to upgrade this necrotic damage. Um, we have 22. And if the Glyph of Hope procs, it'll take nothing. Okay, it did not proc, which is fine. So we lost 6 of our forging potential. We can do it again if we want to, and I do. Um, if I can. I can't, can I? No, I can't. Okay. So I can upgrade this, t this stun chance and then hope for a critical and that would upgrade something else, but I'm fine with that. I think we're good. Well, I don't know though. Wait, no, we can't upgrade it. Ooh. Click. And the Glyph of Hope saved the, uh, saved the forging potential. So we're good. We don't have any more shards, so we can't do another one. But we now have tier three necrotic damage on this item. And you can see it now does 71% increased necrotic damage. Mama is all I have to say. We now do 336 damage per second with our drain life while we're not in Reaper form. And I think you can, you'll be able to see the difference. PDQ. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be real. Wow. I'm going to be real happy with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Extremely. No. No. Bad. Bad, ugly thing. Creature. Dead. Stupid. Okay. Very successful Reaper on that time. Yeah, I felt, that felt good. The only reason I dropped out of it was because I just didn't push harder to get in there and get to more enemies. So, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. 
And that's what this is about. That's that's what today is going to be about, basically. is like, let's just play with different abilities. Let's kind of play the game and explore the game together. We'll play through the campaign a bit. Oh, fuck. Um, hold on. Jesus Christ. God damn. Okay, so that's where that, that uh, drain life just completely saved our shit. Unreal. We had these guys march down like the delicious, tasty snacks they are. And um, and they, they became dinner and got us the quest that we needed to do whatever the hell we were doing in here. Also, I've got a... One of the things I do, and I'm sure you guys are probably like this too. One of the things I do in, in games, I, I tend to standardize my buttons. So like, button four will be my, oh shit buff my damage absorption give me a big shield give me a heal button button three might be my dash or teleport button button one might be my like i'm gonna spam this pretty regularly you know curse or something button you get the idea right um and i tend to do that in all like in wow on all of my characters like the equal key or my thumb button on my mouse is my uh short term somewhat spammable protect like as a uh as a warrior that's my shield block as a priest it's my power word shield you know whatever you get the idea so teleport i have not standardized in this game yet so i have a couple different keys on her that teleports and i have other characters with teleports like the mage on, on my mage it's uh right click to teleport on her it's uh two and three both have kind of teleport or dash Ooh. Increased elemental damage, not good. No, we'll, we'll keep the staff we have. And then, so, this staff we have, we'll, uh, we'll recover those necrotic um, shards from it if we can. I keep trying to curse them, and it's like, no, you just need to drain life. Straight up, drain life. Boop, 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 boop. Just like that. Just like that. They all fall down. You just suck until they stop wiggling, you know? And you know you've done a good job at that point. Okay. Ooh. Cultist Chopper of the Polymath. Okay. Well, I like the... I love the name. I love the name a lot. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, down to the Undercity we go. Also, Emmy, I absolutely love the pictures you've been sharing on the Discord. Thank you very much. They are fuel for the soul. Along with Athena and everybody else. But the, uh, ooh, wow, the, uh, the feline pictures for Friday and today have just been... Chef's kiss. I figured you probably know that I feel that way. I think I think my reactions have been have been stated enough to say that. But but at the same time, I want to make it crystal clear that I love them. I appreciate you guys for sharing pictures of your kitty cats with me. Oh, oh, the last imperial. Okay, my bone golem is fucked up. Let's revive him. I'm gonna let this timer go because because um. I'm not sure how I feel about this guy. I, I got a feeling we're about to uh, we're about to get into some shenanigans. Also, we now have a new point. Ooh, we have a whole new tier of stuff. Soul Barrier. When you drop below half health, you're granted ward. That's um, personal shield. The effect has a 12 second cooldown. Eh. Increased necrotic damage. Straight up. Like that. Serrated bones. Bleed chance. Okay, you can you um. Hmm. Okay. Harvested legions. Whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to summon a skeleton vanguard from its corpse, a minion that deals melee physical using a spear. You can have three active vanguards. Also grants increased health to any vanguard summoned from any source. 
I mean, yes. Why not have extra skeletons around? You know, that's great. It's that much more shit. So this guy looks um, not as creepy as he did before. He's green now. The last Imperial. I love that. A living human that isn't dripping with void. Can you understand me? Or are you mad like the rest? I can understand you. Splendid. You can hear my request then. I need your aid in ending my existence. Oh no. Yeah, we're going to have to fight him. I've been entombed here for centuries, and this broken world no longer has anything to offer me. The immortal emperor's gift was once a blessing, but now it is a curse. What do you mean, immortal emperor's gift? Have the living already forgotten the immortal emperor? Immortality, a divine gift liberated by the emperor, spread to all his loyal subjects. We were so strong, but now I fear I'm the only one left. How did you end up like this? Fear. I harvested souls to create this sanctuary from the void, a sanctuary that is now my prison. There must be another way. Ah, uh, but there isn't. With my passing, you may have my phylactery. Would that suffice as payment for your aid? Yep. Destroy the last, the three soul repositories and return to me. Only then can my sanctuary be destroyed. You will have my gratitude. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta run around and, and, and kill shit. Ooh. No, no, no. Don't throw shit at the lish. I'm the lish, bish. Yeah, it's a bad rhyme. I know I did it. Sorry. Uh, what is this? A water shrine. 100% mana recovery. Like that a lot. Let's not let that hit us. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Dead. That one. Easy breezy. Another level. Let's go. The levels come quick, though. I will say minions. Yup. Yeah, I'm trying not to do the... You know, it's like I said last time. Like, hey, I'm not going to play a pet class. Immediately chooses Necromancer. Well, but I didn't. I chose Acolyte. And then I actually didn't choose Necromancer. So, good on me. But... Um, that doesn't mean that as a lish you can't have some. Yeah, that's right. You didn't hit shit. Oh, I thought I could dash out of the way. Okay, get our dude back. It doesn't mean you can't have some. It just means you don't have quite as many. Okay. Yeah, she's she's pretty unstoppable in this form. I mean, she can she gets pounded easily. You got to be careful, but man, I like that drain life. She's gonna be revolting when she has that and aura of decay going on. Fuck. Okay, so we'll talk to we'll talk to our dude here. But yeah, the, the minion classes, they're they are fun for sure. They're a lot of fun. But like my, my issue that I ran into on my primalist was that it was just sitting around watching my pets a lot. And if I wanted to hit something, it's like, well, I can watch my pets doing all this damage. And I'm doing like, you know, this much of a health bar per hit because I didn't have any good abilities. It just wasn't as much fun because you just stand around. Like this, you know, this I'm still having some pets and everything, but I'm doing a lot of the work myself. And that's pretty fun. If I could, I'd grace you with the Emperor's gift as thanks, but that time has long passed. A true death. I never thought this moment would come. None of us did. Will the immortal Emperor recognize me on the other side, I wonder? Is there another side? Now I recommend you stand back. Tearing the phylactery from my body may prove volatile. What do you mean, vola? Boom. Oh.
Yeet. Okay. Bye, dude. See you later. Cultist camp. Well, that works. That's exactly where we needed to be. Do, 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 do. And we've already got another level. I would like to have a better chance of skeletons. Thank you. Because they're, they're pretty cool. That way they're up all the time, you know? Okay. <laughs> well, there's a quest there. I'm trying to make sure that... Ooh. Feed us in a jar, dude. Not, not, not nice. Really not my favorite thing there. What do we got here? Increased minion health. Increased health regen. Three health regen per second. Hmm. Hmm. Increased chance to find potions. Big increase to crits chance. Some extra health. I mean, we lose a little bit of minion health, but... Yeah, we'll take that. That's that's an upgrade. Okay. Um, let's come over here and... Was it over here? Where's our cell person? Oh, we're at the cultist camp. Wow, we ended up all the way back in piss nowhere, didn't we? Where do we have to go, bro? Here. Okay. What? Hmm. Hmm. I really thought there was a guy here we talked to. Oh, well. Okay. Where's the armor person? You're not hiding over there. You were right here. Why are you not there? Oh. Dude, they're all gone. Hey, all the cultists that are like, we're not like the others. You notice? Do you notice anything? Do you notice anything about the cultist camp, you guys? Because I do. Do you notice all these empty places where people were? I don't think this is a server issue. I think it's a cultist issue. Fucking cultists. You're back. Remaining cultist. Bro. 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 Where is everyone? Gee, I wonder. They're at a meeting. And it's not an AA meeting. It's an FU meeting. They told me to tell you. They're setting up the ritual site just ahead. They're waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Nothing sus here. Yeah. Absolutely fucking trust a group of goddamn void cultists to have a ritual up ahead waiting for me to bring two incredibly powerful artifacts and have no ulterior motive whatsoever. Okay, bitch. Okay. It's going to be wonderful. Bro. Bro, come the fuck on, bro. Unbelievable. Well, you know what? Cultists are delicious. And we're going to dine well tonight. That's my opinion. At least I think we are. We got Skeleton Vanguard. We got Boney out. I think we're good to go. What do you guys think about the sound design and stuff? I, I'm really happy with it. Like, I, I feel no need to play music during this game. I hope it's not bugging you guys that I'm not. And if it is, I will put music on. But I feel like the sound design, like just the creaking of that tree and, and the crackle of the fire is really good. You know, I, I really like the sound design a lot in this game. So I've been I've been really happy with it. And I think the combat sounds frantic and crazy. Let me see something here. Okay, I'm turning off my key light for a little bit because the, the sun's shining through my window kind of on my monitor. Between that and the key light, it's getting a little hard to see. So I'll turn it back on here in a little bit. Maketh and Leda. Excellent work. We expected no less. Did you find both? Yeah, what are you going to do with them? Now observe. The souls trapped in the phylactery are scared, sick, scared of us. Scared of the oblivion of in the void. See how they strain, reaching for the symbol of hope? Yeah, what are you doing? For the final pieces, the void scours that hope from this world. Our bodies will be used as sacrifice so that me, we may become one. <laughs> Those poor souls. They've been chilling, forgotten. Yeah, damn it. Exa what did you, what do you mean? What did you think was going to happen, you dumb bitch? You dumb bitch. 
You are literally a lish. What the fuck did you think cultists are going to do with the phylactery full of souls and a beacon of hope in the eternal, all-consuming void that is ending existence? Of course they're going to sacrifice it. Uh, dumb bitch. Well, if I remember right, let's have no comment. Apparently not. Oh, 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 they're a thing. They're a thing. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Avoid amalgamation. Oh, that's just lovely. Love that for us. Ooh. No. Let's get our health back for a little bit. Get our mana back, I mean. Ow. Alright, slurp, 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 slurp. Yeah, the Void Amalgamation is delicious. We're getting plenty of health back from it. I'm still in Lish form, still doing good. Oh, my poor skellies aren't, though. And we just absolutely made chump meat out of that thing. Absolutely chumped them. We have a thing. We have a thing. See the, I mean, just big burning item like that automatic. The vial of volatile ice. Okay, so it's a unique offhand. Legendary potential, okay, of one, all right. 100% of acid flask base damage converted to cold. Poison chance from all sources converted to frostbite. Big chance. So this is like really built around that particular skill, which I'm going to make a wild guess is going to be a rogue skill of some kind. But nonetheless, obviously that's going to be a keeper of an item for, for in case I roll a rogue. Okay. And none of those look particularly useful, but wow. Okay. Love that. And we're using a unique, it's like this unique has no legendary potential. That's why I went, oh, legendary potential. So this has, this can be turned into something, which is cool. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't know how the unique legendary system works at the high end, because you can turn legendaries, you can merge them with something, and I can't remember what it's called. It's another thing that you get in monoliths and stuff in the end game, and you can create legendary items out of them. And there's like another whole crafting system around that, basically. So you have the base item crafting system, and then you have the legendary item crafting system on top of it. And and we'll see as we get to it how that plays out. All right, so we need to we need to continue on, um, find the Temple of Atera. We still have our mission. Ooh. Well, Boney's back, and I didn't notice he was down earlier. That was that was purely on me. What's all this then? The abandoned tunnel. Hmm. So we'll go down this way. I'm very happy with her performance against that boss. That was that was quite nice. I was a little concerned that that they might have proven to be really nasty, but <laughs> oh yeah, go 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 go. Well, you know, goblin bats, whatever. Same thing. I'm really happy with that. Ooh, we have a time rift. Okay. Back to the ancient forest. I love the ancient lands. I think they look so cool. Huh. That's some kind of optional quest, it looks like. Also, I love my skill in Vanguard. These guys are tight. Well, let's let's not waste time and go look at. Or let's do waste time and go look at that, because I think the ancient world is cool as shit. This is this is some kind of optional. Our main quest is to find the temple of Atera, but um, there's something in in this ancient forest that I guess we have a quest for, or we just picked it up by seeing this rift. So we're going back to the ancient times now, prehistory. Really, kind of pre-people. I think I think all the enemies are are beasts in the ancient world. Which I think is is perfectly... Ooh, it's so pretty, bro. So we're in the exact same physical location. This is what it used to look like. 
<laughs> I like the little raptors. This is the exact same raptor model that the uh, that the druids use, while well, the primalists use um, when they summon their little raptor pets, which are really really mean. They're great. What the fuck is that? Okay, so there is something going on. We have some kind of big, crazy magic thing. Um, Cooldown recovery. Now well, ours are better. What is this? What is this thing, dude? I mean, I... Hmm. Yeah, I can't target it. Weird. We'll find out. Ooh. That was a big dude. Mighty Iron Greaves of Renewal. You can also tell kind of based on the number of dots. So this is a two dotted um, uh, yellow item. I think that means it's got a tier two ability on it. Or overall, its average is tier two, maybe. Um, tiers go up to, I think, seven. And crafting, you can go up to five. So six and seven you have to find in the wild, but you can craft up to five. And and five is still pretty fucking good. You heard a piercing roar nearby. Investigate. Yes, sir. Ooh. Wow. Straight up minion melee damage. It's slow on hit. Increased spell damage. This is not a half bad one hand item. With the right offhand item, if we found a good offhand item that had like a ton of necro damage on it, that might be a really good item for us to use. Actually, excellent. Let's get a new bony out. Okay. Head this way. Sturdy little thing. Also, another thing that I think is kind of interesting, this is another... I'm not going to say that it doesn't exist in other games, but I'll say I haven't seen it in other games, you know, because I have so much game experience. Um, 10% of melee damage leached his health. Bro. Bro. And 2% crit chance. Bro. Increased minion, increased physical. We do more we do more necro. Um but hold on, hold on. Two-handed spear. I mean this is a pretty good item. It won't help us with our um it won't help us with our uh, with our leech though. And that is where our bread and butter as the as the lish form is. Ah oh, shit, I was saying something. Uh uh damn it. Um oh, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, well, it wasn't anything particularly like amazing. Oh, yeah, it was mana. Mana. I was talking about mana. Um, so what I think is interesting is that I don't really have any way I can do it here, unfortunately. Well, like, well, watch my mana. I've got 69 mana. Nice. So I'll drain it down. Like, what happens here if I'm at like one or two mana, right? Like, how can I cast this spell that takes 60 mana? My, my golem spell. So if I go down to just barely positive mana and cast my golem, see, I just went negative. You can go negative as much mana as you want, but once you go negative, you can't cast until you're positive again. So like if you go down to one mana and then you cast your biggest gnarliest spell that has 300,000 mana requirement, you can do that. You'll go negative 300,000 and now you have to wait for however long it takes to get your mana back positive again before you can cast. But I find that going negative mana mechanic really, really neat. It, it, it actually changes how you approach your mana um, and how you how you prioritize your spells quite a bit over just like when bar when bubble empty can't cast. The fact that you can willingly go negative like that and wait for it to recover is um, it changes things a bit depending on on what kind of abilities you have. Robes of Remedy. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we found a thing. We found something. What do we got? What's here? Hello? 
Hello? Primeval dragon! Oh, no big deal. No big deal. Just a fucking dragon. Great. Great. I didn't realize I was fighting a dragon when I came in here, you know? Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, nope. 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 No thank you to that. No thank you to that. I, I would like to unsubscribe from the fire breath. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want it. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna hit him a little bit. We're just gonna hit him and we're gonna avoid the fire and now we're gonna go slurp, 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 slurp. And keep going slurp, slurp. That's right, that's right. And now we're gonna get out of that shit. Yup, yep. Ooh, we're gonna get out of that shit too. And we're gonna go slurp, 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 slurp. And we're gonna we're gonna give ourselves a new a new dude here in just a sec. New dude. There we go. Okay, we gotta slurp soon. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. I was trying to get to that potion. I not only did not get to the potion, I drank a potion when I was already out of health. Or already at full health. So it didn't really help us at all. Okay. And Reaper mode active. And I can't get these stupid potions because they're behind him in the lava. What a jerk. Am I not even hitting him? Sure feels like I'm not. I am right now. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that's right. You blow up. You can blow up. Eat shit and die, dragon. Well, he dead as fuck now. What you got? What you got? What you got? What do we, we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got a, a knife of static. And a whole lot of nothing. A deft cultist chopper. I, okay, I gotta say, though, a cultist chopper. The dragons were here first. They were, but, you know, I mean... <laughs> come on, come on, Lindfirm. I'm American. First just means first to get kicked out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's gotta be one of the more fucked up things I've said on stream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well... I hear Harpy tittering next to me. I think she agrees. She does not agree. She does not agree. Don't worry, I don't actually think that. Obviously, you guys know that. Okay. Well, we have successfully cleared the, the ancient uh, hunt. Uh, well, return to the Chronomancer in the... Okay. Yes, I would like to return to my... To my they were here first. I am not reading that. I am not reading that. Sir, sir, that is not okay. That is not okay at all. We need to go to the courtyard. Is that what that says? Yes, the courtyard. Okay, courtyard. Looks like that's going to be probably over this way. Yeah, I'm definitely digging digging the, uh, the drain life. Also, we should probably look at... Uh, our passives and stuff, because I'll bet you I have some points saved up. I probably leveled once or twice and didn't realize it. So let's take a look at our passives. One point. Okay, well, what to spend on? Um, reaping? What do we got here? What's that do? Life barrier. Soul barrier grants additional ward based on your vitality. I mean, it's not bad. Hmm. I don't really like it, though. I think I'd rather just push forward into this. What's this? Your spells and attack. Okay. What's this one do? Bleed. I do like making things bleed. Making things bleed is, is the tits. Health. Spell damage leeched is health. Hello? Okay, that's pretty good. Mm, so is mana regen, though. Bro. A little bit of all these are pretty good. Let's take some survival of the cruel to get that spell leech. It just seems like that's going to be something we want. Delicious. Okay. Yeah, you're goddamn right, Wither, before me. That was hot. That was hot. Love it.
That was very nice. I just tried to eat my own skeleton. Well, you know, I mean, sometimes you panic a little. Yeah, we got some nasty shit up here, though. Okay. Yeah. It's disgusting. Disgusting. All right. I keep trying to open up um, like a bigger version of the mini map. I'm getting like, nope, not not that, not in this game, sir. Boy, there's one of the things I hated about D4 was the mini map and, and like making the map full screen like that. Ugh. Ugh. Just. Oh, guys, it could have been great. And the, the, the art and the direction and the voice acting were all so good. But just the game itself, though, alas. Hmm. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ooh, a chest. Hello, hello. Welcome to stream. What do you have? Well, a couple shards. I'll take that. Shards make me very happy. I'm always like, yeah. If if I open up a Jesus, if I open up a chest and it's got shards in it, I'm I'm automatically a happy camper. Ah. God damn. She's a monster in this Reaper form, man. I mean, she's she's okay in Lish form, you know, mortal form, I guess, or whatever, but that Reaper form is just revolting. I really... Yeah. Ooh. I want to get that into a form where I can uh, do it more. I definitely want to be able to do that more because that is just stupid, stupid how good it is. Ooh. 11% minion melee, minion spell, health on kill. Dude, if we take this thing and put an necrotic on it, that's gonna be a really good item. Maybe we should, uh, maybe, 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 maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that. So 336, way down now. Yeah, it's not gonna help our spell though. Damn, 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 damn. That's all right, that's all right. Okay, transfer these in. Okay. Oh, we made it to the courtyard. Good. Gather up, boys. Hey, boys. See, it's kind of... I don't know why I suddenly threw out Blazing Saddles. I just did. Movie's been on my brain lately. I guess I need to see it. The salt of the earth. The uh, the spirit of the new west, or whatever. You know, morons. Okay, filled back up there. Boop, boop. I think we're going to sit for a minute and let our, uh, can I be cheesy? Can I just teleport across? Oh, it would be a little OP if you could, but you know, I remember doing that one, like in wow or something. I like heroic leaped across the thing, like right after heroic leap became a thing. And Harpy was like, oh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Cause she was stuck in the back. I'm like, yeah, sucks to be you. Have fun walking around. Jerk. 
And then she's like, yeah, well, how's your self healing? Hey, that's not funny. That's not okay. Don't be like that. She put me in my place very quickly. Deservedly so. Honor shield of the mire. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a chest. Oh, a bunch of stuff. That we don't need. Fine. Be like that. Hope you all are having a nice Saturday. We'll see how today goes. We'll see like when we're going to end and stuff. I don't necessarily want to go like crazy long, but at the same time, it seems like it's a good night to maybe stretch things and go go extra. Especially if Harpy's working still. You know, like if her work stuff is going to take a while. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, I do have to say it's kind of satisfying to just sit back and be like, slurp, 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 slurp. Oh, I'm out of mana. I'll just fly up slowly. Thank you. And slurp, 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 slurp. As long as I can find enemies quick enough, like, this does a pretty good job. You know, keeps them down anyway. I do have a shrine over here. What was it? Ooh, Ice Beetle. Very nice. Those things chew shit up. It summons, uh, uh, I think one ice beetle, maybe just one. Hmm. The occultist spike great club of polymath necrotic damage. Hello. I believe I will take that. Yes, sir. Because we can shatter that and maybe get that necrotic shard out of it. Love getting levels off of dudes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll just slurp, slurp, slurp. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Oh, man, combat's visceral. It's just so satisfying. We really got that feel right. And it's a nice balance, I think, between the just chaos and... You know, like, get the legendaries and just basically, like, in D3, especially in the seasons, you know, you get your legendaries and this and that, and you just run around. You just run around and everything falls down, you know? And then at some point, you get to the point where you can't do that, and you just run around and something touches you and you die. And this is not really that way, in my opinion. Like, I've played up into the end game, um, not, not into the late end game, but, um... You don't necessarily just get to the point where you're just running around and everything just falls down. Like, you are having to use your abilities and think about them at all times. Um, there's there's definitely a lot more positioning going on. It just, it feels good. Like, I just, I like the way the combat feels in this. It, to me, it feels really right. Plus three spell damage. Hmm. Let's spend that uh, passive point. I'll take another one of those. We'll take another one of those. <laughs> oh, laugh at me, will you, Chunky? Well, you want to learn, huh? You, you learned that, that humans make bad Chunky peanut butter. Sir. Deadass. Don't think we're going to be able to push it any farther on the void form. There we go. Okay. Still, she stayed in it for a good long while. Ooh, shards. Also, I mean, I, I like we don't have to wait till we go to town. Let's uh, let's uh, let's rune a removal this. Um, rune of no, it's chaos. 
not glyph. Uh, rune of removal. I mean, this is what we want. Got a one and three. Uh, we got the melee void out of it. Fuck. Okay. Well, in that case, let's shatter it. We got one attribute shard. We didn't get the one thing we wanted. Sometimes that's how it works. Sometimes that's just how it works out. Those shattering runes cost about 2,000 gold each. They're, um, you can buy them from vendors, like one or two at a time usually. They're, and then they restock periodically. So they're not like something you can spam. You can't just like shatter all the crap you pick up. Ooh. Oh, of conflagration. Two chests with nothing worthwhile in them. Fuck. Imagine having the end of all time not have anything good in its chest. Come on, man. Ooh, what's a stone of purity do? Minion health, necrotic resistance. It's all good and fine, but. I am the one who ooh, spams necrotic damage, you know? Focuses attacks on players. I don't like that. So I love that that guy belly flops you. I think that's just perfect. Also noticing that her her scything is great, but it's not really doing anything. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the scythe entirely. We're gonna respec out of that shit, um, which I've now done, and uh, and we lost a couple points doing that, but that's okay. And we're gonna change that to some other ability, maybe like rip blood. That still has a mana cost though. I mean, I could do skeletons and then just have a bunch of skeletons. Um, I don't want to do bone curse. I don't want volatile zombie. I mean, I like marrow shards, but those cost health and health is kind of a problem. I don't know. Where is it? Infernal shade. That's got a decent mana cost. Hmm. I mean, like, I mean, we're going to need to drop it for this aura of decay eventually anyway, but, um, hmm. And we're going to get that pretty soon. Maybe we should just wait and do that. Let's see. We need one more level. Okay. And one more level, we'll get that. Um, well, first things first. So what, what's this one? Is this Reaper? Yes. We, so I got five unspent points in Reaper. Well, and we're going for this Grave Chill, which um, loses Necrotic and Poison Tags and adds Cold. Fuck. So that's not good. That's actually not what we want at all. Um, we do want to be able to poison things, though, for sure. And poison stacks to nearby enemies on transform. Ooh, Ew. That's very nice. Uh, critical multiplier. Over here, we've got mercy and on death. Hitting minions with reap heals them for the same amount that would heal you if an enemy was hit. Okay, I like reap healing and healing minions. That's good. I like increased he health leech. Yeah, let's let's kind of go over for this a little bit. Two, one, two. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Okay, for this skill, let's pick um, definitely, I think, Drain Life. 
because that's we're, we're digging on that slow it can slow things oh cost less mana oh i like that increased damage better leeching okay okay drain life can drain an additional target holy shit so slowing also leads to draining an additional target which is amazing um what do we get over here what's the big thing dark shackles can hit up to 10 enemies oh it's now cast instead of channeled adds three lasts for three seconds adds an upfront mana cost and it's modified okay I don't know that I feel how I feel about that. Can only target minions. Oh, it can only target... Oh, suck your, mini, suck your minions down, basically. Hmm. I don't particularly love that. Death's Barrier. Stun. So the stun is probably the way to go, and I definitely want this mana reduction. Let's just do Condemnation. Applies stacks of damned. It deals necrotic damage over time. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, and we're going to put all three in that just to be able to do it more. Okay. And now we have another skill we can pick. So what are we using a lot? Um, we're, I mean, the golem's pretty good. Um, we are harvesting, but I don't feel like that's really doing us much. So maybe the golem. Because he's pretty, he's pretty badass, frankly. Um, we only have four points in this one, and that's our minimum. So who cares? In one more level, we're gonna we're gonna uh, maybe drop out of this. But for right now, let's just let's beef up the golem. Armor granted to nearby minions. Melee attack speed. Oh, you can get an extra gold. Oh my god, they do half it. They do a little under half as much, or a little more than half as much damage. Um, basically, they pick up some health. But I like that portion of your health regen. Oh, additional health regen. I love that. More health than armor. Starting armor near a dead golem. Your golems have increased size and deal more damage if you have no other living golems. They have significantly higher armor for the first 15 seconds when summoned near the corpse of another golem. Okay. So you build them off of each other. Flight of the femurs. Oh my god. What a great name. I feel like I'd like this ability. You have to put four points in this one to open that, or you have to put three points into this one, which is spell damage. Your golem now deals more spell damage and has an increased chance to stun, or he can just hit harder and move quicker. Hmm. Your golem now has a higher chance to retire with bone shatter. Okay, do that. And that. There we go. Our golem is now tougher. Very good. All right, let's let's continue forth. Let's continue forth. Thank you for your patience while I look through those. Got so many abilities, man. There's so many abilities, and I'm just winging it. So, but it's kind of fun to just wing it. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this doesn't look bad at all. This doesn't look bad at all. Oh, it's just a temple guardian. I mean, what? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, well that worked out. That worked out great. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Nothing here, boss. Nothing here. Ow, ow. No, 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 no. I mean, she's kind of OP on one target. Like, she just ate him for lunch. That was delicious. Glacial copper ring. Oh, a glacial ring. So that's going to be really good. Wow, 48% increased crit. Not That's not plus 48 to crit. It just means if you have 2%, you now have 2.96%, 2 you know, but still. Explore the Temple of Atera and find the Lotus Halls. Okay. 
Could have been. Yeah, it's kind of... It's seen better days, you know? Ooh. A ribbed curious of frost. Frost. Slayer's broadsword. Whoa. Okay, what? Who dad? Who talking? Who talking? What the fuck was that, bro? Oh. Delicious. My god. Oh, it's so nice. So much fun. I will never get tired of doing that, I don't think. Cold damage, damage over time. <laughs> Come on, my pretties. We're looking for meatsies. Meats back on the menu. Oh, hello, Mr. Bear. Um, so I'm almost healing up. We're trying to heal up. Finally ran out of guys to kill, but damn, stayed in for a long time there. I will take it. What's up, cutie? My dear is looking at me. I don't think so. mm -hmm. Do you want to jump in game? Okay. Harpy is finished for the day. But she is, uh, she is very, very bleh. So she is going to take it easy. Let's look at our rings, because this looks like a good one. <coughs> okay, we have increased movement speed, DOT, minion health, and health. And over here we have minion damage, attunement, dodge, fire, and crit chance. Let's look at this commander ring we just picked up. Throwing damage, bleh. Minion damage, health regen, dodge rating, dodge rating. I feel like that is a huge upgrade over this one. Huge, huge upgrade. So yeah, so Harpy finished up. She's good. She's done for the day, which is lovely. And now she gets to chill. Welcome in, vengeful Harpy. Oh, shit. We kind of have... Oh, my God. There's so many fools around us. Get reaped, idiots. Get absolutely reaped on. Tasty, tasty, tasty meat minions. Yes, very beautiful carnage. Thank you. What? If I come to make you whole, what, what, what do you mean? What does that even mean, dude? No. No, I have not. Okay, I do not like it when the temple talks to me. I no, no. I, I I would like to I would like to turn those notifications off, please. I do not wish to receive that email anymore. Thank you. That is that's spam. That's bait. I have come to give you new holes, exactly. Harpy, don't give me new holes. Well, I mean, you know. The ones I got are fun enough, you know what I'm saying? You assholes. Oh. Oh. How gross. It's a big boy. It's 
stay a while and listen. Oh, oh come on, come on. Man, I held it as long as I could. I mean, I held it for a while. I feel like that, that was pretty good. Whew. All that and, 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 oh man, he didn't even drop us anything. What a jerk. I should be a dildo. That's right. Wither, bitch. Burn, bitch. Nope. Can't touch this. The Lotus Halls. Okay. Another waypoint uncovered. We have one more beyond this. The Sanctum Bastille. And then it looks like we have a few more areas. Oh, we have a dungeon over here. And then uh, a ruined college we haven't been to. And this abandoned tunnel and the lost refuge. And then whatever these guys are. Wherever they go. So we still have a fair amount of stuff to explore here. Jesus, Gollum. Just, just give it to him. He's like, I'm gonna make you my bitch squeal. Yes, sir. A pole sword. Or shards. Shards become a bit more common, I think, as you level too. So it's like, right now they're pretty limited. So that's why we can't really do a whole lot of crafting. Which is a shame because I really love the crafting in this game, but um. We'll get up to higher level pretty soon. Boop, 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 boop. Uh -huh. hmm. Now. I can get to it over here. We'll try going this way. Yeah, it's looks promising. This reminds me of the long hike down in uh, Diablo 2 to, uh, oh. Find one of the missing parts of the bridge so it can be reactivated. I mean, there are big chains. Can I not just go down those? I guess it's not black rock depths. Apparently not. Fine. Be like that. Yeah. 50 bucks says I just triggered the shit out of Harpy. Which is kind of like BRD. Okay, I guess I didn't trigger her, but she had the same thought I did. Really thought this was going to go up to the thing we need. Happy memories with the ducklings. Yeah. You had, you had many ducklings. You have many ducklings. Huh. 
There's another level. Sheesh. God damn. Let's give ourselves a second. Holy fuck. <laughs> Okay, so there's our pole sword. Um, that's a good item, but no. Leeching Pike of Glory. No. Leeching Impaler of Static. Don't know why I picked that up. Didn't mean to. Blighted Spear. No. No. See, like, none of these items... I mean, we're 13 gold. They're not worth picking up. At all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bile. Mmm. Delicious. It is delicious. It does sound like something that, like, a high-end chef would put in, you know? Like, just some revolting-sounding ingredient. And they're like... It adds this, like, incredibly subtle flavor or whatever, you know? And you're like, yeah, but bro, it's hen cum. Or whatever. I'm not saying it doesn't do that, but... At the same time, it's tongue extract. You know, or it's reduced saliva. Oh God! What if uh, it, this is a this is a you know caramelized saliva reduction? Uh 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 uh. -uh. I don't think anybody's probably made something like that. I say that, you know what? Probably somebody has made something like that, but we're just gonna. We're, I'm, I choose to live in a world where that hasn't been made. That we'll, we'll put it that way. That's just, I'm not reading that harpy. I'm not. No, fuck that. I'm not even gonna do that. Because whatever it is, I know I'm gonna regret it. I'm not reading it. You're just trying to make me go. Bleh. Ah, I see the keck. Okay, I knew it. I was right. I was right. All right, looks like it's this way now. Oh, we still can't go that way. Big map. Did we miss the thing? Oh, we did. I thought I killed that. There we go. Now he's dead. See, it's coming off. Not that you necessarily went anywhere, but, you know, welcome back to the land of the chattel. Mm. Oh, I tried to get him down, get his health down, get some, uh, get some more reaper time, but... Okay, hold up. Oh, shit. After this, we're going to hold up and spend the points we look got on level. All right, there we go. No, there's still an idiot up there. Yeah, there's still an idiot up there. You, you, you just stop. You stop being like that. Okay. Yeah, now we're going to get Aura of Decay. And now we have Aura of Decay, and I want that. I want that bad. So I think we're going to change this out now and put, uh, we'll put, we'll put, we'll put, where's drain life. We'll put drain life on that button and we'll put aura of decay over here. Um, okay. We're going to put reaper here. Where's reaper? Reaper there. 
I'll put Aura of Decay over here because I don't want I don't like hitting three a lot. Oh, it hurts me. Ew, ew. Okay, I don't love that. All right, so we got to be careful with Aura of Decay. I didn't realize that. Oh, my buttons are so screwed up, dude. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong shit. I'm killing myself. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, run, 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 run. Do, 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 do. keep hitting the wrong button. My hands have gotten used to have the setup I had. I'm not sure how I feel about Aura of Decay now that it's costing me health. Is it on right now? Okay, it's off right now. Give. Like, where are they? Ugh. Love you on Stinky Mobile. Just stopping to buy to say you're cute. Well, you are cute. I'm glad you realized that you're cute. And we love you too, Dana. And how you have toasted ravioli. Ooh. Was snugged up on the couch before Goop does magic time. It's only in peoples. Very cool. Very cool. And no, I'm not certified cute. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this aura of decay. I don't, I don't, I don't think I like it right now. While it's active, you take less. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Like, where does it say it, it hurts you? Yeah, it's hurting me. I guess it's just because you're getting poisoned. Yeah. And the longer you sit in it, the more damage you take. Look at that. That shit will kill you. Oh, a unique. Big level, Jesus. Okay, okay. I think I probably just need to get like better about toggling it on and off. Man, we got some ugly bitches in here, I'll tell you what. Okay. All right, let's um let's look at what we got. We got we got some kind of unique shitload of shards too. Love that hazel root, a unique oak scepter with a bunch of melee, a bunch of spell, increased minion, cast thorn shield on yourself. Fuck, it's a druid item, or some kind of primalist item, um, some kind of druid beastmaster whatever. Because thorns is an ability they get. Oh, that's really too bad. Like that would have been. That, that was close to a really good item for us. This one could be a good item for us. Like, can we put... I don't think it has a free slot, though, right? No. Yeah, that's not. You know what? You... Why don't we just shatter that right now? Boop. Give. Okay. Do, 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 do. Got a lurk folding some milk bread. Very nice. Very nice. Milk bread is delicious. Isn't being drained of life by your own magic part of the whole necromancer lish experience? Yeah, except it's poison. But it definitely is. You're absolutely right. Which I like that, um, like this ability, this transplant I do, that costs health damage. And I like that. I like it's kind of a, it's a semi spammable teleport that, that costs me health every time I use it. I think that's a nice touch.
I mean, we must have missed something. We, I must have missed something. this if you look at my map there's a uh, there is like a quest objective off to the to the northwest and I'm not sure how to get to it because I've been over here like we're, we're backtracking pretty pretty significantly right now it feels like That sucked. Well, well, that guy was that guy was exceptionally nasty. Like, is there my kingdom to be able? Okay, well, let's just keep going this way this time. See what we can find. We'll see what we can find. Yeah, so it's like right here. It's like right here. You can see it moving. I must have just walked right over it and missed it. No. Yeah, this other item is... I don't know, man. They are, like, really nearby. Hmm. Oh, I missed those. Oh, well. We'll, we'll just keep hunting. We'll see what we can find. So, like, in theory, it should be right up here. And it's not... There's nothing here. that. Love that. What do we got? A sash of evasion. 45 ward decay. Ward gained on potion use. Physical damage. Worthless. Damn. Oh well. We got a lot of shards. Take that. Absolutely take that. So that was the mage guy that we just set free who killed us. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I mean, we've now explored everything over here and I don't know how you get to these items. Okay, there's a pathway there that we missed. I 
Okay, let's see if this goes anywhere good. This might be what we're after. Yep. Sheesh! God damn. The shards of the epoch are calling you to the statue, but nothing is here. Oh, we gotta go into the ancient temple. Okay. Let's see what it looked like in its heyday. I'm here for this. I'm 100% here for this. Let's see what we got. Can I... Um, okay, it's still overgrown. Like, how old is this place? Hey, look, it's those same things. They were in the primeval world. Well, that's different. Find one of the missing bridge parts. Okay. Okay, so that didn't help at all. Oh, okay. We took the part. I got it. I got it. And now the shard gave us a bridge back. Okay, fair, fair. I think we can probably turn the uh, key light back on now. Okay, now we have a hell of a run again. Do, 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 do. Vengeful infernal husk of the... <laughs> Vengeful nasty bastard. Not to be confused with Vengeful Harpy, who is not a nasty bastard. Harpy's just awesome. Our girl is sick, you guys. She's got a cold. She is an unhappy camper. One of those miserable ones where you can't sleep and your nose is running and you're coughing. She's chewing through Dayquil and Nyquil, just trying to get some rest. There's not a damn thing I can do to help her, you know? It's one of those you just gotta suffer through it. I'm gonna make her some potato soup later, though. She doesn't know that yet. She'll get some potato soup, or maybe I'll make her some of my some of my Lanid's chicken noodle. Chicky schnoodle. I make it with, uh, like, I, I cook up usually chicken thighs, and I dice them. After, I'll cook them up with, like, sesame oil, a little bit of ginger, and, uh, like, sriracha. You other know, little tidbits on them for some flavor, and you put those in the in the soup, and the soup gets nice and thick. Uh, you know, you put some pasta in that bish and make a nice thick, creamy chicken noodle soup. Oh, it's so good, bro! All right, we got our bridge. Thank God. Let's go. But she doesn't know that, so probably not tonight, though. I think we're gonna have chili tonight again. What do you mean? How, I mean, really? You're an asshole, you know that? You're just an asshole. Full stop. Full stop. You're waiting around to kill me. Bread folded and rising again. Very nice, very nice. No bread. Ooh, good shit. Okay. Ooh, shards. Yes, please. Get in my whole belly. We gotta get down there. It's funny. You can teleport. You just can't teleport down there. It's my first time making it. Yeah, really, it's just like any regular bread. Milk bread. Um, you just have to be aware it's gonna take a little longer to proof. And, uh, but it'll have a finer texture. Like any improved, in, improved dough, it's gonna, it's gonna be just a little bit slower to rise and a little more hesitant. Although in my my experience with milk bread is that it's pretty close to regular bread. Sure. Just grab that, get it out of our hair. Okay, there's nothing over here. Slurp, 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 slurp. Gimme, 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 gimme. Delicious, delicious. You're all so delicious. Yes, thank you. 
Oh, nummy, 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 nummy. Delicious fire. Get, 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 get. I don't can't remember. Get reaped on. Hmm. Mm God damn girl. She is a violent little thing and I love her. Love her, I 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 love her. I don't have heat in my kitchen, so I turn the oven on for a bit and keep it in there. Very valid. If you have an oven that still has an incandescent bulb in it, which I think they mostly do, um, the old trick was to turn on the, the light in your oven, if your oven, especially if it like doesn't turn off. But if you have an older oven, you know they usually have incandescent bulbs in them. And you can turn that on, and uh, it will warm your oven up enough, generally, to rise dough, unless it's really cold in your house, or your oven is just not well insulated at all. But usually they are. Sometimes that's a good trick, or you can, like, if you turn it on to warm up your oven for just that little bit, for that minute or two, or, or however long, to get the temperature up to around that 90, you know, or 80 that you like, and then you can... Uh, Turn on the light and it will keep that temperature for a very long time. Okay, I'll take a beetle pet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I thought that revenant was my guy. Whoops. Okay, we'll give it just a sec. We'll give it just a sec. Let the time catch up. Give me a moment to stretch my hand out a little bit too. The wrist brace is helping, but um, you, I don't know if you can see. Here, I'll, I'll try and show you. There you go. Yeah, you can't really see. She's turning a little bit pink or, or a little purpley. <laughs> you know, it. Oop, fuck, wrong button. There we go. It do constrict the it do constrict the blood flow a little bit. It's a tight. I have I have very fat arms like the rest of me. So um, entering the ruined era. Okay, the um. The wrist brace does do a bit of a number on circulation, but I'm still here and I'm still okay. That's nice to nice to feel all right, you know. Even though I can tell it's the braces doing the work, I mean they are helping a lot. What the fuck? Oh no no no! The emperor's remains. Okay, so we're fighting the emperor. Oh shit! Um, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like him at all. I really don't like him at all. I don't like... I really don't like him doing that. I think that's kind of ugly. I think that's really ugly. Um... Try and get our health back. Come on, come on. Good, we got our health back. Let's try and maybe nuke these down. These don't seem like they're great to have blowing things up. Get you... Get that potion... Well, that, that sucked. Okay, okay. Fundamentally, she's kicking the shit out of him, though. Like, I'm not really having any trouble, honestly. Kind of just 
stuffed it in his bungus right there. Let's not get that yet. Let's go get our stuff. Oh, none of this looks particularly... Ooh, that's a gnarly looking blade, though. I like that. Melee damage, melee void damage, bleed on hit, slow. Ooh, blighted. Hmm. Oak Scepter of Glory. Physical, spell, melee. Not terrible. The two shards in your possession resonate with power. We now have both shards of the Epoch. The last shard lies ahead. Taking it will reform the Epoch. After eons alone, oh, I guess three. Three again become one. On the precipice of a broken world, there is hope. The Epoch is reforged. As the Traveler left, their real journey began. The end game. Except not. We're not in the end game yet. We're nowhere near it. The campaign goes so much longer. Like, we're in chapter whatever. I don't know. I don't remember how many chapters there are. I think we're in chapter two or three. But, oh my god, it goes on so long. Not in a bad way. It didn't, like, drag. It's just, it's a really involved campaign. And by the time you get done with it, you're like, okay, let's let's go kick some ass. What's funny is I think we can actually jump right into the, the Shards of Fate, right? Or the Monoliths of Fate right now. If we can, I might go do one. Just to shake it up, you know? I believe we have identified when the Void began to sweep over okay. the world. And who is likely responsible. Okay. The year 1005. In the Imperial Era. Okay. What do we need to do? Centuries before the world was ruined, it faced a different threat. The Immortal Empire. Yeah, we already dealt with the last Immortal, but that's in the future. They were once human, mm -hmm. but their dark magic twisted them into a vile mockery of life. Yeah, they're undead. undead like me. Fiends hey, the watch the F word. The whim of the immortal we believe that it was his greed for power that oh. unleashed the void upon the world well stopping him is sorry our about best that chance of changing fate the epoch will guide your way it knows the weavings of fate far better than any of us Seek out the, the outcast, outcast queen. queen, leader of the living rebels, and show her the epoch. The rest will be up to you. Okay. I mean, I'm down with that. So what do we got? We got some clips. We got some runes. We got some shards. Doing pretty good. Pulse check chat. Are you guys enjoying? Are you having fun out there? Hello, hello. I'm enjoying. I'm still. I'm, I, I can play this game for a hot minute, but um, but if there's something else you guys would rather see or you want to see a different class, we can kind of do that. One thing about this game, like you get in and you, you get some new abilities and everything, but by and large, once you find the shit you're going to use, like you really only use those three or four skills and that's it. Like, you know, so combat, probably not maybe the most exciting thing to watch for hours on end. Big vibing, I want to see. Okay, all right. Cool, cool. We will continue on. I just want to make sure that cat ears all right you want to see Freaking now i understand what you wanted to really? see i thought you all wanted right. to see the game yeah and no i got what you wanted to see i got it let's go back to the imperial era the imperial era imperial era is beautiful is that gunk on my glasses? Jesus, how? I literally cleaned them. I haven't touched them. I haven't done anything to them. They are covered in spots and grease. And I literally cleaned them right before I went live, sitting here. I have not left or anything. So we're now in chapter four. And I think we've got eight to ten chapters. I really don't remember. I've completed the campaign one time. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> It helped on one of them. There we go. I wonder where Harpy went. She, she disappeared for a hot sec. I think she had to go off and maybe lie down. She was feeling poopy. Okay. Don't pay any attention to us. Just the dead walking through. All is well. All is well. Hello. Hello. 
Hello, Avon calling. Well, this place doesn't look really great. I, ooh. Hey, we beat his ass earlier. I remember kicking his ass. That's interesting. Okay. Well, clearly not the way we needed to go. I guess I could have followed the little the little dot with the arrow. Let's uh, let's get our passive. Um. So we have some new ones. We have Hollow Lish that gives us uh, ten times. I, I like the health leech though. But but, goddamn, that would make our our drain health like do unreal amounts of damage. Mm, increased damage over time. That's not terrible. Kind of like making things bleed a lot. You know? Hmm. Increased necrotic damage. There it is. That's what we want to spend some points on. There it is. Okay. Do 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 do. Hello, hello. Anybody here? Okay, it's looking kind of pretty. A little beat up, but you know. Yeah, this stuff is past its prime, but. It's not a completely dead society. Oh, hi. Oh. Don't pay any attention to me. Just draining life for no reason. Yes. Oh. Crit strike. Down. Nope. Minion. Void. Nope. Is it? Nope. Nope. Unfortunately, not worth the damn. Okay, let's hit this. We'll put these in, too. Uh, get in there. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, we'll keep all those handy. All right. Yes. Uh, do you have anything interesting? Yeah, so here's those runes of shattering. 2,000 each. So it's like, there's half the money I have. Ooh, a skull offhand. I like that. It's kind of cute, actually. Mm, no, no. Okay. Be well. Yes. Got an optional. You call that armor if you want to have a chance to stand against the Imperial Armor Empire. You're gonna need better gear. Fuck you, Caitlin. I've dropped so many bosses. Like, what do you? Head to the Ford, imbue yourself with shards. Thank me later. I already know how that works. I don't need a quest. I've already done it. Oh, well. Welcome to our humble camp. Look at her. She's a cutie. Welcome to our humble camp of outcasts. If you mean to join the rebellion, you're in good company. If not, well, then you've just made a poor choice coming here. A shard? No, wait. The whole epoch? Yup. We're going to save Itara. I mean, the, yes, the epoch should be the key we've needed, but, well, you're impressive. I'll give you that. I know. Assuming we trust you. If you get that epoch close to the Emperor, we might be able to use its power against him. One of our mages had the location to a secret entrance to his base, but he's been captured. They're transporting him west somewhere in Welrin. Okay, so we got to go rescue a guy who has access to info about the Emperor. Or, like, how to get into the Emperor, I guess. Okay. Noted. Man, bit of a hike. Thank you. Okay, quest completed. Done. Yay. Easy. Free exp. So you're the outside. The queen told us to expect you. She said we should help you out. I don't know. I'd like to know if we trust you. See that Imperial over there? He has the keys to the college. Use them to infiltrate the place and stop whatever he, they're doing. Okay. I can do that. Sounds good. So juicy. That. Okay, nothing up here. I'm just taking a look around, you know? Taking a leisurely look around. We'll just kind of drive around a little bit. Mm -hmm. To the well run outskirts. So let's look at our map and see where we are in time. Okay, so the ancient era, the divine era, the imperial era, the ruined era. We were in the divine era. That's when we started. And then 
sometime in here is when everything went to hell. And the Immortal Emperor apparently summoned the Void, and that led to the Ruined Era, where everything's fucked. And then the Ruined Era eventually decays into the end of time itself. So, here we are in the Imperial Era, and we are headed out to the Imperial... Imperial... Imperial Wayrun, or whatever that is. Let's go. Let's get it on. Ooh, slaughtered thrall. No, no. I'm the one who summoned zombies, sir. Oh, what are you? A bone sculptor? Kind of a nasty dude. And my, my idiot golem wasn't really hurting him like he should have been. Ooh, a bear. Ex-bear. Where'd he go? Come here. Definitely struggling with mana more here than I was. Okay. All right. God, these, these bone sculptor guys are kind of nasty. Gotta be able to get into Reaper form faster. That 20 seconds feels like a long time, but then when you've got enemies like this, it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. It's an eternity. Or it feels like a short time, I meant. And and it's not. It's actually an eternity. When when you have no mana and you're like, oh, I need anything. Anything I can click to help me. I need to go up, but there was no way to go there, so. You're not breaking all the crates, you know? What are you doing? You're not playing an ARPG, you know? You gotta bust the crates, you gotta kick the basket, behead the little guys, hunt the pygmies. And that was a quick 10 minutes, but cat ears have ended, the lady informs me. So, I hope you enjoyed them. There you go, there's your cat ears. I know you've got plenty of points for more. I suspect I'll be wearing them again. I don't even have to look. Uh, Ten bucks says that was Athena. Really? Athena. <laughs> oh, my girl. You are consistent. You are very consistent. <laughs> I, had, I just had a feeling. I just had a little feeling, you know?
I can see the moon just over the horizon out my window. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, the moon's been gorgeous here. Harpy and I have been seeing it when I go to get her from work. You know, because it rises. It's been rising just a little bit before sunset. Or setting just a little before sunset, whichever. And it's just been absolutely beautiful. Pew, pew, pew. I'm trying to think what else I have to chitter at you guys about, you know, to share. I, 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 I live a very dull life, you know, there's just not a whole lot to talk about. I got no topics, y'all. I got no topics at all. And there's plenty of topics, but there's so much I'm just like, eh, I don't want to talk about that. You know, like, oh, talk about politics now. <laughs> Not at all. Not interested. They're important, but yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. There's enough other assholes talking about that shit. This hunter down. Turn off our decay. No, our decay is on. Okay, turn off our decay. Yeah, I keep screwing up the decay. I'll get better as I build muscle memory. I've just, I've got to get my muscle memory knocked out. Which means I've got to pick a skill set and stay with it. Like right now, I've, I've got the drain life down pretty good. I'm not really screwing that up too much anymore. When I changed it to the mouse button, boy, I, I was screwing it up bad. That's why I died that time. Hell yes. Reap a bunch of fools and gain a level. I will take it. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we're going to take another point of that. We're going to take another point of that. And then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, oh, no, 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 bad, bad. We're going to look at our skills because we probably have a shitload of points to spend. Yes, we do. Holy shit. Um, so where are we going with this one? Hitting minions heals them. Ward retention, which I don't really care about. Reaper's Ascendance. Gain a stack of Ascendance every five seconds you spend, which grants you increased spell damage. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Extra health leech in Reaper form. Extra healing effectiveness and extra reap health gain. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Now we're gonna pick up this ascendance and do more damage. Ooh, okay. And now we'll look at our drain life. We have a bunch of points we can spend in drain life. Or are we gonna go this way? No, I don't care about wandering spirits, damned, inflict, no. Only mass, it deals more stacks of, okay. You gain a stack of contempt when you have channeled on the same enemy for two seconds, grants more armor, and adds to all resistances. All stops of all stacks of contempt are lost when you stop channeling. It's not half bad though. Ooh, you can make it last for a while after. I like that. So you get buff. Okay. Um I feel like let's do get contempt. Stuns enemies. Love that. Oh, and it does more damage against bosses. Uh huh. Uh huh. Done. Now that's a boss shredder. That's the goal of that one. Marrow Eater. Your golem gains significantly more armor for eight seconds when the thing dies. I, I kind of want the twinned golems. They deal more damage. If bone golems have been replaced by another type, you now have an equal chance to summon a bone golem. Okay. Just a straight 10% damage buff. That's not terrible. Um, what do 
we got over here? Your golems, bone shatter projectiles, pierce. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So we've got a bunch of new powers on our skills too now. cooldown on it's not good I done screwed something up you know okay hold on hold on we definitely got to fix that. What did I fuck up? I fucked up something here. Uh, was it this? Something changed my drain life. Because it now just has a cooldown. Yeah, this doesn't do it. Surely none of these do it. Because this... this Whoa. Turn off that. Didn't realize I left the poison on. Um, okay. So drain life. What's our minimum skill? Four. Fuck. So we're going to lose a bunch of points if I respec. The stun inflicted by stagger. Like, what's making it not be channeled? It just should cost less. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Drain life now applies damned. You gain a stack of contempt when you have channeled on the same enemy, right? So that doesn't change it from not being a channeled ability. Drain life is channeled on the same target for more than two seconds. Okay. The stun inflict lasts longer. So all of these require me to channel my drain life, which is, it's a channeled spell, right? But for whatever reason, I can't channel it anymore. It doesn't. Now I can. But on enemies, I couldn't. It just stopped. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Okay, now it's working. I don't know, maybe a bug. Now it's broken again. little dude, wasn't he? Hmm. Yikes. Actually, that guy chewed me the fuck up. Okay. On to Imperial Walrim. Cat ears have ended, he tells me. Oh, shit. Just went right back. And now we'll go right back again. Okay. We've got our we got our waypoint. So we have a quest. We have a hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. It feels like it feels like I'm less effective now after specking, which I couldn't be.
Sheesh. Yeah, that cool. I don't know what's doing that, dude. Get out of here. Dingus. You're dead. I am dead. Actually, I'm a lish. What the fuck? Very observant of you. Moron. Ooh. I feel like maybe we need... I don't know. I don't know that we need another pet. I feel like the uh, the aura is not doing us any favors. I think the aura is maybe not the way to do this. Let's uh, let's let's look at that. Let's look at that. So if we took something else instead of the aura, we could take the imperial sh infernal shade, which I think is just like a a, a, a burning skull. Target enemy and nearby enemies take fire. Yeah. So you put a shade. You, you basically affix a burning ghost to them and they just burn um hungering souls i kind of want some skeletons i just want i just want plain jane you know ready ready ass old skeletons applies a curse causes physical damage when hit damages is tripled if you hit them yourself eh. bomby I, mean, I do like the bomby wondering spirits is pretty fucking good too though <laughs> Let's play around. Let's play around with some skeletons and just see what we think um, of them. So we'll turn this off and we'll put skellies on there. Clean and frost bong, very nice. Okay, so we got a couple of vanguards. We got an archer. We got a regular dude. Okay, and yeah, that, that just gives us a little more. I know I said no pet class, but you know. Spark up. I can do a little spark up. I can do a little spark up. Helps if you take the tip off. <coughs> there you go. Yep. There it is. There it is. This will give us a little more spread around on our health. You know, we'll have some other dudes to soak up hits. I think it's going to just help us. Eh. Ah, there we go. Identify yourself. Only those with an Imperial Officer Crest are permitted beyond this point. How cool. So they're just straight up. They're, they're people, but they're undead. I like that. That's a nice twist on like, you know, they're not just brainless skeletons, right? Oh, that went right to the brain. Man, I'm going to I'm going to barely talk now. Okay. Travel to the ruined area to investigate the great college. Well, okay. Okay. So out we go. We're leaving. Fine. I'm leaving. Me me me. Way. Come on, boys.
Sheesh. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Hey, welcome in, Beck. Welcome in. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. Oh, I mean, why have you done this to me? I can't. I can't play like this, bro. Ooh. There we go. Reaper form. Much better. Much better. I can play as a Reaper while high a little bit. That cooldown is just... I don't understand why that's a mechanic that I'm having to deal with now. Just... Whoa. Where'd you guys come charging up from? Why'd you do that? Man, I hate those, those summer guys. They're just kind of poopy to deal with. Okay. <laughs> Down this way, it says. Yeah, like right there. I've got the mana. I, I just can't cast. It's on cooldown. It's still on cooldown. I, ca I cannot cast it. Now it's on like a 10 second cooldown. I don't know what's doing that. And it's on cooldown. That, that, that ability does not have a cooldown. I don't know why it's giving me one. And now it doesn't. Like, there I ran out of health, and that's fine. Or not health, I ran out of mana. But before, I was I had tons of mana. Just because I, I couldn't actually cast anything. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's doing that. I hope it's a bug. One of these abilities somehow has a cooldown on it that it doesn't tell you about. I mean, there was another one that said it changes. Yeah, like there, I started casting and immediately got the cooldown. But I could continue casting. Other times, I'll start channeling and it immediately just goes into cooldown and stops. It's like the cooldown stops the spell itself. Which is kind of weird. Like, obviously that shouldn't happen. Got a guy over here. No, fuck off. Risen Lake to get the mage. Fuck. Okay, well, we'll have to go get him. Fine. Alright, so. Find the outcast hideout. Chest. Love that. Ooh, shards. Love those. Thank you. Where do we have to go? Up to the Risen Lake. Alright, Soul Warden's Road. On we go. Still waiting to cast. 
Still waiting to cast. Got one tick. I don't get it, man. Still can't cast. Full fucking mana. Cannot cast. There. Finally can cast. And there's... I, I don't get it. There's no reason for that. I wasn't doing anything. Like, nothing had me locked down, you know? Skeletons are pretty good, but they're not they're not helping as much as I would like. Okay, here's the road we gotta go down. Oh. Stretch out the arm a little bit. Just a hair. Alright, let's let's look at and think about these skills. Um alright, skills are still fine. What were we after here? Not that. Were we after this? Ivory Twin? No. I don't think we know what we were after here. Kindling Pyre Golem. Oh yeah, this. This. Yes. Flight of the Femurs. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you, my dear. Alright. We can't really take anything out here without losing all the points we've done. I mean, is it does this somehow? No, it doesn't say. Oh no. Chance every second. Like one of these abilities makes it. Have a cooldown. Oh, there it is. It's that cooldown, eight seconds. That cooldown should be for the stagger, but I'll bet you it's actually on the on the damn spell too. Even though it doesn't say that. 100% I'll bet you that's what it is. Okay. So I kind of want to take that out. We can, we can, we can. We're just going to lose the three points. I think it's worth doing because that's really fucking me up. Yeah, I know. So what happens is, so I just took three points out and I stopped respecking. Cool, you lost three points. Why would you ever do that? Because you only have so many. And I'll regain the points. So right now, I'll regain them until I hit level eight. Um, all your skills are going to try and like quick level to keep up with one another. And you see here, it says minimum spec level four. That means no matter how, what I do, if I respect every point out, I'm still going to have four to spend. And then I have to gain experience. To, uh, to gain the rest back. So respecting at a high level, it means you're gonna have to grind that skill for a long time and you're gonna drastically lose effectiveness for a while. But now, yes, now I can, I can switch targets with that without incurring a massive slowdown or a massive cooldown. Okay, that helps, that will help. And we'll just get to spend those points elsewhere when we get them back. We'll figure out something else to do with Drain Life. Defend yourself and pass the gate. Oh, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Welcome back, dear. Welcome back, Harpy. We love you. Okay. We, okay. We have we have a few now to deal with, but it's all right. It's all right. It's not that many. It's not. See, they're see that see they're all taking naps now. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Quest completed. Just as my reaper dies or ends. Ow. It's kind of rude. Why did you tell me? To, I mean, you know. Let me let me let me do my stuff. Got a bunch of shards. Love that. Okay. 
I guess we should look at the passes. Oh, zombie dogs. Fuck. Straight out of RE. No, thank you. Zogs, yes. No, thank you. <laughs> Took a flight. All right, let's uh, let's get that passive point spent. Hmm, I like necrotic damage. I like that. So next level, we're gonna get to open up something new. We can reap low enemy, low health, increase poison. Eh. I'm not really feeling the the aura of decay, frankly. Okay. At all. It's just not not great. That bear has glowing runes on him, and I don't think that's a good sign. Ow. Let's let's maybe not stand there for the arrows, huh? just as we're about to drop out. Uh-oh. Okay, there it goes. Okay. I think the health drain froze. Yeah, look at that. I'm in Reaper form. The health drain froze until I got back in combat. Interesting. A little bit of a bug there. Just let that cooldown run for a minute. Let all our guys here heal up. There's our Revenant. We got three Skellies. All right, good. Wait, yes? No. We have two skellies. Now we have three skellies. Imagine having three skellies in your life. One skelly's got to be a handful. Oh, yeah. That guy went down easy. That's what we like to see. Much better. Yeah, that cooldown was ass wasn't really helping. Like, they weren't getting stunned. It felt like. Check over here real quick. Let's look. Uh, oh, waypoint. Okay. Well, glad I backtracked. Holy shit. Yeah. Who needed to do that? Oh, a rift. What's this all about then? To the corrupted lake? Okay. That's going to be relevant to something, but I, I don't have a quest to go there, I don't think. Bear. I wish I felt better so we could have a beer or three. Uh, you'll, you'll feel better soon. That's okay. We can. It's like it's like uh, like the big green guy was saying the other day. You know, you don't have to get drunk to enjoy stream. You don't have to get high. You can do it sober. It'll still be fun. You'll have a good time. Of course, that's if you're watching the green guy, not my dumbass. But you know, the sentiment. The sentiment is what's there. 
Mm, I don't know, man. Last time we pulled one of those, spark up. I, I'm, I'm, I'll do a little more, but I'm at the point that it's gonna severely impact stream if I if I keep smoking. So I'll, I'll take a maintenance hit. How about that? But I'm not gonna take another fat one because I really can't function terribly well on cam uh, if I have too much. And uh, and that would just be like, guys, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm having a good. I don't feel like I'm doing right by you, even if you like it. I, I can't keep going, and then I would stop. So we'll just do a little a little puff. Harpy is watching me. Why are you gonna watch me? You know I can't do it when you watch me. Just staring at me. I'm sorry. I, it's not my fault that your job doesn't let you. I'm sorry. We talked about this. You said we were cool. Ooh. Okay, let's kill that. And let's kill these. Okay, that. And then let's hit him. And hit those and get out of the way of that. Jesus Christ. Kill these real quick. Okay. He's a bit of a nasty. Took him a long time to get my uh, my Reaper form down, though. Got him. Dropped the sash. Well, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Didn't die. I'll take it. I feel like I feel like I did okay. You know, I didn't do amazing, but I did all right. All right, what do we got? We got a we got a nice big gnarly sash. Uh, traversal skills increased chance to find potions and some fire resist. No, thank you. That's garbage. What is this? are you? It doesn't say. Uh, oh, okay. It just brought the door down. All right. All fair. What? Oh, it's the outcasts. Okay. This lake is swarming with undead. Gods, don't we know it? We keep trying to move to a new hiding spot between the increased, increased patrols and the seer's health. Every opportunity slips through our fingers. Hmm, okay. Enough chatter. Get inside before any of them spot you. Don't boss me around. Don't tell me what to do. I'm, I'm literally a dead bitch. I can be a dead bitch at will. So just watch your ass, buddy. Also, I'm stealing your shit. Your stuff was garbage. Yes. Good luck. Oh, damn it. Yes. Right. Why are you looking for Alric? He was in Walrin, but the Imperials have moved him. Oh, dear. He would have been back with the crowd of freed prisoners by now. If he's been captured and carted off somewhere, I hope he's safe. Please speak with the Seer and let her know what's happened. Oop. Go help him. Good luck. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am! Hmm. Oh, very nice. 24 forging potential. Not the right weapon for us, but still. I'm just busting their shit. It's like it's like Link. You know? Okay. <clears throat> On to the seer. And here's the seer. Oh, who are you? Okay. I was expecting you and your epoch. Oh, she's okay. She actually is a seer, like for real, though. She actually like saw shit. Fair. But now you are here, not just with one shard, but the whole epoch. My people have lost hope back then. Your presence is either a blessing or a warning for what's to come. My people were once the keepers, 
The first watched as Zatara broke the epoch into three shards, one hidden in a temple, one to be dead and defended by knowledge, and one guarded by mystery. We protected them as best we could. The fact that you were guided to combine them after all this time, maybe it's appropriate that I'm the last. I can tell that the boy left his mark on this, Alric. Let me know when you're ready and we can start the ritual. I'm ready. She begins to chant with the ring in her palm. You can almost see him in the dark. There are shouts and the sounds of combat. They found us. Finish them off while I wrap up the ritual. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't actually mean to go into Reaper form yet, but that's all right. Come in. Yeah, keep, keep coming. Keep coming. Love that. Yeah, that's fine. Don't. Oh, no. Don't chew up my skellies. Oh, no. I hate it. Oh, my poor skeletons. Oh, no. Oh, yawn. Whatever shall I do? I'll just keep summoning you guys. Death will not take Maybe we should come back, guys. Maybe we should come back, though. Let's let's come back here. Let's be good little dudes. Serenus the Accuser. Fucking Accuser. How dare you? Oh, he's one of the fucking summoners. Oh. Ooh. Now, now it's personal, goddammit. It's directly, deeply personal at this point. Get out of here. Welcome, traveler. Quite the skilled fighter. It all makes sense now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately for Alric, I saw walls of bone, twisted cages of metal and cruelty, and all around it was the vast darkness of the sea. There had been rumors that Admiral Harton, one of the Emperor's servants, was constructing a dreadnought. Alric is imprisoned somewhere in there. It's not too late. The ship is still docked. Fuck. Okay. Go off and find a big ship and get in it. We can do that. On we go. Reap, 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 reap. Reapers going to reap. shit here yeah she is she is a bit of a monster i don't think i'm gonna keep the skellies though it's really i mean they're good but they're just they're messing with the feel of things Why would you send zombies after, you know, the undead? Like, you know I'm just going to treat them like the little health cookies that they are. 
They're just, del well, they're not delicious. I mean, it's just like Minecraft. I mean, if you don't eat the rotten flesh in Minecraft, what are you doing? You know, live a little. That's all I'm saying. Live a little. You'll be fine. You'll be fine most of the time. Hmm. I would rather you didn't do that to me. Thank you. Dude busted his own head on my shit. necessarily too many harpy i just feel like um i'm having trouble with mana and i'm having to put skeletons up a lot when i'm in reaper form when the fighting stick and it's eating a lot of my mana that i would otherwise use doing more damage and um and draining life and draining life is the big deal because the more life i can drain the longer i can stay in reaper form hey level 30 and now we've upped our minimum skill level to five. So when I respect my skills, I will get a minimum of five points. Once I get to five points in a skill spec, I'll always have five after respecting, which is nice. I mean, it still hurts if you had 20 and you respect the skill out and now you have five and you have to level it 15 times. That still hurts, but. Life Drain sounds... Yeah, Life Drain, it's just more important for the Lish form because the Lish, you drop out of it when your health goes to zero. You, you don't get any kind of health regen, and when your health drops to zero, you lose it. Uh, so you can either just make sure you um, don't take any damage, but that doesn't work because in Lish form, you have a drain on you. You have a health drain that accelerates with time. So you're going to drop out of it eventually. Unless you can figure out a way to basically keep life drain up forever and never run out of enemies to kill. Which in late game is plausible um, to get that level of mana regen going. Or not regen, but like that level of uh, cost reduction going on where you can basically keep it up. And then the second you drop it down, your mana comes so fast that you just throw it right back up again. But right now it's not. So anyway, if I don't have to spend the those mana points on skeletons also i'm just not doing a great job of keeping them up you'll note right now i have three vanguard one archer i don't have the other skeletons up so i've been like that skill point has not been gaining me much effect right now because i haven't been running the skeleton I, I just don't notice when they die so that's that's a player issue not a game design issue but knowing that i'm not going to generally see that right away means in my case it's probably better to just spec something different. Okay, so nobody here. Now we'll look at those we'll look at those points. So we got another Lish point we can spend. I think we'll just do the same one. Take necrotic damage. That will buff our uh, our our leech health because that's necrotic. And then we'll uh, we'll look at this, and we're not going to undo the skeletons from here because we don't have them on here yet. We do have some more points to spend. Um, I don't want that grave chill. What was I going for? Was it over here? Mercy none death. Hitting them with reap heals them. That's pretty good. Oh, this was it. Yeah, increased spell damage. That was it, a hundred percent. All right. So now over here, we want anything that will ideally make our. <clears throat> spell last longer which we already took three points which was this oh that deals a higher percentage of damage that part's nice dealing more damage is nice Ooh, i like that you blast you blow the thing up when you kill something love that hmm 
target minions, drain your minions, get warding. Yeah, there's nothing that really is going to like make it. I do like that extra target though. I like that an awful fucking lot. Chance to slow stuff is also good, but I don't know. I mean, the fearing is good. It's going to knock stuff around. I feel like we should probably go for this and then go for the soul blast. And in fact, I think that's exactly what we're going to do just because we can. Okay. And when we get to the next one, I'm going to change the skeletons. Like I said, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. Change our skellies out. Let's see. So we need some other kind of ability that maybe doesn't cost too much mana. Um, I mean, spirit plague is low. Yeah, I mean, that's good because you can plague something, but I don't know. It only lasts a few seconds, so you're always having to put it back up. Volatile Zombie is pretty nice because um, they do a ton of damage, but they're, they're fire and physical, which we don't have. War of Decay is poison. Yeah, Spirit Plague is actually necrotic, which we can benefit from. Hungering Souls. I think maybe Hungering Souls is what we want, actually. Calls for five hungering souls. I mean, if you guys remember this, we played with it. I'll show you. I feel like this might be a good one to mess with. Yeah, they, they'll, they're they like little homing missiles. They'll go for the targets. So we can throw that out once in a while, and it does a bunch of damage for like, what, eight seconds? Five seconds? Possessed enemies? No, 1.5. Oh, okay. So that's sort of a spammable ability, but god damn it, I didn't mean to go down there. Fuck. Yeah, Bombi, exactly. Those are the guys. Oh, there was a thing there. Well, not anymore. <laughs> also, if you if you look at the game guide in this game, I gotta say this is another example of them just doing it right. So here's the game guide. And so let's just take one of these, like um Rarity. Pretty good amount of info and you can link the article to share it with people in chat and also i think click up here um how about how about um okay let's learn about idols okay there's idols all right what the hell's uh let's look at the crafting explanation cool let's look at the you know what's an affix shard there they all are tells i mean it's there's a lot of info in game so that you don't have to go Mm, documentation. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that moisten you up a little bit, Harpy. I know you. That was that was Harpy porn right there. I don't think I want to fuck to him. Yeah, I do. Of course I do. We know I do. Who am I kidding? Ooh.
Ha! Dead. They are they are pretty solid fights on those guys. Okay, we got some nice booties. I mean, who doesn't like a nice booty, bro? Everybody likes a nice booty. What do we got? Uh, 1.5 seconds of haste after you use a traversal skill. 4% increased effective haste. Some extra health regen. Some necrotic resistance. A bunch of dodge. A bit of movement. Not bad. That haste could be nice. What do we have on? Increased minion damage. Two minions teleport around after... Teleported around you after you use a traversal skill. That part's kind of nice, too. Five armor. A little bit of movement speed. Some timing. So we'll lose some void resistance. We'll actually lose some dodge rating. Um, we'll lose a bunch of minion damage. We'll pick up movement speed. We'll pick up a percentage of dodge rating. And we get that haste. I mean, let's just see what that feels like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that running quick is kind of nice. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll try them out for a minute. We'll try them out. Let's put these other booties over here so we remember not to get rid of them. Now here's the real question. Does that count? It does. Yeah, okay. So reaping does count as a haste traversal. Or a traversal for that haste proc. So that part's good. It means I'll be getting it a lot. God damn. Mean. How dare you kill my golems? I don't think so, sir. What a meanie. Good, got him. Fucker. And a chest. Come on, shards. Oh, I got a couple. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mouthiel looking. No shit. Yeah, you look totally Mouthiel. Fuck that. Utterly fuck that. Yeah, let's just stack this stuff up a little better. Okay. Is a good stuff. Ooh, ooh, that amulet, that that amulet. Mm -mm. Okay. Sorry, Reaper form, but we break for this. Increased necrotic damage, yes, sir. We break for that. Increased crit strike, eh. dodge rating, throwing damage, don't care. Melee attack speed sucks. The implicits, which are those abilities. So when you look at an item. You see it says Oculus, uh, Occultists, Jade Amulet of Evasion, Amulet 12% increased melee attack. That 12% and that 6% at the top there are implicits. It means that this item will always have those. They're not, they're not abilities that are, um, that are going to be randomized beyond the value of them. So that 12%, there will be a range to that. And if I hit control and alt, down at the bottom, you see it says control plus alt mod ranges. So you can see that it ranges from 5 to 15, and this one rolled 12. And then on the throwing attack speed, it goes 5 to 15, and it rolled 6. So it rolled pretty well on the melee attack, but terrible on the other. You get the idea. I love all the information they give you. So, like, everything you need to make an informed decision is pretty much in the game already. Um... I just, I think that kind of shit is really good. You don't have to, like, look up or wait for, you know, whatever site to tabulate shit for you. 
you know you can kind of you can do a lot of that yourself right here i mean it's all built in it's apparent yeah because they know like why not put it in the game like it's art obviously the game knows these percentages and knows these values so why doesn't the game just display it because otherwise we're gonna go look it up elsewhere we're gonna have to and I think it's wise on the developer's part to do that, to just provide us the info. Dude. Damn Star Bear, whipping my ass. Ha. Huh. Sheesh. Let that mana regen for a sec. Very fun to watch you play. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, I worry that people get bored, you know? Especially after hours. Because it's been, what, we're coming up on four hours. Hmm. Oh, those were not okay. Those are oh, those are very not okay. Mm. Ow. to go I think just waiting for that reaper skill to go I think I'm gonna just push hard this time we're gonna get the reaper skill up we're just gonna go like as fast as I can basically let the mana regenerate fully get our little ice beetle okay good enough let's go Of course, we just come right to the end of the level, right as I decide, like, all right, we're going to go fast. Well, shit. If you got the fucking, what is it, trypophobia? Yeah, if you got the thing where you don't like to see holes, this level ain't your friend. God, those things are gnarly. They're cool, though. I mean, they're really neat design. They're just, boy, they fuck you up. They fuck you and your friends up. definitely hit we've we've hit the point where we need a level we definitely need a level um like some some better weaponry gear something because we're starting to feel it now we're really starting to feel the level um increase chance to apply frailty hmm. yeah go away Ooh, ghost raven I will not be fucking with the Ghost Raven. Oh, no. What the fuck? That, it's a big, like, crazy steer skeleton thing with, like, a tank on its back that shoots magic laser. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he's fighting. Ow! Don't shoot the Reaper, dude. 
dick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fucker. Bit nervy. Yeah, I feel like my my uh, drain life isn't doing as much. Yeah, but there it is. That's somebody else's bone golem. Nope, 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 nope. Ow. These Imperials are actually kind of gnarly, man. Bullet sponge. <laughs> you hoo, Reaper calling. Give, 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 give. Thank you, thank you. Slurpy, slurpy, slurpy. I appreciate your contributions. No, nope. Missed me. Haha. -ha. Now you're dead. You went flying. You went yeet. Like a chomp. Ah, sculptors. Sculpt this ass. Probably got a sculpt ass. Just saying. Yeah, I know. Nobody asked, but whatever. I shared it. Deal. Thank you for your contribution to the Reaper Health Fund. Your receipt, your donation is not tax, not tax, uh, hmm. what is it? Fuck. Hey, you know what I'm saying. Your donation is not tax free. Not actually a charitable organization. Mm -hmm. Deductible, thank you. Jesus Christ. My brain is pudding. And you love it, don't you, dear? Because we're on even footing, finally. She started typing and saw me lean in, and she stopped because she knew I was going to say some shit. She knows me well. Ooh. I say that like this woman can't trounce me in every single way. I literally had to ask her 20 minutes after she gave me some a leave if she gave me a leave. Because I couldn't remember if she did and if I had taken it. So. Never never have any doubt which is the superior mind. It's her. No. You, you, no. You're being humble and nice. Dumbass. Stop that. Ooh. What's with the baby reapers? No reaplets. Thank you, okay? We don't want any reaplets up in here. Praetor Tyrannus. Yeah, take a nap, dude. Take you and your reaplets. I did not sign up for fucking daycare here. Watch your own goddamn kids, punk ass. Fucking entitled parents, I tell you what. Oh, you ever want to get me hot and angry? Yeah, get me to talk about that subject. Oh, yeah. feelings. I do not want to talk about that subject. <laughs> Man, these levels are long. I forgot how long they get as you go in the campaign. They get even. They get much longer. Like I remember going back when when it was out before, and I was doing oh. Okay, let me let me actually try and live through this. Man, they just chewed up one of my golems. Okay. Um yeah. No idea what I was saying. If 
finally. Oh, how long the levels were. Yeah, so I would um I would occasionally um like get up and decide, hey, I wanna I wanna play a level of this real quick. And an hour and a half later I complete the level. You know, it's like it wasn't a ten minute session thing, you know? Okay, increase poison, yeah. vitality, health regen, do like that. Uh, soul barrier cooldown, which we don't even really have, so... Surely? Yep. Into the Dreadnought. Alright. Ooh, God, what a gnarly looking ship. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, this is badass. Actually, this thing looks fucking sick. I mean, it is a ship of the dead. I love it. I hit my Reaper form. I'm going to take just a second to let my uh, wrist stretch out while the Reaper form recovers because, wow, she's feeling my hands swelling up a bit now because of the, uh, the pressure, which it's not a problem. It's not like you know, puffing, puffing. I can just tell. It'll be, uh, it'll be a minute after I take it off. I have to, you know, like do the stretchies to kind of pump all the excess fluids that have built up out of it. though they are dead i think they're neat i think they're a neat idea i like the idea of you know they're not just like undead who can talk you know they're people and they're dead because i mean they're immortal but their flesh is rotted away so they're undead but they're not like in the same way you know what i mean they're not like the mindless undead i don't know just people who chose to be this way basically i think that's kind of neat Well, just saw my pets goodbye. I went through the wall. <laughs> yeah, all these other guys are kind of a problem. He keeps summoning them. Summoning them. Uh, we're getting him down, but it's not going pretty. Ow. There's another whole group. See, I don't have any good skills that deal. Like, my my drain is my main damage dealer, and it hits three targets. I don't really have anything that can, like, hit, you know, big zergs quickly. Okay. Well, we got him. We got him. That's what matters. And I think that's what... That's what I'm looking for in lieu of this, uh, in lieu of the skellies. I heard your dick has come. Well, I mean, 
It do, but I mean, you don't need to advertise. It's quite so loudly late. P is scored in the balls. Mm. Mm. Follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Come on, cooldown. We're almost there. I remember the Dreadnought is really... It's pretty compact. Saw cutie, so hit follow. Well, thank you. Harp, my, Harpy's not on chat. Though. She's not on camera, though, bro. Come on, now. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. I don't deal well with compliments. I like them, but I don't deal well with them. Come on, come on, come on. All right. We have our golems? No. Come on, health, health. All right, we got our golems. Everyone knows. Peach, Peach, shush. Peach, you just shush with that. Don't you start to. Dina, don't even. Dina, you're probably typing. Don't even. These people, I swear. Blind. Okay. All right, good. Now let's look at that passive. We hit level 30, right? Uh, are we 31? I don't even know. It's literally in the pinned message. I can't see. I can't read. So it's all good. Can't see. Can't read. Can't hear. Um, let's continue reaping. And let's look at our skills. Five more levels, we get another one. And then we can actually start looking at, like, doing something. Because I'll tell you what, I'm not really feeling... Good news. An effort was made. Well, I will not shit on you for missing a letter or, or misspelling something because that would be incredibly hypocritical of me. We all know that I am a legendary mistypist on mobile. Um, and I'm not great on the keyboard always. So... Which is funny, because I can type 130 freaking words a minute. But <laughs> once you put accuracy in the count, it goes down to about 100. Um, you still heard it, but I thought you couldn't hear. Hmm. Miraculous recovery. What do you want me to say? Miraculous recovery. You know, old people were weird. Our stuff comes and goes like that, you know? It's like my dad, you know? He's completely, you know, aphasic and all that. And all of a sudden, he's like, hey, I'm, I got better. I mean, he kind of did. I mean, in this case, it's not a mystery. You know, it was drugs. New drugs he took that uh, that helped a lot. But, all right. Um, so, at the next level, I want to think about what we're going to do here. Congrats. And congrats for your recovery. You're so cute. Hmm. Weird. I was in the middle of reading a sentence, and I suddenly lost the ability to... Shut up, Athena. Shut up. Um, shut up. I don't know. Marrow Shards is a nice ability. It's physical, though. We need another necrotic ability, ideally. I mean, this is necrotic, dude. This is necrotic. I kind of wonder if this isn't what we need to be using. I mean, Hungering Souls just isn't working for me. Calls forth five souls. Yeah, that's what we're using. Spirit Plague, I don't see... I don't know. It lasts three seconds. Maybe when you spec that, you can make it last longer. Death seal. Remove all ward and seal your health, preventing it from going above its current state. Deals more damage equal to your percent of missing health and take them. Reactivate to unleash a wave of death. Okay, so you... I got it. I got it. I don't think that's what I want. Um. Yeah, so... We gotta, we're about to get the... This is the final ability, and I don't really care about it. So, I don't know. I mean, if we're going hard on Necrotic, we need to stay on Necrotic. So, it seems like Harvest is really where we want to be. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're going to change this again. And uh, get rid of this and, and get some Harvest in there. Which means changing the keys around. Damn it. 
Well, it doesn't. I mean, we'll just put harvest on this key. All right, let's let's do this one. We got one unspent point here. What were we spending on? Are we going this way? Yeah, yeah, we were down here, right? Yeah, contempt. Okay. All right, so contempt lasts a minute after you stop draining. That's what we like, right? What's contempt do? Gives me resistance and armor. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we like. Okay. And then we'll do our goal. And I'm really kind of starting to wonder about the golems, frankly. If maybe they don't need to go away. We pick something else. Um, what's this do? Betrayal. If you only control one golem. Well, we don't. We have this. But I can take that point out. There's a much higher chance to retaliate when damage is from hits. I mean, I don't feel like the two are actually helping me that much. Let's just do that. Let's do that right now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, somebody wants Bro. me to be cute for them. Fine. Fucking bunny ears. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes. Out. Fucking bunny ears. Don't you awe me. Oh, God damn it, Raven. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't leave me alone. I love having you here. I'm glad you're here. Okay, stop respecting. Fucking bunny ears. Such a happy hair. Hey, is a hair, is a hair inherently a female rabbit? I actually don't know in my head they are, but I don't think they are. I don't think that's a gendered term, actually. Um, no. No, says Harpy. Okay, Harpy knows. Do you remember that there is a term, lady rabbits are does? Yeah, I was thinking, I was trying to remember what the term for a male rabbit is. Um, box. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes, Harpy knows. Harpy knows. I, I'm sure I knew that from Watership Down back in the day, but got yeeted out for some other knowledge. All right, let's continue on. Mm, it's raining on top deck, just like deer. Yeah, yeah, Yup, yup. Easy to remember. Okay, lots of fools. There we go, dead fools. These little lines right here make me think that it's, oh, nice lightning effect. Makes me think that um, I can't walk across there like it's a wall. They, so if you see me like suddenly start to backtrack for no reason, that's why. It's not that I'm completely derpy. Sometimes I'm derpy, but... Okay. Damn. Uh, this time we do have to go back. That sucks. Oh, well. Come on, health. Hurry up and decline. Okay, fine. Stick around. Got to get that Reaper form on cooldown again, hopefully, so I can use it when I actually need it. Kind of good sea shanty music, actually. Sort of a, yeah, it's kind of a little pleasant surprise. I have the audio turned down a bit, so it's a little hard for me to hear a lot of it. I mean, I'm hoping you guys can hear all the audio pretty well. And the idea is to, to not have it compete with my voice too much. But the music's pretty good in the game, actually. I like it. I might have to switch it up. I'm, I, I do feel the need to, to hear something else. Fuck. Ugly. Ugly. Yeah, that's right. Collecting your gold. What are you going to do about it? Hi. What are you going to do? That's right. Signed you up for AARP, too. What you gonna do? You got nothing. Oh, shit. Who brought you to the party? Bro. Okay. Nobody invited you guys. Come on. Let's go this way. Come on, Golem. We're leaving. Ooh. Running out of men, not good. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh. Oh. Increased cast speed, melee cold, hate that. All right, 
But we're getting into a new tier of, of gear, so time to start keeping our little eyes open. Because maybe, just maybe, we can spec some shit. Spark up. I'll do a little spark up. I'll do a maintenance spark for you. I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't want to get, like, mega ripped, you know? I'm also one of those people, I don't like to be mega ripped. I just don't. I don't like to be drunk. Um... I don't really even like to be buzzed. Like, I think probably you guys have seen me get to the point where I'm lightly buzzed on stream. Um, in terms of, you know, alcohol specifically. Like, I've gotten high on stream before. I've gotten pretty fucking high. But in terms of alcohol, like, I've only ever really gotten to, like, pretty lightly buzzed. Like, to the point where I'm not legal to drive for sure. But, like, in my case, that, that limit is one drink. If I have a drink, I will not drive. I will not do it. I will wait. Um, it's just that's a hard rule for me. Uh, buried, just buried too many friends, and uh, and I, I firmly believe that there's no such thing as a safe level of alcohol to have. Um, and frankly, I'm really pretty much that way with 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 uh, smoking too. Um, you know, I won't do it before I go get Harpy unless I have plenty of time to, like, make sure it's well and fully out of my system, pretty much. You know, I mean, I know, obviously, it takes it longer than, you know, an hour or two. But, like, if I don't have a couple hours, I won't, I won't have any. Okay, let's try and get the golems back. Hi, there you are. Hello. I love you. Um, and I'll continue that vein in a minute. Scorpion King looking at us. Yeah, he is. He's, ca he's crab boy. Jesus, are we fighting Rizzoli? Is this Rizzoli in the end times? I think we are. Don't tell him. Oh, god damn, that hurt. Ow! Jesus, I got lucky there. I managed to get into Reaper form right... I took a huge hit and was standing in some shit. And I got into Reaper form in that. I'm pretty sure saved my little bacon. Just hit you with this then, fucker. Your ship can be my team all you want. Whatever. Shut up, Admiral Harton. You're a punk ass. Dead ass. Head ass. Get buttered, bitch. Butter me, daddy. I'm gonna butter you so fucking hard. I do miss Alex's old sub alert where she said butter me, daddy. And that is one well-fucked crab. Very well-fucked crab. Slayer's quarterstaff of the coven. Cold damage, minion damage. And uh, melee crit. So this is definitely leaning towards a necro on that one. Okay, let's start. I hold on. Just, I gotta find. I gotta look. I gotta. I'm, I'm going to my last epic site. I'm going to my last epic site because I don't want to try and build a loot filter on stream. So I, I know I can. I just don't want to do it because they're crazy complicated. And I want to look up a lish. All right, shotgun dot lish. No lish carpet bomb. No. Lish dot and rot building guide. Yeah, this works. This is the one I like. Um, is this it? Okay. I think it is. Or of decay, bone golem, transplant, reaper, and drain life. This is the one. Let me get a loot filter on this one. Copy to clipboard. And this is lish dot and rot. Okay. So we open up our loot filter, and now I can import a filter, paste my clipboard contents, and just name it what I want. Dot and rot. And we'll make it just a dirty, sickly green color. Okay, there we go. So now I've got now I've got this um Ooh, posted loaf? I must see. I must see. Hold on. Hold on. We pause and and Emmy is saying that that she posted a loaf in the exclamation point Discord. Uh we have a we have some channels for showing off shit, because I like it when people show off. And so Emmy that looks lovely. The um the lines on it from the from the from the tying. Well done. Well done. That is beautifully risen, very picturesque. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with that. Oh yeah. Oh my god, 10 out of 10. Wood butter. Would eat. Do want inside me now. Right now. Um so anyway, so now you'll notice all the loot is gone, but I can hit X. And there's the loot, but it's filtered. So I only see loot that's valid for this build, basically. And specifically what this one's gonna do 
It shows any unique or set item, because you always want those. It'll always show me exalted items. It'll show me experimental items, which are weird. Um, they're kind of special. It recolors stuff based on how good it is. Um, so, like, here you can see if it has three affixes, it's going to be red. If it has two, it's uh, idols are going to be this color. You know, three affixes are going to be that. Two affixes give you an orange. You know, two affixes of certain other shit is going to give you yellow, green, blue. You get the idea. So it's going to it's gonna show me different loot depending on my level. And it's only going to show me stuff that this class can use. It won't show me, like, other class items. And it's only going to show me stuff that have stats that are valid. At least one or two of the stats need to be valid for this thing. So, for example, if something has strength, armor cold damage and minion damage I'll see it but if it had those three things and then you know um, melee speed I wouldn't so you get the idea you get the idea loot filtering makes it so you don't have to look at everything all the time oh we found Alric well look at hello I mean what, hold on hold on first off look at this man he's first off he's supposed to be a powerful mage but he's chained up but look at this man and um, and form your opinions. You know, we, we judge. We're not afraid to judge Alric a little bit. We're not judging him like we're not holding anything against him. But we, but we can go man hot, man not hot. That man is hot. That man is very hot. What if we didn't break the chains? All right, we'll break the chains. Consent is hot. Okay, bro, uh, bro. There's not a whole lot of ways to take that. You'll have to excuse me. I'll express my gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yes, but he does. Yet he does cold damage. The irony. Exactly. He's hot and does cold. What a what a sheesh. Exactly. Exactly. Hey yo. Yep. 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 Oh, there's the shoulder. Mm. Trying to sit upright. See if that it can. Maybe a little posture change will help out. The the elbow's starting to grump a little. All right, can you swim? Uh, <laughs> what are you planning? Oh God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I guess it's up here. Bro, are you gonna blow the ship up? I mean, obviously he is. Oh dear. Okay. Signal and jump. Did he say really? <laughs> There we go. Is it time for a pain relief maintenance spark up? I literally just sparked up not five I minutes ago. Not doing that again. No, no, we're good on that Let's front. For It'll be fun. <laughs> this mouthy bitch. Okay. Convenient waypoint. Well, I love that. And we made it a pretty fair amount in. Um, I don't think we're halfway through the good. campaign, but we're probably approaching halfway. Washed up safely. It seems we're a tad off course. Okay. Fortunately, we have a contact who can help. I don't know, you're a mage. Can't you just like conjure this shit? Problem is, she's deep in Majelka. You're a mage. Can't you just Here conjure this shit? I know it doesn't work like that. Yes. Yes. It'll be fine. It'll always be fine. Dude, you're literally talking to the Reaper. I'll hang back and cover our tracks. Catch my breath. Did you know I almost drowned? Mmm, interesting. Hang back, catch my breath. Are you actually a mage? Are you actually a mage, brother? Or are you are you full of shit? I think you might be full of shit. I'll only slow you down. Please, go on without me. I mean, she is pretty quick, but mm, I got I got little alarm bells in my brainy brain right now. Ooh. Okay, that is a gnarly fucking scorpion. Jesus. I mean, I love it, but... Ow, ow, ow. Please stop hitting me. Please stop hitting me. Please stop hitting me. Ooh, shrine. I do break for those. Holy balls. We have friends. We have... Oh, my God. It's the Olive Garden. What the hell? 
This is not the unlimited crab I signed up for, sir. It's not crabs, I know, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best. So what actually got dropped? Yeah, that's not something right for us. I mean, that's not terrible for us, but I get why it didn't give it to us. I think he's faking it. Throw pretzel bits at the scorpion. <laughs> that, yes, okay. That took me a second, like, what the fuck are you talking? Yep, yep, okay, I got you now. I got you now. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, they're mean. Bro. Let's just, let's just not. Please, let's not. Wow. Okay, so this is where the whole, like, I'm going to be a caster in combat, like in melee, sometimes it, it proves challenging. really got to just kind of go and keep going too with this build that sucks ow okay that's it she's out now surely okay what else do we got anything why am i what Ooh. i guess i just wasn't paying attention dead eat shit worm all right Trying to look at the loot, sir. Cold damage, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. So, spell, crit, chance to chill, melee, spell damage. This could be useful. Um, we could we could actually change that. Ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. I got you. I got oh. you, Dina. Somebody wants me. Dina, do you want them? Do you want them up? Do you want one quirked? Do you want them both quirked? Do you want them, you know, one back? You tell me. How would you like the ears, Athena? Up to me. I want one quirked right now. I'm feeling cute, and I think that's cute, so. And it lets you guys see it a little more, I think. Hopefully. Okay. So, oh, yeah, let's get him back. Yeah, boy, this, this is getting tough now. We definitely need better gear. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that guy's beautiful, but I, I don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, well. <laughs> Hi. I don't notice me back here, back. Fuck. Bro. Bro. Bro, you weren't supposed to notice. Did you not? I asked politely about it, too. You know? Mm. Okay. Let's just take a... Ooh, shit. Wrong button. Uh, X. No. 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 Okay. Let's look at what we've got. Send our shards in. Let's look at what we've got. Melee spell. Cast cold. We don't like the cold. We do like the poison. Cold, crit, minion spell. No. Chance to chill is fine. Increased spell damage. 82% increased spell damage. Hello? Melee spell. Chance to melee crit. I don't like that, but this looks like a good weapon. So let's start with this. Can we? Can we put... No. Um, we need to lose one of these affixes, and frankly, this is the one I want. Like, in theory, we could do that, and we could use a Glyph of Chaos. It's going to change this affix to something else. Um, this prefix. Um, yeah, so we have a Glyph We'll get lucky. Okay, we only lost one. We picked up melee cold damage. Okay. And I can't upgrade it, because I don't have the right thing. Fuck. That's all right. So, um, yeah, what I really want is to put, um, I want to put, um, oh, what's it called? Um, necro bonus, but that's going to be a prefix, not a suffix. So I kind of feel like, what if I just said, hey, you, what if we just said goodbye? 
and give me all your shards. Thank you. So melee crit, increased cold, don't care. So this one is likewise a potentially good item. This is what I would want to change because I don't care about melee cold damage. And I don't know that there's a whole lot I can do here. I mean, we can try a Glyph of Chaos. We got one shot to get something good. The chance of it being the one we want or not, is not good. I mean, crit strike chance isn't terrible though. And then here we could put, I mean, there's no necro thing though. So I don't know. I really want spell, spell power. I think we're gonna just shatter this one too. Gimme. Okay. Yeah, and this one, I don't ca even care enough to shatter it. Okay, good there. All right. So that gives us that gives us that. All right. Minion damage. I feel like the ones we have are good. I think they're doing good. Um, yeah, I do want to shatter these because those have got a couple good abilities on them. We got a void resistance shard. Well, fuck. Okay, that's why I use the rune of removal. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Anything good in that trash pile? At this point, we're kind of looking for like anything that might be usable. Um, Cause gear is hurting, gear is hurting. Yeah, where before we were dropping things like every, you know, couple seconds. These guys are all taking like five, ten seconds to kill now. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, do do. Very good. Ooh, almost knocked my cup over. Okay. <laughs> What the flying absolute no. Oh my god. Oh, did you whoa, no, 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 no. What the fuck just came out of his mouth? Oh my Okay, so it's an it's a it's a it's a it's like a it's like a griffin or a weber, you know, or a, whatever, right? With kind of sort of a, a ram's head slash deer head. And then spiked snakes that come out of its interior and eject out of its mouth. Yeah, Wevern Xenomorph, exactly. Um, yeah, fuck that. Fuck that, sir. No, no, no. And he pukes everywhere. That's horrible. I do not like it. Oh, look at these guys, bro. Like the scorpions aren't gnarly enough, man. What great design. So juicy. I'll tell you on headphones, man. This is this area is it's moist. It's incredibly moist. picture um <laughs> so that's harpy and the dog and the dog would routinely get down on the floor and lay on his back and expose himself you know to have his belly rubbed right and so harpy would sometimes because she's a cheeky little thing lie down next to him and also put her, her feet and legs up like he did you know she'll she'd do that shit and sometimes if she was a particularly good harpy He'd come over with this rope and give it to her and then try and take it from her. And he'd end up dragging her across the floor like tug of war, but she was on her back on the ground. So he would actually drag her like to wherever he wanted. Um, and it would just be the funniest thing because I'd be like in the office or something. And then all of a sudden I hear this cackling out in the living room, just this absolute witch brew of cackling. And it's hard. I, I, I like look out and it's Harpy on her back and she's just disappearing into the bedroom as the dog drags her off or disappearing down the hall. Or sometimes he'd make it to the kitchen and it's like, I mean, you know, cause it was tile. So he could pick up some speed there. He didn't have good traction, but she had very little friction. So 
versus dragging her across the carpet. It was a real huh, huh, tug and pull, and she's just hooting and hollering. So that was that was one of Harpy's favorite things to do. I have no doubt she'll do it again because uh, we have uh, the floors here are very very good for it. We have uh, a very smooth, slick floors in this house. And yes, there are videos of it, by the way. They do exist. Just FYI. Ooh. He is very strong. That is true. He's a beast, man. I mean, well, of course he's a beast of a dog, but you know what I mean. He's a beast of a dog. Which is why it's so nice, because he's so gentle. He's just he's just super kind. You know? And he's, like, he's dainty and delicate. You wouldn't think a 100-pound Rottweiler is going to be dainty and delicate, but he is. Yeah, Peach can confirm. She's met him. He's just the gentlest little sweetheart. Look at all these uglies. Oh. You're the best, Peach. And Harpy and Raven. And Dina and everybody else. All of y'all here today. Love y'all. Thank you for being with me today. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, okay, knock it. Fuck us. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Shit, 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 shit. Holy fuck. Sir, sir, sir. Jesus, sir. Ah. Do not projectile your shit upon me. I hate you. Oh, God, I hate it. Why are you gonna be like that, man? Nobody wants to share. You're, you're like somebody, you know, I mean, take your, take your, take your herbal life or whatever, wherever else. Go away. Go somewhere else. Okay, so we got two. Now, this loot, you can't be fooled by the, by the color. This loot is different because we have a loot filter now. So we actually have to look at this and see why it recommended we picked up those two items. So you can see one of them, it's a, it's a blue item, but it's got a couple of notches from our filter. And this is a yellow item, and it's also yellow and has a couple notches, which means it has an ability that's really good, or not really good. It has at least one ability that's good for us. Please no shit throwing. Yes, exactly. It's just offering you some gah. Yeah, extreme gah. Non-consensual gah. Okay, and, and what this one's after is probably the necrotic resistance or the health. That's not bad. Um, let's look at what we have on. Uh, really nothing good. <laughs> so that helmet is not really helping us much at all. So clearly that is a better helmet for us. Okay. And here, um, so we will lose minion damage, which is probably not where most of our damage is. We'll lose a shitload of fire resistance, but we'll pick up a little tiny bit of mana. I don't think that's worth it yet. Um, I think we're going to get there, but I don't think that's it yet. Okay. Let's, let's try and figure out if we can get over to where we want to be. Man, our little dudes, they're getting the bonguses kicked. Let's um, let's also spend some points, because we got at least one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spend that point. And we got a couple golem points we can spend. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Golem points are spent. Got another one of these we can spend. Um, yes, that one. Okay, be, be a good level next level. And we've got a new Reaper point we can spend. Hell to the yes on that. Mm -hmm. What's that one do? Healing, hitting minions will heal them. I mean, that is good. I do reap through my minions all the time. We made it that far. We might as well take it. It'll probably help. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Very good. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, let's see how much this helps keeping them up. Ooh. Little bit. Little bit. I mean, he still took an ass whipping. Commander's Jade Ring of Remedy. Minion damage, healing effectiveness, poison resistance, dodge rating. So what do we have? Minion damage, throwing, dodge rating, health regen, dodge rating. So lots of dodge or minion damage attunement, dodge, fire, crit strike. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody you, clean it. I probably forgot to take them off, didn't I? I'm, I'm like, I'm hella engrossed in the game. I'm sure you can probably tell. Like, I'm, I'm, that's why I keep going quiet. I'm trying real hard not to, but I keep wanting to, like, look at everything and read everything. And I'm like, I'm trying to learn, you know? Because when I played it before, I played a completely different class with totally different mechanics. Shrine of Shards. Oh, yeah. I love these. Get all kinds of shards out of them. Okay, good. Loot filter didn't hide any. Love that. Oh, shit. Okay, got him. Good, 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 good. Bless you, RP. She sneezes. Oh. Rouge is a bot. Look at him. He looks so fucking tight, dude. You know what it is? The art style, I think, for a lot of the art like this, like the still portraits, I mean, reminds me of magic. Like old magic, old school magic. I'm not, I mean, not that I'm saying that old school magic's better than new magic because I, I don't really know a lot of the newer cards. I think the new cards that I've seen look fucking amazing. They look even way better than the old ones. But this looks like the style, just that kind of soft, oily um, paint look to it, kind of. Um, very, very much reminds me of old school magic cards, and that's a that's a good thing. I can tell by the look on your face that you're concerned, but I assure you, I'm an academic at heart. We literally just dealt with cultist assholes, and now some dead guys like, I know I look like I'm dead, but don't worry, you can trust me, I'm not like the other dead. I'm one of the good dead. Bitch, there are no good dead. Okay? I'm a lish, and I am not a good dead, so... There are no good dead. The dead are inherently ungood. You know? They're just not. Because if they were good, they'd have shut the fuck up. And gone off to wherever they're supposed to go. Nowhere. If I still have a heart anyway. Kidding! I promise that... You're not funny. Drink? Oh my god. Yes, ma'am. There you go. I do need to drink more. I'm not dehydrated. I'm not doing the Cheeto thing, you know, but I just need to drink more. Um, I tend to drink a lot at night and I don't do as good of a job drinking throughout the day. So I'm, I'm putting a little effort into trying to remember to drink more during the day. I promise I won't hurt you. In fact, I have a job offer that will reward you in both knowledge and money. Mm. I need an assistant to aid some research. Thing is, the spy master hasn't entirely approved it. You know how bureaucracy is. Bro. Bro. Bro, I chug water in my sleep. Woo. That would be dangerous for me. I'd be getting up every two hours. Old. You know how bureaucracy is? What kind of assistance? I've come across some journals. Supposedly, there's an old cache of Nagasan? Nagasan? Surely not Nagasan. Nagasan. I'm going to say Nagasan. There's an old cache of Nagasan gems hiding somewhere in the desert between here and the Hibitaba. I clicked before I read it. If you're on your way over there and happen to find them, meet me in Majelka. Please tell me every detail. I need to know more. Okay. I mean, I'll give it a whirl. I'll probably regret it, but I'll give it the Wraith Dunes. Bro, okay, if your dunes have wraiths in them, first off, dunes, bad enough. Have you ever tried to climb up a mountain of sand? It's fucking horrible. Just walking on the beach is fucking horrible, right? Like, after a while. I mean, it's fine. It's fun for a bit. Now try doing it with 50 pounds of shit on your back and, you know, hugging every, hauling everything you need for three days. You're going to be miserable, right? Now put wraiths in them. Like, what asshole even thought that was necessary, you know? This is a bureaucratic nightmare. You can tell. Wraith dunes. Fuck that. Oh, no, dude. Look at the bug holes. Nope. No. And wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, why is there a cobra? Hold up. Why is there a fuck? Oh, shit. Okay, that's why there's a cobra. Fuck, 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 fuck. That is gross, dude. Fuck you and fuck your hydra. Okay, that's not a hydra. First off, those statues are cobras. Thank you very much. Not to be that guy, but... <clears throat> oh, what the? Yeah, those are rates. Fuck. Bro, can't you see I'm like one of you or something? 
One of us. I do like when you can hit a water shrine while you're in Reaper form, though. Because, holy balls, you can just keep casting. It's great. Well, oh shit, I just clicked through the game. I just clicked through the game and I can't get back in the game. I still can't get back in the game. I just got back in the game. Hold, I'm, I don't know how I'm alive. That is an aggravating bug, I'll tell you what. Very aggravating. Just bear with me, I'm getting my... Yeah, there's nothing on my desktop. There was nothing for me to click. It just clicked right through the game. Uh, okay. Let's see here. What do we got? Dagger of Venom. All right. All right. Mm. Like a haste shrine. Thank you for fueling up my uh, my uh, my my lish form. Very much appreciated. Mushroom. Mushroom. Ooh. Harpy, I see you being a shitter over there. Sick or not, I see you. I know what you're doing. Oh, shit. No! Winged Carrion. Fucking, what a name. Oh, God. Look at... Uh. Oh, bro. It came out of it. Ooh. An Acolyte Ward. Mana, poison, poison resist. Ward gained on potion use. I don't use potions that often. I mean, what am I using? Increase physical, increase necrotic. That's why I'm using that. Hmm. A little bit of resistance, a tiny bit of mana. I don't think it's worth it, right? Surely it's not worth it. All right, let's continue on. One of these days I'll remember to bring that stupid golem up more frequently. Okay, I kind of like the little wraiths. They're actually pretty cool. Just popping up out of nowhere. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, badger, 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 badger. Ooh, a snake. It's a snake. Yep, that's going to be in my head all fucking weekend now. Every one of you can just take a fucking bow. Thank you. Is. You know, th that's abuse. You know, it really is. Don't you keck at me, Harpy. A boot. I'm gonna. I w if you weren't sick, I would throw something at you right now. I really would. Welcome. You're not even repentant about it. You're like totally. That's the. That's the real root issue. You know. It's like y'all are abusive and you're proud of it. You know. Come on now, Athena. Fuck you very much, you know? God damn it, Athena. God damn it. I had finally gotten that out of my head last night at like 11. And now Harpy's doing it. I can hear her. Headphones on. I can fucking hear her. I'm so glad she's not in Discord. I'm so glad she's not in Discord. No, I'm not getting in Discord, Harpy. I see her reaching for her headphones. She's thinking about it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Shit. You almost got me killed, by the way, all of you. This is your your fault. Oh. Okay. My little golem is not doing great. Shit. Uh, he's really not doing great. Ah, fuck. Okay. 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 Damn it. What did we get? I, I don't know. Hmm. You know, we got lots of shards at least. I'm a strong independent race. Nobody or Lish. No. 
Come on, get out, get out, get out of there. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. oh, God, what do you mean? What do you mean? Maybe you need to stop. Are you the source of the problem? Fuck, 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 fuck. God, he already got my dude. That's not okay. Let's look at our robes that we found. Intelligence, lightning resist, health regen, armor, and fire resist. Versus we're wearing health regen, dodge, and vitality. Okay. Actually a big upgrade. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. The filter says it's good. We're going to go for it. Yeah. All right. All right. Almost DM'd me. Oh. You can DM me anytime. You know that. <clears throat> also, I see that my uh, one of my abilities was stuck <clears throat> in a. Oh, that's a mage over there. I don't know if I want to fight with the mage, dude. We're we're clearly hitting a level problem with our gear because I mean it's been twenty levels and I haven't really upgraded any of my gear meaningfully. So clearly we're we're running up against it now. Oh. Hmm. What the hell level am I? 34? Yeah, so we get a spec point next level. That part's cool. Argolos the Blessed. Uh, I don't think I like you. I don't think I like you at all. You look ouchy, ouchy, ouchy. Nope, nope. Yeah, you look very ouchy, dude. That looks... That's ass. That's pure ass. I really don't like that. Mm. Burn, bitch. I can't believe I got him. Wow. That actually went pretty well. Let's go. I'm a great asset. Great, great asset. Got a chest. Had gold in it. And some bullshit. Got another chest. Ooh, got a room. Okay. Some bullshit. Got a third chest. Come on. Come on. No. Oh. Got a brand new shirt. Got brand new pants. I'm gonna get a brand new wife. <laughs> Keep doing this shit. Just saying. Yeah, I know it didn't fit the song, but get over it. Ow. 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 So that, that sucked. God damn. I can't even get far enough away to, like, bring out my mana, bro. Ugh. Reesh. Nasty bastards. Okay. Now the mage is up here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about the mage. I'm not feeling great about him, I will say. These little porg looking fuckers. Okay. Alright. Alright. Fine. Come on. Get it on. Come on. Let's go. Dicks, you want to fucking dance? We'll dance. Assholes. How dare you ramp me up before I was ready. Come on. Come on. Come on, mage boy. Let's go. Eat whole hairy ass. Whole hairy ass. Yeah, that's right. 90% health. What are you doing about it? Yep. You, got, you ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. Okay, okay, nope. Yeah, you still ain't got shit. Nope, got nothing. See, I'm not even there. You're trying to sell. I'm not even at home, dude. You gotta do so much better than that. You gotta do so much better than that, sugar. Yep, yeah, I can zot around. See? 
You zot, I zot. Fuck off. Fuck right off with that. Nope, you're not touching me. I believe in consent, cocksucker. I'm a modern man. I do it right. I ask. I, 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 I got... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. And sometimes I stumble, but that's okay, you know? Because we all stumble. And when we stumble, we pick ourselves back up. And we do better. And we hit the, we hit the dickhead in the face. And, and shit, 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 shit. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Where'd he go? Come on. Yeah, get slurped on. Doghead. Absolute doghead. No. No. Ow. You know what? Fine, get reaped on. Get reaped on even more. Yep. Enjoy moving around and dancing like a little absolute prima donna out there. When nobody wants to dance with you, nobody's going to hold your hand. You're all by yourself on the floor. Nobody's going to, like, sit behind you and make clay pots. You're going to die alone because you've been in that room thing. Everybody you ever knew is dead. So you might as well just give me whatever you got. Get fucked on. Get completely fucked on. That guy was an abscess. Complete abscess. Also, the milk bread does sound absolutely amazing. Um... Experimental leather boots of insulation. Movement speed, armor, vitality. Three minions are teleported. Two health regen per sec. Six to all elemental resistances. And uh, some minion damage. Those are pretty goddamn good. But here's the real treasure. I'm going to not look. I'm squinting my eyes so I can't see what the item is. And, um, and I hope it's good. God, please be good for where I'm at because I need a weapon. I really need a weapon. Here we go. Here we go. It is Bow's Anarchy. Melee, spell, increased melee attack speed, block chance, block effectiveness, chance to throw shurikens on block, chance for shurikens to ricochet, plus three to shurikens. Yeah. That's a great item. If you're playing a rogue. <laughs> if you're playing that kind of rogue. Oh, well. All right. Fuck. Oh, well. Better luck next time. We'll get another item. We'll get some more. We'll make our own fucking item if we have to. Mm. Ow. Please stop. Please stop. I don't like it when you hit me that hard. I truly don't. Okay. Ooh. Give me those health shards. Thank you very much. Jack and hookers. Exactly. Why are they familiar, giant scorpions? Do they say familiar? I didn't notice that. Are they someone's familiar or do they just know you? Oh, it's... <laughs> She's trying to guilt me now, saying I hit the dog. The dog will survive having a cloth land on him. The dog left. The dog will not survive having a cloth land on him. Oh my god. He's sitting there looking at me like, Why, father? Why have you wounded me thusly? You silly bitch. Mom's taking him out to cajole him now and probably going to give him treats. He's so soft. He is very soft. But he's still 100 pounds of Rottweiler underneath the soft. 
Okay. Well, let's see what we got. What is Increased spell damage, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's send our materials in. And, I mean, these boots are interesting, but I don't think they're that good for us. I mean, maybe we can, maybe we can shatter them, you know what I'm saying? Just go, mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't get a lot for that, that sucks. Now, okay. It's time for the hard part. Okay. Bear with me here, just a split sec, please. Switch to there. Okay. Oh, where was I? Now it's time for the hard part. <laughs> the Oracle's a guarded woman. Understandable. Given how long she's lived. He is ridiculously hot, Alric is, though. Gotta admit. By four sigils, each one signifying one of the old Nagasa casts. Finding them would be Nagasa. Easy, okay. Not for Zeric and his what did I say? Nagasa? Yeah, so Nagasa. Alright. I was close. The Zeric, alright. But the sigils were hidden, but I hate to say it. I wouldn't stand a chance. Not with the guards. Go do your work for me. Go do my work Get for me. Down. I've seen how you handle yourself. All you need to do is clear a path. Then mm. I can teleport in and retrieve mm. them. Mm. I don't know, you guys. All right, maybe. Maybe. <sighs> Defeat the Imperial forces and find the Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, and Diamond sigils. Are you... I thought you were supposed to be helping me, not performing a fucking engagement ceremony, you know? Dick teleported and didn't even take us with him. He's like, yeah, enjoy your walk on the beach, fuck. Like, come on, dude. Am I, are you helping or are you not, you know? Well, you can fight. Well, I know I can fight, but, you know, it still fucking hurts getting stabbed, you know? I, I assume. I mean, maybe she enjoys it. Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, we, we kind of got some bullshit on us. Oh. Why? Why? What's in my way, dude? There we go. I've been trying to get to that fucking bird. Stupid snake. Stupid bird. Okay. Assholes, I was talking and now I don't remember what I was saying. Nothing of import, clearly. Okay. Yeah, I like it better when it's just dudes like this. It's like, okay, these guys I can just mow down a little bit. I don't have to, like, use every trick I've got. You know what I mean? I'm 35. That's fucking cool, dude. Okay, hold up. Hold up. No, do not run forward, young lady. I know what you were about to say. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were Freaking cat ears. Really? Fine. No yeah. cursing? Well, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? You got it, Raven. Here are your cat ears, beautiful. And I promise I won't curse. You lovely, charming, intelligent. <laughs> beautiful, perfect people. Zach, I love you so much. What are we using? We're using... I don't feel like transplant matters. I mean, the, the, the little build I was looking at to kind of... You close your eyes and can't curse. Perfect opportunity. I'm not going to dispute you. And I really love you. I love you. You get me, Zach? Zach, love you. A lot. You get me. <laughs> I feel like Aura of Decay, we maybe do need to put that in. Like, I want to look at the abilities, though, like, because it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot. Affects a larger area. You take less poison damage. Okay. So you can reduce that a little. 
Enemies. You and enemies. Poison Bolt. Fires them more often. I mean, this is... It seems like this is what we need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I just don't know what to put in it. Allies within range are healed. It deals more health the less health you currently have. That's kind of cool. Applies poison and other ailments to frequency to enemies more frequently. Has a chance to slow. Ooh, ooh. It can slow them. It can shred their armor. <sighs> Dang, I think that's pretty, pretty valid. Let's. Chance to cause enemies to bleed. Bro. What's that do? Poison soul applies poison and other ailments to enemies more frequently, but also applies poisons to yourself more frequently. I don't like that. Uh, they last longer. Ooh. You have additional resistance while in aura of decay, and you have increased health regeneration. If you have deactivated, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this way. Now we're gonna go down this way next. I think maybe we'll play that by ear. Golem, 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 golem. We'll do that one for now, so it's maxed out. And now over here for this, we've got a point. Uh, I don't like that cooldown, dude. I hate that cooldown a lot. Oh, yeah, we want that. Yeah, so now we're going to blow stuff up. <laughs> oh, wow. That was way too close. Way too close. All right, let's get that. Um, let's get that aura of decay back on here, I guess. Just try and learn to use it. Oh, it's rough, dude. But I get it. Like, at that point, okay. boom, aura of decay is on. Leech, 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 like a good little person. Swipe. Leech, 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 leech. Swipe. Okay. My aura is off. Okay. Try and get up here and find some more dudes. Aura on. Aura off. Turn it on and off. As I come in and out of combat to maximize my uh, my health, yeah. If I can work this into my mental rotation, I mean, we might do all right. Yeah. So now I can just kind of linger, right, and just focus on not taking damage there. Ah, oh, the aura was off. I got. I got. I must have hit it without realizing I hit it. Okay. So, we're on. What the? Oh, shit. I did not expect a bigger Reaper. Oh, okay. I didn't expect two bigger Reapers. I mean, I'm, I'm fast. Does that count for anything? Please, can that count for something? I'm, a, I'm, I'm just going to... I'm just going to eat you up, buddy. I'm just going to eat you up. Because you're a silly, silly little Reaper dude. And why did you stand in it, Gollum? That was so silly. Oh, shoot. Ah. Gotta get that health back. Gotta get that health back. Come on, come on, come on. I can't, can I? Wow, that is brutal. That does a lot of damage. Fast is, yes, yes. Okay, not great, not great, not great, not great, not great. Let's turn the aura on. Work the guys down. Yep, yep. Kite, 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 kite. Heal, 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 heal. Come on. And Reaper. Very good. And get our, get our little buddy back. Hello, little buddy. You don't stay up very often anymore. It's okay. You're getting older. It, it, it's okay. I know. Okay, aura is off. Aura is on. Aura is 
off. It's on. Well, I don't know what I clicked in OBS, but I just clicked something because it my mouse decided to click through the game again. Okay. Hopefully I didn't do anything crazy. I don't think I did. No, we're still streaming. Okay, good. Yeesh. Hmm. Assistant shard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. How you doing, Harpy? I hope you're doing okay. I, mean, I know you don't feel great, but like, are you good dinner-wise, etc.? Got a thought on that front. If we want to be cheeky, if we want to be truly cheeky. Oh, oh no, 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 no! I do. Boy, those guys are—they're—they're they're a little tough. They're kind of like little mini bosses all on their own. I mean, they do feel satisfying to kill, though. I will say, like, when you drop one of those, it's like, well, that was, that was, I could have died. You know, like, that was a good fight. Whew. Um, I like Cheeky. I'm okay. Okay. Um, no, what I was thinking is Cheeky is like, what if, what if we had dinner? What if we just had dinner in here at some point? And instead of me stopping, we watched Document 72 Hours. We could. We could do this. Let's go down this way, because there's some shards down here. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm also, if you're doing good right now, then I'm going to just continue for a bit and we'll stop later for dinner. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. How about my golem back? Can I have him back? Thank you. Yep, get poisoned. Get poisoned, nerds. And get reaped. Go. Hello, boots of the turtle. We're just going to pull these over here so I know. Come on. We're going to pull those over there so I know to look at them later. What a such beautiful creatures. Lizards? Oh, we see the lizard. Yes, yes, they are very beautiful creatures. Well, you know that now because you see lizards here all the time. Stan disagrees. Stan thinks lizards are an absolute travesty, and he really, really, really. Oh no! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. This is bad, dude. This is really, really not what I was expecting to find in here um, at all. And it sucks, and there's so much. I don't really know how I'm going to get through this. I'm um, just trying to get to Reaper form and hope that we can do anything, anything at all. Look at that. My health just immediately went back to zero. Uh oh. I have some kind of, like, insane... Yeah, I'm protected from death right now. The mage must be looking out for me or something. Yeah, there's no way I could, like, take all this damage. Unless I've got some kind of crazy bug going on. Which, if I do, I'll take it. Yeah, there was something going on here. That, that was weird. I mean, you guys saw that, right? Like, I had no health for that entire fight. I, I tried to, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, chain belt. We're gonna keep the belt over here. I need to look at that later. And um, we'll see if we have anything else that looks remotely interesting. Zarek's men saw me attacking, saw me talking to you, and attacked. Yeah, yeah, I figured that out. But enough of that. What did you find? A scorpion covered in gems. Oh, they're feeding on a graveyard. Okay, got a passer point. All right. Okay. So we have a new Aura of Decay point to spend. Which way were we going? We were going down here, and then we were thinking about coming down this way. Larger area. You gain additional resistance, which I like a lot. Yes. 
We're going to get that resistance. So you can toggle it and poison everybody. I like that a lot too. Okay. All right. Let's um let's see if we can't Oh, let's spend our passive too. All right. So we now have that mm. increased damage. Current health drain per second goes up like that. Crippling insight. Reduced health. Nope. I like that. I like that one a lot. Okay. So we got that. We got that. All of our skills are spent. We're good. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Off the decay, on the decay, reap the dudes, poison the dudes, get the golem out, continue waiting, reap the dudes, try and get some health, try and get a little more health. Damn. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Just got absolutely cooked. like those carrion birds they are just nasty 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 pieces of work dude okay i don't love that this guy brought a friend you know okay i do love that i got a level right there so that was nice but Bro, wow, he's mean. These little shurikens of his are terrible. Dude, dude, let us not. Also, I wish I could see him, but, you know, like this building isn't phasing out. Mm. I just got to stand here and keep poisoning him. Okay, he's dead. Good. I guess we found a thingy in here. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's Alric. It should be right behind. Ah, they're buried in the slums. She told me of the Emerald Nagasa. They were the same. Contained yeah, he is. He is like totally grooting all this. Late to the party and on time for the treasure. Or early for the treasure, or whatever it was Rocket said. Yup. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Why you gotta be like this? Wow. That hurt. It's harsh, man. Try and get this soul binder down, because they summon a lot. Okay, he's gone. Good. Okay, you'll get them soon. You'll get them soon. Um, as soon as I can do so safely. There is... Oh, there is a pause. Okay, I can pause. I have one. See? I'm smart. Damn. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's turn off that for a second. Okay. Okay, got that one. Thank God. Jeez. Ugly, ugly, ugly. But she does have the ability to... 3.4% of damage leached his health while transformed. Hello? Why, do we, why is that not a, a suggested item? Shattering quarter staff, melee, cold damage, increased spell crit strike. Hmm. Like, why was that the? Why was that hidden from me? That seems like a good item. It's better than what I've got. That's for dang sure. Yeah, I'll take leech over just health regen any day. Sheesh. Okay. Ooh. Pull up. 
Okay, I see. I see the spark up now with the cat ears. Just a maintenance hit. Just a maintenance hit. There we go. Okay. And... Golly, they're mean. Mm. Dead now. sitting there just minding my business meditating letting my mana regen and the man's got to throw it go got to throw it got to throw a wall at me i don't even know if the curse timer's up still i don't think it is surely it's over yeah it's over okay fuck jesus christ sir sir wow i'm in this form for a hot minute this time i'll take it at least i already cleared this way Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this way. Da -do 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 -da 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 dun 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 This portion of your VOD has been muted. You know, considering who owns them now, actually, I wouldn't be surprised. Why don't we uh why don't we get some lo-fi going on too? The music in the game's getting a little quiet. Um Actually, no, we'll stay with the music in the game. Fuck it. We've gone this far. We might as well see it through, right? I don't know how long we're going to go tonight, too. We might go. This could, this could turn into like a goddamn 12-hour stream, for all I know. I doubt it'll turn into a 12-hour stream. Like, but if we want to talk about 72 hours, it could. I love that show. I can get lost watching that show. Mm. That's right. You ugly. You're dead. Bro, get out. Yeet. I love it when you hit them and they just, like, go completely flying. Ah, eh, shoot. Okay. Trot, 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 trot. Eh. Now we can wait for our cooldown again. Oh my god, we are right here at a shard. Oh, shit. Okay. Hi. A bone furnace? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. When you put the bones in the crematorium, did you not watch fucking Nightmare on Elm Street, my man? That's exactly what you do to get rid of the bones. Okay? You don't... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that's how they made Freddy. Never mind. They had to, like, put him back in. They had to, like, bury him or some shit. Never mind. Never mind. I'm being dumb. Fuck. Okay. Never mind. I just created Freddy. I deserve it. Fuck. Don't put me in the waterbed, dude. Don't put me in the waterbed. Don't put me in the waterbed. And don't stick me in the TV and make me hang. That that shit messed me up as a little kid. What kind of what kind of people let their fucking six-year-old watch Nightmare on Elm Street? That's what I want to know, okay? Because I know some people who did. And it fucked me up for a minute. It fucked me up for more than a few minutes. I know it's a cheesy movie, but when you're six... Harpy and I were talking about this, because we were talking about some goddamn movie, and I don't remember what it was. It wasn't the thing. I don't think it was even horror. But we were talking about how, like, it messed you up. A lot. Terminator. Okay, yeah, yeah, it was Terminator, because we were talking about Terminator and Peach's chat the other night. Um, and so Harpy and I were talking about it, because, like, Terminator, it's, like, it's different. Like, you can look at Terminator and you'd be like, oh, that's cute, yeah, it didn't... You know, because people were saying, like, oh, yeah, I saw that. It didn't really mess me up. It's like, yeah, but there's a difference. Like, now, you can get exposed to a lot more shit early. Like, back then, Terminator was hardcore. Because, like, movies just weren't, at, like, as gory, as terrifying, as as emotionally, you know, punchy in that way. Especially, like, on the, on the scary side. You know, the scares that were in movies were, like, more jump scares and stuff. I mean, like, you look at stuff back in the 50s, right? You know, like House on Haunted Hill. Like, the skeletons in it are downright cheesy. They were terrifying at the time, though. Like, the people screaming in the theaters, they were not acting. And they weren't hamming it up. And they weren't weak. It was just like, that was much more scary to them. Because they, they hadn't been exposed to it. 
So Terminator was the same for us. It, it was like, holy crap, we hadn't been exposed to anything like that. And now it's a common idea, you know? But like at the time, that was some like creepy shit. And it messed you up. So anyway, yeah. Four layers of arcane wards. Oh, let's hope it's enough. Okay. Oh, shoves his hands in the molten metal. I watched Devil's Rejects at like eight. There you go. Case in point, you can see kind of, kind of a notch, you know, like it grows, right? So same thing. It's like one of the movies I saw as a kid, um, completely fucked me up so bad, quaking, terrifying. And I'm not a scared person in general. This, it destroyed me. And I watched it as an adult. It's fucking cheesy, dude. Like, I mean, you can see the puppetry and, you know, just anyway. I'll never get the dude wearing the other dude's face out my brain. <laughs> yup. Yup. Oh. Yup. Devil's Rejects is a... It's a trip. It's definitely a trip. It's not a bad trip, but... It's... You, you gotta be ready to buckle up. You know? If you're watching Rob Zombie movies, you know you're gonna have to buckle up. I see that. I mean, not all of them. Probably the Munsters isn't like that. I haven't seen it, so... It, I mean that, but I, I seriously doubt he took the monsters down the horror road. From what I remember seeing, like trailers or whatever, it looked like just basically a, a movie adaptation of the beloved TV show, you know, which is what it should be. But I, I have no idea. Like I haven't actually watched it, so. Get reaped on. I, I, I still am not tired of going into Reaper mode, though. Okay, we got that. Looks like we got another ward, hopefully. Please, please, for the love of God, do we have another ward? The Sapphire Quarter. We have another zone. Bro. Bro, why you do this, bro? Bro. This better be a small zone, man. Oh. It doesn't look good in here, does it? Why are there phalanxes of archers? Holy balls, dude. Also... Earth sign gold ring. Okay. I mean, you're bright green, so I'll take it. Well, not bright. Dark green. Uh, makes me think of the CPR episode. <laughs> yep, yep. That shit was... Yeah. Oh, The Office. It's a fun show, but... Boy, if you're me, a little of it goes a long way. One time viewing was, was good. I could do another sometime, but not yet. But um, there were so many episodes that were just like unwatchable almost because they were so cringy. And I know they were supposed to be, but I'm one of those people that, that like cringe isn't funny, you know? Like I don't, I don't find cringe amusing or it doesn't make me feel, you know, laughy or good or anything at all. I'm just like, oh, I, it's painful, you know? And, uh, and I don't, I just don't enjoy that mixed with the comedy it's it leaves it it's like intentionally having orange juice and toothpaste you know like you can do it but you know if you know you're getting it but it's not what you want for breakfast every day you know Shit. this is an ugly fucking cow that's that's all i'm gonna say about this thing oh, shit. Yeah, I know the cat ears ended, lady. I'm not about to take him off because I'm about to die horribly. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you guys come over here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's just deal with him. Let's just deal with him for just a second. Ow. Can we Can we please just deal with him for a second? Oh, he had to phone a friend. God damn it. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, there we go. Got our stuff back. Oh, he's down. He dropped unique boots. Well, all right. He can phone a friend. He can phone a friend. Uh, let me see here. If Discord worked on TV, I'd put the GTA versions of Rob's Monsters on. GTA versions? Oh, I got you. I got you now. I understand you. Yeah, I've got... We have that on our Plex server. I guess this is over. Mm. Yeah, in GTA, you know. Yeah, it took me a sec. It took me a sec. I warned you guys, I'm not... I, I get slower. You put weed in me for a little bit, I get slower. And 
and you guys have had me sparking up a fair amount. Ooh. See, down to zero health again. Gimme. Dick. Sounds like I said. Hube existed and scared me. <laughs> Transfusion casket. Exactly. It's like the, the penitent chamber, Harpy. Ooh. Okay, we're going to look at those in a hot minute. Those might be... I don't know. Sorry sight. Mm. The oracle used to tell me how the Sapphire Nagasa would gather around these fountains. Mm. Reading the stars and comparing arc. I wish I'd seen it. I can only imagine how she feels. Okay. Like, was that not the treasure we needed? Oh my god, dude. Nope. He's so... Using us! You know he's using us. You know it. I hope it's not yet another betrayal, you know? Transfusion casket is terrible. Abs it's like a penitent engine in uh in in 40k. Bro, I gotta check on war on Space Marine too, because that's gotta be coming along a little bit. I hope it hasn't been cancelled. I I think I would have heard if it had been. And I haven't heard, so I'm assuming it's still getting worked on. I love me in the first one. And I really want to see that second one. They were pretty far along. Like, I think they're... I, I really struggle to think they're going to cancel it. But... Oh. You're going to have to give me a minute. You're going to have to give... Oh, my God. There's three of them? Fuck. I was expecting one. Then it became two. That's enough. That's enough. I wish to not die to this shit. Hmm. Okay, got one of them. Okay, got another. Ooh. But, but, oh my god. We found a red item. So that's something that our, um, that our filter really liked. And then we found this yellow cowl. So let's look at those, too. There's the cowl. This must be the red item. Yep, Scholar's Greaves. Okay. So let's take a look. Um, increased minion health, elemental resistance, poison resistance, necrotic resistance. That's pretty good. Um, it looks like we're going to lose a little bit of health and a little bit of cold resistance, but we're going to pick up a shitload of minion health and other resistances. So, yeah, no brainer. Thank you very much. Here's our unique uh, armor, increased movement speed, dodge rating if you've been hit recently, dodge rating, dex, movement speed, less damage taken while moving. Huh. I mean, we lose like everything. Just a sec. Harpy was making sure I wouldn't be offended if she left the room. Make sure and turn off in here, though. You can turn off your... All right, no, actually leave that on. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because since you're watching, but if she watches on TV, it counts as me watching. So I want the view because I'm greedy. Okay, so these are good. Like, what's it think of the boots I'm wearing? It really likes the boots I'm wearing. I mean, I don't think these are as good. Surely. Let's see. We'll pick up some lightning, necrotic, some intelligence, and armor. We'll lose movement speed, dodge rating. Um, the, 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 yeah, no. Man. No. Okay, the uniques are good. These are not. I, I frankly don't carry those. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's do this. Put these here. Okay, so here we've got mana regen. Oh, hello. Physical necrotic resistance. We've been having problems. Some more decay threshold. And we're going to give up. I mean, giving up minion damage. It's not that much minion damage. Fire resistance is nice, though. So we'll hold on to that. We'll try it out. Okay, we got some good items, though. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Your bunny ears. I owe you bunny ears. Okay. Mm. 
And as always, I think if you want um, the uh, ears positioned in a certain way, you just got to tell me. And I will do so if I can. Within reason. I mean, I want to break them. These are nice ears that Harvey got me. So... <laughs> Burn uglies. <laughs> Stunning shrine. Hell yes. I love those. These idiots get stunned all the time when you use stuff on them and they just stop. It's great for survivability for about a minute. Case in point. Ooh. Okay, we got some. We got a couple of uh, uh, skill points to use. So I forgot to turn on my aura. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Turn off the aura. Okay. Now we got some points. Let's bring our dude up. Back. Welcome back, Harpy. Welcome back. Harpy had to go out to the living room. She wants to sit with her little feeties up and just be comfortable and prone. And that is very, very valid. Um, No, we're not looking at items. We're looking at skills. So we got a new golem point. And I think... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thinking about where to spend these now. I don't really want this double one. Let's just do extra attack. We can move him out here. We've got 12 points. So one, two, three, four. I can get this, which will make him consume skeletons. What? You now summon a pyre golem instead of a bone golem. The base physical damage of pyre golems is converted to fire. Ooh. Scales with minion fire damage, but not. Okay. They cast Infernal Aura, a spell that deals a burst of fire damage on cast and fire damage over time. Bro. Okay, that's pretty badass. You now summon a Blood Golem. Cast Sanguine Orb, a spell that deals direct physical damage to nearby enemies over two seconds. Oh, its hits restore health to you and itself. Yup, we're going to go this way. Okay. Well, if we're going to go that way... We can get one point of that, or we can get one point of additional health and armor. And then, yeah, and we can make it all the way down there. We'll definitely go this way. I want to play with that blood golem. I think that sounds good. Sorry, Boney. You're doing your best, but you're just not keeping up anymore, buddy. And it's not your fault, you know. It happens to the best of us, but Papa needs someone who can satisfy him still, you know. Ooh. Okay, got that guy down. Got those guys down. Get into here. Get this guy down. Chop, 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 chop. Swat. Chop, 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 chop. Swat. Okay, pop over here. Anybody over here? Nope, nope. All right, set back this way. Okay, who brought their friends? Don't bring your friends, guys. Shit. <laughs> Drop the Reaper form right as I got into the middle of them. Yes, please teach me Warhammer. Yeah, I think you'd like... Um, I don't know. If they... Like, what I liked about the original Space Marine... Wow, dude. Okay, gotta look at rings because I picked up another ring earlier and we haven't. So. Damn. Damn. Dude. Dude. Huddle, huddle, huddle. huddle. Shh. Brother. Okay. Alright, alright. Try and deal with this guy. Oh, 
Oh, he's nasty. Damn. Oh, God. No, no, no. I need that. I need all of that. Okay, about to lose the golem. Got the golem back. Let's keep poisoning. Always be poisoning. Always be poisoning. Shoot. Okay, now we gotta live for 20 seconds. Wait out that cooldown. Or we just gotta kill him while we're down like that. Okay. Whew. Damn, golly. I don't know how you lived through that, buddy, but... Well done. Well done. So anyway, um, Zoltan Cool looking ass, exactly. Um... One of the things I liked about Space Marine was that I felt it got the scale of 40k right. These monolithic structures, you know, cannons that are got 12 foot bore chambers, you know, shells that are 12 feet across, huge machinery, ancient beyond belief, you know, a civilization that's been stagnant for so long, like they got it because you're on an imperial world, um, the empire of man, the imperium of man, rather, not the empire. And um, and the orcs, I felt they really got right. So I'm like disappointed that the new game is going to be the Space Marines, the Ultramarines, and the uh, Tyranids. But Marines versus Orcs is the classic 40k, followed by Marines versus Tyranids. You know. So, um, but we've got we've got I have um, a, a Space Hulk game that was made relatively recently and is pretty well received, as I understand it. So maybe we'll play Space Hulk sometime. Uh, Space Hulk Dreadnought or something, I think it's called. I can't remember. I got it on good old games for, for a song. Um, so it might be, it might be fun to try that out Surprise. on stream sometime. Maybe we'll do that. I thought she hated the temple. Yeah, I, the Tyranids are they're kind of less interesting to me too because it's like, oh, okay, it's Xenomorph slash Zerg slash you know, but it's like, well, yes and no, but at the same time, like the Tyranids predate the Zerg, you know. Like, if you think if you think 40k sounds an awful lot like StarCraft, you have got it backwards. Um, you got it very backwards. Don't ask her about the Diamond Matrons. Oh, okay. You'll regret it. All right. No asking about the Diamond Matrons. Noted. Bug hunt. Protos. You. Hi. You gonna get it? What you doing? What you doing? Do I have to go through? Okay, I have to go through. Fuck. Okay, thank you for teleporting us back. Now we have to go find her abode. Okay, where is that? The Oracle's abode over in the town. All right, we're, we're leaving. We're out. We're leaving, bitches. Sea's bird instantly turns into death. You know, like, imagine how that would feel living in the city. Like, um, um, yeah, so death just got pissed off at a raven. Um, I think we're moving, sweetie. You know? My little temple's time to recharge for a moment. Been wearing a lot of ears today. They're fine, but... Doo -doo -doo -doo. The passage is sealed by a powerful rune. We're moving locations. Yes, we are. Who? Oh. No! Silly, silly, silly man. I don't need no directions. I know exactly where I'm going. It's funny, though. It, it stopped my clock. Well, it seemed to stop my clock anyway for a moment. But there's nobody here anyway, because this is actually a... Uh... All right, let's look at our gear, because we did get some gear now. Transfer materials. We got some rings. Um, let's see what we got. Okay, not a good one. This one, I think, was a good one. Alright, we'll put this one over here. Okay, and that's just a nothing. Alright, so this ring is minion damage, cold resistance, strength, and elemental resistance. Not bad. A little bit of minion damage. Healing effectiveness, dodge rating. This is a little bit of minion damage, some dodge, some crit. Hmm. 
58% minion health. I like that a lot. Hmm. I mean, I feel like both of these are pretty good. So we would lose up 19% minion damage, but we'd pick up 27. And we'd pick up 58% health. And we'd pick up 20% elemental resistance. While giving up some crit. I mean, I'm sold. Because this isn't a crit, crit build at all. So I don't know. We'll see if that works. But it's, uh, yeah, it's good to meet you. Hi. Yeah. Is that fruit? Oh. Okay, I'll take a fruit. Oh, the fruit's dull and it's barely sweet. Interesting. Can I help here? Okay. Buy those shatter runes so we can shatter anything particularly good here. So we don't need that. That doesn't have anything I want there. What I really want is those those necrotic things. You know, I think that's where it's going to be. And I'm not talking resistance. I mean, like, weapon. Um, resistance, melee crit, cold damage, minion spell. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on a dagger. Or an, uh, a weapon, I mean. Okay. All right. Good. And now we'll put these find our stash we'll put these uniques away i love amassing uniques you know just feels good mm. debating if i have to go peepo piss too not yet soon but not yet okay i got a quest over here let's go do that oh uh, yes oh the shrine maiden okay what do you need it's a simple matter though grave we're running out of water the Empire never cared for the needs of the living. There are a few fountains left, and I'm afraid they're not enough to sustain us, but legends speak of a way to cleanse the ones lost to the immortals. Hmm. So the uh, the immortal... Doesn't she look familiar, though? Doesn't she look kind of familiar? It's the exact same artwork as what's-her-name. Hmm. Okay, a relic that can purify water. I know of one shrine the immortals haven't yet destroyed. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, I'll try and... Sure, I'll, I'll get some water. Everybody likes water. Right? Water's good. Water's hydrating. I'm going to have to go to people piss eventually, though, because I need to get some water. I, I'm, like, almost out. When I described you, the Oracle appeared interested. She wishes to speak okay. with you. Okay. So the Oracle wants to chitter and chatter. Oh, my God. She's a Naga. Look at her. I mean, she is, but she's different looking. She's... I mean... You're, well, she's a snake woman. I mean, she's not a Naga then, because Naga, I mean, I don't know, are there snake Naga women? I'm sure there are, but to me, a Naga is always a, 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 an aquatic being, right? Either way, she's cool as fuck. You, of all things. What? Who are you? Man, these fools are stuck in time, you know? Like, what are you guys doing? Hmm. Or tells me you found a hidden entrance to catch the Emperor off guard. You have it. Do you not? The Epoch? We do have the Epoch. Um, do not worry about the outcast. There's no need to return. The Epoch is all you need for what must happen next, but we must get you out of the city. A garden entrance to the catacombs directly under Majelka. Follow the tunnels and you'll find an exit. The Imperials have built a way station in Titan's Canyon. It connects to another just outside the citadel. Hurry before the Zarek finds you. Isn't that the guy we were helping? You've encountered those ancient waypoint devices. The Immortal Empire has found a means to mimic their power with the blood of an ancient titan. Bro, I don't want to fuck with an ancient titan. They have mined into its sleeping body. It now lies helpless, paralyzed by their magic. Parasites. Bro. Till we meet again, traveler. Once again, though, I'm like immediately sus because I'm like, I don't know, this cave looks kind of funky. And like, could this be like a vein that's been run dry? You know, like this looks like a water channel or something, you know? Like, are you who you say you are? Are you who, what we think we, you are? I, I don't trust you. 
I don't trust anybody in this game. Everybody's been out to get us from the beginning. Like, everyone's trying to use us for their own damn purpose. I am the one who uses. God damn it. Chance to be feared. Oh, this is decay. All right. So which way were we going? Were we going over here? Plague? Hello? What's plague do? Corruption. Enemies that die have a chance to emit a poison nova, which po kills all or hits all enemies. Oh. Short cooldown. Okay. They are all sus, Harpy. You know. I mean, hello? Chance to be feared. Ikarian poison. Okay. No, I didn't like that. Hmm. I guess I was going this way. Yeah, then we'll get this incipient decay. Okay, all right. Huh. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just, I, call me a little sussy baka, but you know. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't trust her. I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. I don't trust her. I almost went back up the thing. Holy shit. I, I remember this, 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 these levels are long. Fuck your coffins. Why you got coffins down? Oh, they're catacombs. Never mind. I was thinking sewers. Well, still fuck your coffins. <laughs> they're mine now. My property. Do, 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 do. Tough. Yeah, you're not so tough without your dead bird thing. Oh shit. A mummified Nagasa? Damn it. Why is it always gotta be Nagas? Why is it always Nagas? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Shit. That's really exactly how I did not want that to work out. Fuck me. God, double fuck me. Christ on a log, bumpy crotch rod. Jesus. Bro. Bro. It's all right. I lived. This is why I will never play hardcore. You guys will be out to get me, bro. Loving, supportive person trying to build a loving, supportive community. Bulls yelling wah all the time. Jesus Christ. Walk right into shit because you're not paying attention. Immediately lost my freaking vipe ripe, reaper goddammit form. What the hell? You can you can you can you can just If I die while I'm putting this on, I'm gonna be so mad at you. And it's hot now. Why'd you wait till the end of the night? No cursing? Well, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Do you see a happy face, Athena? You have no idea how hard this press is on my nose. Also, I'm completely deaf now, so this is a great time to blow all your channel points on walls. Nobody, huh? Mal is worth a shot. I can't hear anything anymore, dude. Shit! Oh my god. Like, I, I cannot hear the game. It, it actually does make it a lot harder. Also, I really can't see it because these things are filthy. And I didn't really realize that before putting them on, that they're they're kind of grody. They're not like greasy, they're just dusty. They need to be wiped down. Because, you know, I never actually wear the goggles because they press too hard on my nose. I mean, you can probably tell. I got, my voice is probably starting to sound a little funny. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. No. Oh. Hydra's. Oh, so nasty looking, dude. I mean, they're really cool. I really like them. They're just like, ugh, ugh. You're supposed to have heads, not not mouths, you know? I mean, you're supposed to have both, but you know what I mean. Not just a bunch of mouths. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot, shoot. Let's just go back a little. Let's just try and, and, and walk that back a little. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna eat a potion and God What is going dude? I, that was like almost all of my potions. Good golly. Mm. Reset my curse timer. You said shit. Okay. Noted, thank you. Okay, got a timer on the uh, on the stream deck. I know it, it doesn't change it for you guys. I know there's that's I can't really fix that because that's on a timer of its own to disappear. And uh, there's no way for me to like interrupt that, as you know. So, dang it. Yeah, I mean, considering what came at me, like, fair, fair. You know, I stand by what I said, but fair. Ooh, no. 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 Bad scorpion. Very bad scorpion. What the? I don't know the life flicker in here. Oh, well, uh, that's our first idol in a hot minute. Love that. Just a little reaper looking for a date. She's just looking for, you know, she's trawling for man. Man, woman, bug, she doesn't care. Okay, yeah, so that's why the power went in here. Yeah, so you guys just saw us um, lose power. But because we're running on battery backups everywhere, everything kept running. That said, I do need to make sure, because if we had a... Oh, wow. That is really nasty, bro. Really nasty. I do need to check because it's possible that our um, our network equipment is all gonna shut down here. Not all of it, just some of it, you know. So hang tight, bear with me, okay? Um, nothing's going on here. Welcome into Lewis. Hello, hello. Good to have you here, my man. Good to have you here. Um, and of course, I'm doing this with no glasses. Love that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. It's that's we, we've got several minutes of battery power in there, but when you have a quick flicker like that, if it comes back too quick, sometimes the UPS can go like, eh, I don't hear, a uh, I, don't, I don't know if the power came back. I'm going to tell everybody to shut down and it'll, everything will just shut down. Um, in a controlled way, which is not a huge deal, but then I have to get up and go over and turn it all back on. It probably wouldn't have interrupted the stream, but it would have caused problems. It would have sucked for anybody on the Minecraft server. Yeah, these little snakes, dude, they suck. With that little, that little circle of ooh, that, that they like to drop on you. That's no fun at all. Especially, like, because I don't really have any good way of doing significant damage to them that isn't, um, that doesn't kill me too, you know? Which is my poison aura, that. Hmm. like chests. Let's go. 13 whole gold. Dang it. Well, I mean, there's other items, too. Hope you're do doing good, Big D. Nice to have you back. Nice to have you here. It was fun watching you play Helldivers the other night. Spreading democracy. Man, how long do 
do I got on this hat? I'm cooking. No, oh, I think it's over. That's funny. Oh, I didn't hear the timer go for it. Or it's just broken. It could be broken. These these timers do break periodically. Oh wow, periodically, and you have to you have to redo them. Don't like that. Oh, that's a lot of fools. That's a lot of fools. That's a lot of fools. No, it will not, because I'm just a I'm a beefy girl, and I'm strong, and I'm an independent chicken woman, and you can't touch this. Come on now. Nope, nope, nope. It is so hard here playing this without being able to hear anything. Because you have a hard time kind of reading if you've been hit. Like a lot of the noise in the game is used to tell you whether or not you are hitting things or you are being hit. Like that's the bulk of the sound design. And I can't really hear any of it now. Because this hat's so... Oh, let's go, dude. Level 38. Sweet. Hmm. That's right. No. No. Okay, we got some points to spend, but I want to try and get into a relatively safe location where my guys aren't running up and doing that. Ooh. Couple shards. Spark up. I can do that. If I can find it. Also, these have terrible view. Like, you know, make your fingers like that and hold it like, you know, in front of your eyes. You know, a, few, a couple inches and try and look through that. That's like what looking through these is. They got terrible, terrible field of vision. Oh, shit, Cap. We're hit, Cap. We're going to need another hit, Cap. <laughs> Fuck. We're going down. We're going down. I'd like to thank you for flying Lanitz Airlines today. Hope you enjoyed your flight with Captain Lanitz. Who um, sends his regards from the fucking afterlife. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, and I know. I have to reset the timer. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. I really need my glasses on. Okay, that, that hat is over, though. It's been at zero, so it's long over. Long over. That's funny. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, there it goes. Just told me the aviator hat has ended. The cursing timer has been reset. Does that do it over here when I do it? No. Huh. Okay. Fair. Oh. Oh, it's like when you get out of the shower and you put on your clean undies and stuff, you know, and you're sitting there and you're just like, oh, taking the hat off and putting my headphones back on normally. Oh, my God, I can hear. It's lovely. Hello. I've never been greeted so moistly before. Thank you so much. Gosh, these Naga are just kind of gnarly, dude. Whoa, I shoot. I realized my ult was going down too much. Uh, 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 oh, no. Why you guys got to be so zealous, dude? You really don't need to be. Hmm? You really don't need to kill every worm at once. You can do just one or two is fine. And then I hit the stupid button, and now I'm in Reaper mode. And Uh-oh. Shoot. Okay, try and get through them. Got through them. Got right into the fire. That was not really what an ideal candidate wants to happen when they knock on the door. Uh oh. Okay. All right, all right. Now I'm going to just take a break. We're just going to come back here and take a little breaky break. Yep, it's all good. All good. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Nobody's back here panicking. Nobody's pooping. Nobody pooped.
OBS, see you. I just did. I just did too. <laughs> My lungs got to recover. Good God, man. Good God, man. Also, I see what you play in. I see what you play in. Good man. Good man. That shit is fun. <clears throat> Emmy. Emmy, be cool, Emmy. Be cool, Jesus Christ. Oh, the sparkle bus for you. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Okay. What was that? Oh, he resurrects. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ow. Blood snakes. Disgusting. Yeah, I think I did warn you guys, right? Captains are long. These take a minute to get through. And I had a much... Like, when I was doing this on my Beastmaster, I wasn't really stopping to kill stuff. I was just walking through it, and it died. That is not the case with her. She is having a little bit harder time. Eh. To uh, to put it nicely. Okay, let's let her recuperate for a minute. Put our stuff away. What have we got? We got a helmet. Uh, endurance threshold. I don't remember what that does. I remember having to look that up. It's something to do with warding. Increased poison damage. Hello. Crit chance. Elemental resistance and health. Okay. Okay, though. Hold on. So this is minion damage and 15 elemental resistance. This is four. 58% minion health, though. I don't like giving up all that minion health. But for 8% poison damage and a bunch of crit... And maybe, I mean, but maybe, what if we didn't have to give anything up at all? What if we could just say, give me that delicious, uh, what were we looking for? Minion health? Minion damage? How about health? Minion health. How about we just say, hey, baby, I love you. And I love this item. And I would love for this item to have minion health on it. And now it does. And that's all we can do is the one time. What? Why can we not do that again? I can up that poison damage, though. I like that an awful fucking lot. I like that an awful, awful lot. Glyph of Hope. I mean, okay, so we have four of those shards. Yes, sir. Okay. And we can up the elemental resistance. I mean, why don't we live a little? Why don't we live a little? One forging potential down. Yeah. Okay, we lost a little more. And we can do the health, too. Okay, now this ring is really good. Oh, we can do the poison damage. Okay, and we can do the elemental resistance. And we can do the poison damage. Oh. Okay, and that is it. We cannot do the poison damage anymore. We have to get to the next level. But we can do the elemental resistance. Yes, and the Glyph of Hope helped. Very good. Now we can't do that anymore. Or wait, no, we can't. We can do it one more time. Done. We can add health. Next, you know, in a few levels. So now all of a sudden, this ring just got pretty good. 34% poison damage, 20% minion health, 13% elemental resistance. You see, like, all of a sudden, this ring is actually, like, a banger of a ring. And therein is why the crafting system is so nice. You can take it, an item that's pretty good and make it really good for you. So, like, here we've got minion health, elemental resistance. So, let's look at what else we can add. What else we can add that is fun. We can add mana, dex, int, minion dodge, minion health regen, or vitality. None of those are really leaping out at me. Um, so we won't do that. But if we look at... All right, that has four things on it. What you want to look for is things that don't have four on them. So like this one, we can put something on. And so we can put health regen, chance to find potions, fire damage. Hello, necrotic damage. Hello. Hello. All of a sudden, this belt just got good. Boom. Done. Okay, I know about the Glyph of Hope. Thank you, thank you. Boom, done again. So we just took, uh, we, we got like 10 or whatever percent necrotic damage. And, um, 
I'm thinking, what if we want to do... Is it one of these? Yeah. We can remove a random... That's not what we're doing. Uh, refinement rerolls all the values on an affix. No. And we don't want to shatter it. Yeah, So, but now this, this belt is better. Our boots are full. We can't mess with the uniques. That's a blue item. I don't feel like going that low. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. All right. So our new thing is health cold resistance. What's this one? Chance to gain ward when hit and lightning resist. We'll stay with what we've got. Okay. Let's let's go. going to keep going to the right and just work our way through these catacombs. It's going to take a minute. Just keep going. Keep going. You see why I like the crafting? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I love the idea that you can take almost any item and at least make it useful. Wow. Golly. Guys, guys. Let's have some chill. This is a bit crazy. This is a, this is beyond a bit crazy. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. I'm out of potions. That does not happen easily. Wow. That was nuts, man. Yeah. What a jerk of a Hydra. It's not like you can even blame it on me being poisoned. You can't. Ugh, and they all see us and they're all shooting us. Yeah, now I'm shooting you. Sucks to be you. But yeah, I, I like the crafting a lot. I feel it's a really solid system. It's fun. Um, oh, boy, you love to see the big flamey stuff, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got a ring and a, and a thingy. Oh, I know that ring. I remember it. I don't remember if it's good. I just I remember the model. Increased cold damage. Elemental resistance, fire resistance. No, that's not that's not better. So and that's fine. 34%. Alright, so it is the tongue of the aberrant seer. Thought your quest log said sapphire tarlet. Turlet. You with the turlet. <laughs> tongue of the aberrant seer. That is an actual tongue. As a ring. That's absolutely foul. Plus one to all poison spells. Sorry, my little uh, strap came off. I'm getting disrobed in front of you all, and I didn't even mean to. Okay. Plus one to poison. 34% chance to poison on spell hit. Very nice. Increased poison damage. I mean, this feels like a pretty good ring, actually. Damage reflected. Hmm. This one's just minion damage. Some elemental resistance. Damage reflected, though. I mean, damage reflected seems like that would do a good job, too. Let me try it out. We'll keep this ring down here and just sit on it for a sec. We'll see. We'll see what we get. We'll see how this works out now. Okay. Okay. That was effective. That was effective. I mean. So far, I'm I'm happy. Yeah, let's see how we do on a big boy. Also effective. I mean, so far so good. What are you guys, what are you guys chewing on? What's that we do? What you doing? Come on. This way. So going to the right didn't do it. Well, that one was easy. Nothing. Got all of our skills have skill points to hello. Ooh, what a nasty, 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 nasty fella. Okay. But same thing. Good. Okay. Yeah, the extra poison damage sure does seem to be helping. And the reflection seems to be helping. Because I'm doing a lot of damage from spell hits. Hmm. 
yeah, this is, for whatever reason, I'm a great deal tankier now. That's good. That's how I, okay, good, 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 good. Eat face planted and dropped off your knee? Oh, brew. Maybe, what if you, what if you put a picture? Not what I meant to hit. Let's get out of here, George. Um, what if you put a picture in the Discord? Just saying. You know, for later. For, that's, uh, that's not nice. You can go up there. Yeah, yeah, you guys go up there. You're good, you're good. Why don't we turn that off, too? Let's stop poisoning ourselves. Okay, well, start poisoning ourselves. Everybody gather up here. We'll continue on. Not so tanky after all. Little tanky. Didn't mean to click the potion button. That's that's unfortunate. Picked up another. Wow, almost lost it already. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm killing my own minions with this aura. That's terrible. I didn't realize. I'm not a good father. Well. Will not take me. Well. Not without consent. But what if you want a little death? You know, just a little death is a treat. Would that be choking? Maybe? Shard Shrine. Love that. Okay. Wow. Why? Where'd you come from? Hello? Are you shrouded? No. Just did. Just did. Oh, I have to catch him. Oh. Poor little brew. He's so eepy. Never ending catacombs. What are you guys thinking? How are you guys enjoying Last Epoch? I'm digging it. I mean, I'm I'm very down to play a fair amount of this. I want to get to the end game and uh, and get into it. I'm I'm gonna get into the end game and I'm gonna get into it, whether or not I do that on stream. I will be spending some time playing this off stream as well. I'm sure. Um, looks really fun. Yeah, if you like, you know, Path of Exile, Diablo, that kind of style of game, right? Uh, ARPG. I think. You know, for the most part, I think most people would probably like this, unless you're, like, really invested in a specific ARPG or a specific, um, like, set of mechanics or style, right? Then you may not. But if you're if you're willing to try out something a little different or new, you know, I think this one's pretty rewarding. God, the crafting is nice stuff. Crafting is just so good. I love, I love, 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 love the crafting for not making you feel bad. For um, for making items at a low level and encouraging you even to uh, to make your gear, and you know that's where all the good stuff is posted. Thank you, RP. I'll have to go look. Jokes on you. I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, it's so it's so juicy. Ow! A couple shards. I really did not mean to click that right there, but I did. So, ooh, reflective shrine. Let's go. Thank you for posting a picture of the Yeet Harpy. I promise to go look at him when I've got a minute and you can see my reaction. Because you never see me pick up the Yeet or, you know, deal with the Yeet, but still. I mean, I did ask for it, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, upset at all. I love it when people post cat pictures. Even if it's me. Mm. Ah, you mother... I am through the curse timer, finally. So I can turn that off. Okay. Put all these shards away. Nothing new. Okay, on we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the game. I'm digging the game a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and I definitely want to play more more Deep Rock Galactic. I mean, we just, like, our cup overfloweth, right? There's so many great AA games out there right now that are just totally taking the place of so many of these AAA games that are just absolute dog water anymore. Um, 
and I love it. I've always loved playing games like that. I mean, obviously, regularly dangerous. I would call that very much a, a, an A or a double A game. I mean, if you're being generous, it's a double A game, frankly. Um, better when it launched than than what they turned it into. Even though there is supposed to be like some kind of all kinds of crazy stuff coming. I, I don't think I've talked about Elite at all, really. So yeah, we got new ships coming. New ships, quote unquote. They're variants of existing ships. But still, I mean, they're the first remotely new ships at all in like six years, five years. So that part's kind of cool. Um, but I definitely just said, because this is, this is, this is a lot now. This is a, a this is a really a lot now. Okay, you there. Drink, 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 drink. Just trying to get a few hits in, try and get some health. Okay, that worked. Get through them. Wow, made it through. All right, let's go. That worked out pretty nicely, actually. Whew. So anyway, anyway, just lots of good games right now. Like the, the double A game market, like, you know, uh, Hellriders 2, Pacific Drive. There's just like so many great double A games that are out there right now. And I love it. My cup overflows with great games to play. And, I, and especially when they're like, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars instead of instead of 50, 60, 70, 90. I just it, it's like, I don't know, like. It may be stupid and it shouldn't matter, but a really well made fun $30 game is inherently more enjoyable to me than an equally well made fun $70 game. Does that make sense at all? Do you get what I'm saying? And I think it's probably because I just like the $30 game. Like I know it's helping out probably more people like a more independent crafter, um, a smaller publisher, whatever, you know, that's probably where, where part of that is for me. And it's like, obviously like from a, from a objective standpoint, like a, you can't measure fun in that way, but even if you could, like the price point is irrelevant to the skill of the developers for the most part, you know, you're going to find really good developers making double A games in their own little home studios or small studios. And then you're going to find passionate, good developers at the high end. And you're going to find dog shit ones of each type in both fields, you know, like it, the price point doesn't really have a whole lot to do with the quality of people making the game. Um, but it does tell you more about like the attitude or the, uh, the business, you know, to a degree, I think. Because when they're chasing that $70 price point, like a lot of the later, like the ones recently have been doing, while putting out obvious bare minimum effort, it's like, okay, you kind of know. Chance to ignite an elemental resistance. Hello. I think you can just get right in there. I think you can get right in there because I love setting people on fire. And actually, it looks like all three of you can get in there. I forgot because now we get idle slots too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm looking. I'm listening. Just keep keep nuking for a second. Wow, so a small idol that's unique. And three other things that are really good. Um, so we'll look at all of these. There's that. There's that. There's that. Um, uh-huh. Okay, that's the old one. Uh, let's transfer in all the junk. And here's our small idol. Singularity. Oh, dang it. I'm, my, my wrist brace is catching my mouse. The smaller ones, I feel more like hidden gems in that adds the enjoyment. Yes, very much a part of it. Um, maybe it's silly, but that, that is how I feel. Like, I enjoyed this inherently just because of, like, what it is and who made it more than I enjoyed D4. Even leaving out the issues of each game or the things I like about each game. Like, I just, I inherently enjoy this more a little bit because I'm kind of rooting for them, I guess. 11% more hit damage if you have only one singularity. You cannot deal critical strikes. Requires level 42. I mean... If you only have one singularity, what happens if you have two? I wonder. Hmm. Mana, fire resistance, poison resistance, and mana. <laughs> like the spam song. Spam, 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 eggs, and spam. Increased necrotic. I mean, that's we're going to keep that. Throwing, poison, 
Health regen, fire, minion. I mean, that's good. Damn, all the minion. That's good. Minion damage, minion crit, DOT. That's poison. Freeze rate, cold, mm, frailty. Oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. They're, you're good. You're beautiful and powerful, but I will keep you because you're unique and, and daddy gets hard for uniques. So let's get our, let's get Boney back out. So do we need to spend anything? Yes, we do. Unspent point here. This is for what? Our Reaper. So what were we working on on Reaper again? Where are we? We went this way. Okay. Yeah. Gain stacks of Reaper's Ascendants. Reaper's Ascendants. You gain a stack every five seconds. Get more spell damage. Uh -huh. You have a chance to kill hung to cast Hungering Souls whenever you kill an enemy with Reap. Reap instantly kills enemies below a certain point. Hmm. Hmm. I'm here to listen. I'm here to listen. I definitely want that extra point. Okay. The longer we can stay in that form, the more damage we do. In before 12 hour stream. Ha. <laughs> it could happen. I mean, we Harpy and I would have to figure out dinner though. Cause uh we we have not had anything since lunch, obviously. So we'd have to like she'd either have to make food and she's not feeling great. Or um That's funny, I popped a skeleton out of that crate. I love that. Anyway, we'd have to figure out something to do about dinner. I don't know that I want to go 12. I mean, I, I do have physical limits. Like, my, my arm is hurting. So I'll, I'll probably want to stop before the 12. But I was going to I was gonna pull Harpy when we hit hour number 7 and see how she's doing. And go figure out a refill. Because my cup be empty. <laughs> easy five more yeah simple or easy six more i'm sure i could i have no doubt i could do a 12 i don't think i would want to do a 24 personally um i mean it would have to be a very special thing for me to like even even consider doing whatever because it's just like i mean a who the fuck wants to listen to me for 24 hours right no and like the plain and simple truth is that you're going to either go to sleep, in which case it's, I mean, is it a 24 hour if you just like leave the stream and play YouTube videos for five hours? I mean, the stream was up, but you weren't doing it. You know what I mean? And that's not to say that you should have to stay awake through it, but I would feel like I, I kind of have to stay awake through it. I'm not saying that everybody does. I'm saying that for me, that's how I would feel. Um, thank you for not killing me right there. I really want to turn into a Reaper and come in there. Okay, level 39, thank you. So I would want to stay awake for it, and that is just not easy for old men. Old guys don't stay up for 24 hours easily. Not not like the young whippersnappers do, you know? Don't bully our clown. I'm not bullying anybody. I mean, I think I was, I've tried to be really clear about that. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with doing that. I'm saying that to me, that would make me feel like I didn't do a 24 hour stream. Because I'm just weird like that. I'm not saying it's not valid. I'm, I'm quite explicitly saying that taking a break is smart if you're going to do it because you're going to have better content and be rested and da 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 da. It's absolutely the play. And that, but therein lies my rub why I would struggle to do it because I know that by like hour 12 or 14, I'd be like, okay, my ass hurts and I hate you all. And I want out. I want to go pet the cat and I want to go like walk around and stretch and not have to come back. So, meh, meh, meh. and I'd turn into just a, a raving little puta. No, Peach, Peach did great on their 24, 100%. I mean, I know, I sat through most of it. I was gone for like three hours of it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wow. I don't know what that was. It was a sword of some kind. You know, oh, scorpions. Okay. That doesn't seem really nice, actually, at all. I uh, don't know why I ran in and clicked that. I, I don't really know what I expected to happen. So I think a uh, drink fairy just came in and stole my cup. 
Because that's what drink fairies do. They steal your shit, and then they fill it, and they bring it back. Because they're really nice to have, and they're great, and Titan Leech, ew. Can you imagine the kind of power a leech would have if it fed on Titan? <laughs> I don't know why it clicked out of the game. Come on, man. Thank God I've got that ability to, like, go negative health, I guess. Jesus. Okay, let's let's just give this a second. I missed Undertale because I accidentally eat. Oh, yeah, Undertale was great. I, I stayed up because I was doing... Um, something went squirrely on one of the servers, and it took a lot of diagnosis and rooting around, and then I had to rewrite a bunch of config files by hand, and they were very, very long and very, very complicated. And if you got one character wrong, they wouldn't work. So it took longer and longer. And for whatever reason, I, I got started on that at like 11, 8, 11 p.m. And so I was I was up to like 5, 5 or 5.30 that night. And so, I, I mean, I was basically up for most of the time Peach was up. And, uh, and it was just lovely. It was just lovely. Peach did a great job on her Undertale. Oh. Found the Spy Master. Okay, that is not the guy we fought. What the? Bro, that is a snake flower man. And I do not say that sentence lightly. I, I don't say that sentence willingly at all, actually. That's that's disgusting. And he should feel bad. Like, dude, you, you should get looked at, I guess. I don't know. What's wrong with your shit, brother? Come on. Oh, man. He's also really... Surprisingly nasty. He's being a he's being a little meany. I'm trying to reap through to keep my golem healed up, and then pop this when I can, and then come back. Pop this, reap through. through. The more stuff I can hit with Reap, the better my health is. I mean, it's keeping up with it so far, so I mean, that's good. Now we'll just wait. We'll, we'll let... Oh, no, 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 no. Now we're on the... Now we're on the waiting for my... Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, there we go. Almost back to the point where the Reaper is ready to come out and the Reaper's out to play. Let's go. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We got this. I'm a beautiful, powerful, evil Lish woman. Oh, I, uh, I forgot about that. I remember you got sick as hell. Yeah, that guy definitely needs to see a doc. Definitely needs to see a doc. That'll be me, like, tonight. I'll, I'll stream too long and I'm going to get sick, because Harpy's a fair amount under the weather, and, uh, oh, that sucked. And, um, obviously we live right next to... Oh. Oh. What else did you drop? A bunch of garbage. Good. So the one item that was remotely worth the damn was was pertinent to us. What did we get? Humming bee. Twenty-four percent increased melee attack, increased movement speed, ward on hit, one percent chance to gain twenty ward per twenty ward to gain haste. So the more you hit, the more you get shielded, the more shielding you develop, you get hasted. Elemental attacks deal extra damage per two hundred ward. Sting like a butter you know, right? Like fly like a fly like, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Right? So that's clearly kind of the inspiration for this. I'll bet you there's a butterfly that goes in the other hand. And I'm I'm here for that. I'm down with that. Intelligence, endurance threshold, endurance, and necrotic resistance. We have a bit of necrotic resistance of shitload of minion health done. We're, we're keeping what we got. Chance to shock on hit and a bunch of cold resistance. Oh. Um, what is this? Chance to gain ward on hit. Chance to ignite on hit. I mean, 
3% elemental, 17% cold. I'll take the 17 cold. Yeah, three elementals, all good and fine, but... Um, oh, where is it? C? Yeah, if we look at our resistances, are they on here? You know, I never put my glasses back on. Good God. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's take a moment. Wow, my thumb's asleep. Definitely gonna have to take off the wrist brace soon. Don't have a whole lot left on the wrist brace. My wrist is okay. I mean, I can keep going. But once I do, I'll be, um, yeah. Oh, wow. My thumb is completely getting numb. Like that borderline hurts down in there. Gotta wash these. Definitely gotta wash these off. Okay. Um, there we go. There we go. Let's see. So those are not what we want. There they are. Yeah, our resists are pretty good across the board. Our poison is actually a hair over. To be expected. This has been a power session. It has. We've, we've definitely been going at it. It's been fun, though. I've been having fun. You know, it's nice. We got, you know, people trickling through and... Oh, wow. People trickling through and folks coming, coming, going, staying. What is this? Okay. Oh, okay. It's just a city. Uh, what the fuck? What is this place, dude? I feel like we can't talk in here. What is this? The desert way station? Listen. Just listen. Bro. I'm standing in Icar. Oh. <laughs> Harpy and Lanids, Raven. Harpy and Lanids in uh, 2019 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Texas. Or not the Indianapolis, the Texas Motor Speedway in um, just outside of Dallas, basically. And uh, we were there to watch an IndyCar race because we both like IndyCar racing. Open wheel, you know, Indianapolis 500 style. Um, so we were there and we had had a hell of a day walking around. It was stupid hot. It was over 100 degrees. There's no shade, of course, because it's a racetrack. And so we were just roasty toasty and the sun had finally dipped down and we sat down. We were on the track because we, we got to see like a, a group of legendary old timers come and do a little talk, which was great. And um, Rick Mears. By the way, Herpy, it was Rick Mears, AJ Foyt, Rick Mears, um, Mario, and oh my god, I lost one. And the other one I said last time. <laughs> I'll remember them all someday. Anyway, it was a good time. It was, a, it was a good trip. It was a really, really good trip. It was very enjoyable. Oh, this is hideous. artificial waypoint can't fail enjoy using it. Okay. What we can do is wreck this place before we leave and let Zarek clean the mess. Quickly, on my signal, go to the center of the device and get ready. I'll get us out of here. Okay. And that should do it. Got a bad feeling about this drop. This waypoint's harder than I anticipated. But no worries. All good now. Got a bad feeling about... What? Just in time. Looks like we've got company. Anyway, off you go. I'll see you on the other side. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, that looks like a straight-up Necron Palace from 40K, from Warhammer 40K. Holy cow. Holy cow. All right. 1,500 gold, 1,000 experience. All right, let's, let's spend some points, because what did we hit? 39, I think. Yep, 39. We are getting up there. We'll take a we'll take a hit there. Another hit there. Another hit there. Why not one more? Yes, sir. Thank you. So now we get three plagues. Physical penetration. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very minus Morgul. It looks like they ripped it, actually. Like just basically ripped it right off. Of course, minus Morgul basically ripped it right off from the Necrons. So who probably ripped it from someone else? Effects that drain a percentage of your health drain reduced health, and when you are stunned, you have a chance to release a wave of blood, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. Deathbringer. Increased crit strike, increased attack speed, increased cast speed, which leads to a crit multiplier. This one leads to 
increased crit strike and ward gained on crits. And this one leads to contagion engine. You deal increased damage over time if you have killed an enemy recently. I mean, that's our poison. So yes, we're going to want that clearly. And then the real question is, what else do we want? This seems like a good one, but that I don't know, man. This is pretty good, period. I don't think we can take too much more of that, though. Like, I don't know. Can we? 5% health drain per second is a lot. Like, that's going to actually become a problem now. That means every 20 seconds I got to get my health bar back. Actually, I may have taken too much out of that. I may have gotten too zealous. Maybe it's only when you're in combat, though. Shred armor. Do, 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 do. We take shred armor. Respite. We didn't want aura of terror. Where were we going? Were we going over here? I don't remember. Okay. We will take plague. 100% we'll take plague. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we've got a point here to spend. It's tough to remember where you were spending them. Um, no. You're definitely not spending it on that. Drain life can now target your minions. You gain 10 mana per second for each minion you're draining. I don't think that's good. <laughs> I don't think that's what we actually want there, Cap. When a target is killed by drain life, you chill enemies in the area around them. Oh. Soul Blast deals more damage. Hmm, plus 40%. Oh, that's... Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't be alarmed. Yulia? The Emperor wants you dead. That makes us friends. Okay. You Your say so. The Citadel. I know a path. Okay. Over there. Follow it to the mountains. The roads are dangerous, but there's just enough ground to make it through. Oh, Go. that doesn't sound Find fun. The necropolis. the necropolis? Oh my god. Why? Dude, like uh, I want to say more me. spies everywhere. Just know I wouldn't risk being seen if it weren't urgent. I'll try to distract his soldiers, but expect resistance. Oh, I love resistance. I level up on resistance. Okay. Well. So we're back in the Imperial era. Alright, up through the rustlands to the sewers. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's the necropolis to Yulia's Haven. Oh my god, look how far we have to go. All right, no time like the present. Let's go. Saddle up, Harpy. We're going for a ride. Get dead. Hey, you're fucking dead, dude. Dick, dick, eat shit. Yep, get reaped on. Get absolutely reaped on. Dead. Call me dead. Of course I'm dead. I'm a fucking lich. What do you think? That's a compliment, you. Look at yourself, you idiot. What do you mean? It's actually a stupid fucking thing for a skeleton to say. Like, it's a good thing, right? It's like they're pulling their bow on you going, you're so beautiful. What do you mean? Wow. Okay, that sucks. Holy Christ. Who gave that man a boulder? I couldn't read what it was called. Familiar something. Jesus. Oh, shush, you little shitter. <laughs> Delicious. I don't know. Do, do I want the mage? Uh, yeah, of course I do. You knew it. You knew it. Okay. All right. Ow. Well, fuck. Okay. Not great. Oh, really not great. Nope. 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 I don't like that. I don't like that. In your health, please. 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 Okay. And any time that would be great to go back into Lish form. I would really like to go back into Lish form, please. I would love to go back into Lish form, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, get Lished on. Get Lished on. No, this Lish does not give a shit about that. Are you kidding, dude? It's cold. I'm dead. Do you think I care at all about that? That does that just tickles my little bungus in ways that make me happy. So and now you just get to get poisoned. How's that feel? Is it delicious? And then you get reaped on, and then you get you get slurped on. Not in a good way. In the bad way. 
in the way that leaves you unsatisfied when it's over and feeling unclean and vaguely unwholesome. Hey, experimental boots the cold never bought. I regret reading anything you're writing right now. You are, you, you're delirious. What do we get? We got a fetus bottle. Conduit's homunculus bile of deflection. Chance to poison on hit. Hello. Increased lightning. That sucks. Physical resistance, though. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, can we forge it? Can we fuck it? No. I want that. I want that. What can we do to it? I mean... Do I avoid damage to this? It's a blue item, so... Oh, surely not, right? What if we put a rune of discovery on it, though? Discovery? Right, we have lots of those. 17. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Critical strike multiplier and endurance. Hmm. What about this one? Do you have anything missing? You do. Let's give you a rune of discovery. Dexterity. Okay, so that made it even more worthless. The rune of discovery will fill in all of the missing um, affixes. So if it's if it doesn't have one of its um, affixes filled in, you know, if it only has three like this thing, if I put a rune of discovery on that, that fourth one will fill up with something random. Okay. And then these things, minion dodge, frenzy after you use traversal. I like that better than haste. I like that a lot better than haste. Yeah. Oh yeah. And what if we uh, what if we shatter this bad boy? See what we can get out of it. Goddamn, tier 7 intelligence. Oh, no, tier 1. Yeah, tier 1 across the board. Well, see what we get. I got a couple shirts. Okay. All right. Yeah, our little health is going down slowly over time. I can't just stick or stand around with the, uh, the decay aura turned on. I, I lose too much health now. Scorpions and bugs. Oh, they're so. I mean, I'll take these over the void versions, but these things aren't. Ex oh, dude, so many bugs. These Imperials need to clean their beaches up, dude. That's all I'm saying. This stuff is kind of a mess. Oh, look at that tide pool. Like, seriously, that does not. You would not put your feet in that, you know? Oh. Rustlin Stalker of the Lizard. Those are gnarly looking. Big saber tooth things with multiple tails. Multiple tails don't seem like they'd be an asset, frankly. Okay. Mm. Rusty metal contraptions? The hell? What? Verdant Lakes. You know, I'm not sure what those are there for, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I really do want to go look. I really do want to go look. I mean, can I what, can I see it on the map? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. What's the map? Yeah, no, I can't. Ow. Huh. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. We don't have a specific quest for it, so... I would prefer not to, not to get involved. Watch, we're gonna have to go back there anyway. Probably will, it's probably for an optional somewhere though. Bone scavengers are also fairly tanky. They're not terribly dangerous, but they got they sure do take a minute to go down. Of course it'd help if I actually just let my health regen.
Oh. Well. That was exceptionally juicy. Ooh. Raven. Raven. Unkind. Uncouth. Uncool. You know I love you. Just making sure you're awake. I'm awake. I'm definitely awake. Getting a wee bit hungry. How are you doing, Harpy? Do you want to uh, do you want dinner, Harpy, at say in 15, 20 minutes? Maybe when we get through these zones. We can do a little uh make some chili. I'm coming to realize that, yeah, my hand is definitely beginning to go numb now. The uh, spray, so I gotta take it off. Yeah, you're hungry too? Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna keep going for a little bit. I'm gonna go through a zone, maybe two. We'll see. We're gonna kind of play it by ear. We'll look for a good natural stopping point up here in the near future. But don't go away. Don't go away. I'll take care of you. Let's seize it through. You know, we'll see it through. We'll make sure that you get to a, a comfy place. We'll share the cozy. Ooh. Ow. Yep. Yep. I'm dead now, bitch. Well, I'm not dead anymore. Fuck. Dude slapped me so hard I came back to life. Fuck that. Rude. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, this is coming off. This is coming off right now. It's... That numbness is starting to migrate. Oh, man. I actually... Almost can't get it off my hand. So you can tell it's swollen. I just gotta see. I gotta. I, like, literally, I'm struggling to get this off my hand, and I'm not a completely weak person. Holy shit. Yeah, my hand is like almost 50% bigger, I would say. And it's tight because it's it's swollen. It was it was impinging the blood flow out. Wow, dude. Yeah, my hand is puffy as fuck. I don't think you guys would be able to see if I hold it up, but I mean, I can try, I guess. Is that regular? Puffy. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see that they're a little bigger, you know, but it's, it's mostly right here. It's thicker right here, you know, anyway. Yeah, that'll feel better very quickly. It'll just take a minute for the blood flow. If you... If you edge to prolong your Zex session, is that edge maxing or sex maxing? Edge mastering? I'm gonna go with edge mastering. Welcome in, Chunkies. Ooh. Okay. Oh, those sound kind of horrid. Ooh. Okay, we found a thingy. Love that. I've just got to have more mana straight up. God damn, that like seriously looks like it bruised my arm. Wild. Okay. Oh, the flies, dude. Right. I think we're far enough for me to say this. Uh huh. I'm willing to take her on her word. What I'm not ready for are words what do you alone. Mean? You left your beans at work, bro. Not it. Not that sucks. That sucks. What do you mean? I'll use my portals to scout ahead, while you make sure nothing follows us. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying the story aspect too. That's why I'm trying to like read it along and stuff and give you guys time for it. You know. There should be some aqueducts up ahead. Okay, you're gonna Let's meet me aqueducts. Okay. I still don't like. Yeah. Why does he not fight, dude? Why does? I mean, he's like this big, brave, beautiful wizard. You know, mister, I've got all the answers. But he doesn't do anything, bro. He scouts ahead, quote unquote. He stays behind. You know, I don't I don't trust it. I don't believe it fully. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hell yes. Level 40, that means minimum level is now, minimum skill is six. So if I fully respec out of a skill, I'll have six points. And I'll show you, you know, again, well, um, when I'm out of Reaper mode and, oh, it's a blob. It's a blob. Don't like that. Don't like that. Go away. Ew. Nasty. It was a fat bird, you know? You hear about those things? I'm sure you guys have probably heard about them. Like in London, anywhere with big sewers, but like in London, let's say, you know, the sewers might be, you know, 20, 30 feet across. And they get these fat birds built up in them, which are like hydrogenated oils and, uh, and like stuff like, you know, flushable wipes, which are not, they don't break down. So they're flushable technically, but they shouldn't go down the system. And, um, but you know, like a lot of fats and stuff from people's sinks and then, uh, other, other various solids that don't break down well, and they'll turn into these rock hard oil based insoluble fat birds is what they call them but they're rock hard they're not just like a big chunk of lard in the pipe and they block the entire like 20 foot pipes they coagulate and collect in the bigger pipes rather than in the smaller ones they just build up over time they have a real problem they have like a whole team they got like chainsaws and cranes and shit that they take down into the sewers in the big cities clean these bastards out. And that's just nasty, and that's what those little slime guys reminded me of. Our little baby fatbergs, and I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Imagine the smell. Yeah, you know, I kind of wonder, frankly, if they're if they're really terrible. Like, for the most part, like, sewers don't really smell too sewery if they're running well, because there's so much water flowing through them that, that there's no time for any bacteria to, like, hang out and, and build up a stench. You know, modern sewers, like, you know, don't get me wrong, they still don't smell great. But you know what I mean? They're not like this this foul thing like you might imagine, like from the movies or whatever. Um, again, when they're when they're well maintained and they're running properly and they have lots of water flowing through them. Depending where you are, they may not have very much water flowing through them at all, in which case they are gonna be kinda of right. Bippe. Exactly. Like they're they're generally fairly fairly ripe out here just in Cali and SoCal because water is very controlled for the most part and um, you know most people are running low flow toilets and stuff like that so there's not a ton of water flowing through the through the system I mean there is because there's a lot of people but with a lot of people comes great responsibility I don't know if we want to go that way let's go this way Oh, already, hand is loosening up. That is wild, man. Yeah, I was just cutting off the circulation just a little bit. Just enough that and a little bit of blood was getting in and, and allowing everything to swell up over hours. So, like, you know, 100% goes in, 99.5% comes out. You know? So, after a couple hours, it was, it was built up and it was like... It still sounds like she says you're a dick. I mean, it did, it did come for them, though. They are dead. Death, I mean, your death has come? I mean, she is death, so she came. Well, I guess they don't want her to say, I'm coming for you. There's just too many wackies. I mean, this is the sewers, you know. There's probably some unwholesome folks living down here. They've got some, uh, some questionable takes on their own, on their own, uh, uh everything. Oh, what the actual hell? Okay, so met my match. Yep, 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 yep. We running. We're running. There's no shame in that. It's the better part of valor. Discretion. Yep, get him up. Okay, yeah, you guys just let's just let's just turn that off and let's heal up. Let's heal up. Hi, who's up there? Who's up there? What's going on? Yeah, look how slow my health regenerates now. I mean it is regenerating, right? 347, 350. So we've hit 350. Yeah, it is going up very, very slowly. And that's because that 5%, if I put one more tick on that thing, I don't think I'd recover health anymore. Home and have you on my PC? Welcome home, Peach. Yeah, we're still going. We just never stopped. <laughs> I was thinking about stopping at 9 so, so we can grab some food. But I was also thinking about maybe putting on 
document 72 hours and just, you know, scarfing some food while watching it with you guys because it's fun, you know? Um, let's see here. Physical penetration to card penetration. I've only wanted the one point of this to open up this because this is pretty nice. I don't know that I really want some of the rest of these. I do like this, though. God, there's no way we're going to take more of that. I just can't. It's too much. It's too powerful. Thought you was cool, but sheesh, seven-hour stream? Yeah. Well, Athena's bullying me, trying to make me do a 12-hour stream, so. Hmm. Reduced health drain. I do like the reduced health drain. I think that's good. Let's Let's take that. <laughs> cool idea. Be cool. Cotton 4K. Well, you know. Get called out. Wait a minute, or am I caught? I don't know, we're both caught. Caught together. Okay, we're in the sewers. Got another waypoint. Love that. Meet Alric in the aqueducts. So where's the aqueducts? Next room? Are we in that? We're in the lower sewers, right? No, we're in the aqueduct. Okay, so we just got to meet Dumbass. Dumbass is in here somewhere. All right, let's go find Dumbass. All right, all right, good. That's... I still don't trust him at all. You know we're going to break into the palace from below or some shit, and he's going to be like... Oh, that was... The fuck? Bit of a graphic error there, so I can't cast spells. It's trying to cast them above me. Yeah. That's funny. Definitely a bug. Ooh, got a belt, plated belt of frost. Okay, let's take a look at that. We know it's not anything we're gonna probably want to use, but uh, no, definitely not something we want to use. Beautiful dumbass, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Dead. Dead as fuck, boy. Mm, sorry, Ravens. Yeah, I mean, you guys should have moved. You have wings. What were you even doing? You kind of deserved it, actually. Come on. Come on. I wonder how the game did today in its performance. I haven't been looking, because we've been playing. See, see what I was saying about, the, like, you can play offline, and it's, it's, as long as you're playing solo, like, works great. Works really good, exactly like you would expect. You know, we're not having any problems transitioning zones, and we're in semi-online mode. Like right now, I could see chat and stuff if I had it turned on. I just don't have the chat turned on because I don't, I don't care. You know. Uh, I'm losing a bit of health. Come on, give me some enemies. There we go. There we go. Now we're filled back up. That's better. That's what we like. Delicious, delicious fresh meat. Okay, we'll give her a second to recoup her abilities. Do we have new skills? We do. Oh yeah, so what I was talking about, the, the whole six point thing. So like here, we've got 13 points in Reaper. If I completely respect this skill and put a new skill in here, I'll have six points to spend. But the other seven that I've got will be gone forever. Um, and I just have to re-earn them, you know, which is just use the skill. Gain experience while using the skill. That's how you level them. So let's let's spend our point down here. Um, yeah, that necrotic explosion. Oh. I forgot the other one. Gollum. Hello, Gollum. What you doing? What you want, little cutie pie? Mm. Additional health regen. Mm. I do like that. Now summon a death chill. Damage complete. Uh, change to gold. Cold? Gold. What am I saying? Spark up. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to begin weaning myself down for the evening, I think. Hold vengeance. Hold vengeance. Mm, what's this one? Tower of Bones. Your golem is larger and generates more threat. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like that a lot. Because we're going to be respecting all of these anyway. Because we have no idea what we're doing. But see what I mean? Like, we're, we're level 40. I'm, I'm like halfway to 70 now. And making the shit up as I go. And we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Are we optimal? Probably nowhere near it. But, you know, am I dying every three pulls? No. I think I'm doing pretty good. And I think I'm starting to get a feel for some little quirks about this build that I really like. Not the build, but the abilities. Like, I don't really know how much... <laughs> how much... Um, oh. Well, what are you doing, doofus? What you doing? Did you get hurt? I owe you oh, life silly man. Ten times over by now. <laughs> Thank you for the drink, Harpy. You do owe me your life a shitload, my man. I think I'll take a break from scouting. Ah, uh, just like that? Are you a just bitch? Like that. For one, they nearly tore me apart. Also, my knowledge of the Citadel stops here. That's not great because we're nowhere near it. And here I was, hoping this would lead us closer. Mm. We might have no choice but to chat. Oh, God, the terror. Okay, find the necropolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, same dialogue. I think I'll take a break from scouting. Yeah, I heard you. We know. We know. Wee. The necropolis. Look at it, dude. It looks so fucking cool. That looks like Minus Morgul. If you had knowledge of the other places, was he really scouting? Yeah, exactly. Are you scouting or are you just going for a fucking stroll? You know? Because it feels like he's going for a fucking stroll. And picking up all the valuables that he knows are up there. Or like hidden. You know what I mean? Or doing you know what I mean? I got a feeling we're being used, is what I'm saying. Oh, the scavengers. They're they're pretty They're not the They're not terrible. They're just man, they got a lot of hit points. Oh shit. Has that man got a shrimp? No, he's got a fucking boulder, my man. My poor golem. Jesus Christ, dude. Give him a chance. Leave Golly alone. Come on, come on, hit him. Ooh, silver ring of frost. Well. Okay. Alright. Tight and ring of frost, ring of frost. Is that it? Increased healing effectiveness, strength, cold resistance, endurance, increased movement speed. No, I don't think so. Great. Why don't we just let Boney deal with all that stuff up there? Good boy, Boney. He likes that kind of jazz. It makes him feel powerful and good. We're just we're 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 giving our golem the chance to thrive and flourish. Like any good necro should do. Oh shoot. Okay. Just have to hit him from back here, I reckon. Oh, he went down like a chump. That was easy. I thought he was going to be a lot tougher than that. Ooh. Yes, please. Mm. Starting to get more items now, which is great. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We'll read what you said here in just a minute, Harpy. Okay. I bothered. Thriving. Undead. In his lane. Unbothered. Yes. Yes, yes. Unbothered. Fucking autocorrect. Welcome to my world, my dear. I mean, you know, you know, you've been around me for a hot minute. God damn, another level. I don't think we ever spent level 40, did we? Shit. 
Okay, let's stop. Let's 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 spend the level. No, not options. Oh, we did. We did. We did. We good. We good. We good. All right, we'll do this. We'll definitely take that. Our big beautiful lish. Okay, and we'll spend our thirteenth point here in this bad boy. Um, when you activate Aura of Decay, which I'm not doing very often. I don't really want them getting feared. Enemies that die. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I want them to throw Nova, bro. Throw big, hairy, poison Nova. It's very good. Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Going for a stroll. Gonna find some fools. Gonna make them poison. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. None of them look. Oh, there's a grip of fools up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That worked out beautifully. Okay. That helped. Okay. So far, so good. Well, well, okay. That was very nice. three of them. Figure what the heck, they gotta be good for something, right? Even if it's just prolonging my Reaper um, buff. I think I went down fast. It's kind of got insta-jibbed. Hmm. Nasty little burgers. Don't go exploring. I don't want to use Reaper. That's what I'm trying not to do. I'm trying not to use Reaper. Okay, got him. Got him. Like, are you going to die? Are you going to die? Are you good? You're at zero health. Are you good? How are you at zero health? What does it mean? How is she alive? This is what I was like. I don't get it. This is like some kind of super ward I have. It must be some ability that I've forgotten about. Huh. Yeah, pop a potion, she immediately begins healing. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll take it. I'll take it, because it saved my ass on more than one occasion, clearly. All right, on we go. I have no idea why I just went wraith on them and tried to kill them. That really wasn't very kind of me. I'm hoping we can get down here before uh lose my wraith. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're in a town. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we have a chance to rest. Seriously. You usually put on a strong face. Bitch, I've been at this for a minute hauling you through the sewers. You saved me from the Ospreys. Their leader was with them. Really? That seems important. My ring. The one you brought back from the girl. He took it. Melted it. He okay. My eyes. When he heard you coming, he fled. I'm too hurt to go after him. Oh my God. But Bro. How about bringing me that coward's head? When he fled, I saw him heading deeper into the mountains. When you find time, you could take a peek at his nest. <sighs> That's a complete side quest. Ah. You've made it. Yes. I am Yulia. Once I was high priestess of the Empire. Mm -hmm. But no longer. Centuries of cruelty will do that. Mm, okay. Because I need your help. Okay. 
In regards to the Citadel, I've cleared a path, but there are still defenses. You will have to take them out. Oh my god. From there, you, you people. will find an entrance to the sewers. That is the only way through. And it's also patrolled. Oh, no big deal, right? Like, easy mode. Cool. Julia, what are you even doing, girl? I've disposed of some soldiers there. The stench hides the death. Oh. The heart of the citadel is beyond. There is an exit near the Emperor's throne, giving you a chance to strike. I mean, it's just the undying Emperor. Bro, this is so not good. You realize, I mean, I'm sure you guys have realized, right? Like, so these guys are immortal. They fuck with the void. We're going to go fuck with the Emperor. Something happens around this time in history that makes the void go everywhere and kill everything. You know it's us. You know it's us, bro. Look at all these bits, dude. We got so many bits. Okay, what do we got here? Increased minion damage. Very nice. What's on this one? Potions, crit, health, void resistance, health. Not great. Lightning damage. Don't love that. I think we already looked at these, right? Yeah, we did. Surely. Surely. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, Yulia. <sighs> what have we here? A fleshy human? I'm just a skeleton in a suit. <laughs> a skeleton in a suit. Okay, I, I got to admit, I love it. I ask, well, since I've got merchandise that fits your outsides. An exoskeleton for the soft. Rude. I'm not soft. Maybe a little soft. Hmm. Good night, Obi. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to be we're going to be calling it here. Um, after I finish up in town, I think I'm not going to push through the next section because Harpy and I got to have dinner. It's after 9 p.m. here. And, uh, and it's time. It's time. Okay. Uh, let's sell off this stuff. Do, 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 do. And, uh, we'll buy these runes because they're useful and we've got plenty of money. Okay, we've talked to him, we've talked to her, and let's stash our uniques. Because we got a new supply of uniques. I gotta figure out like who these are for. Cause uh goddamn. Also that ring, I guess we're not gonna use it. No, I don't care about you. Fuck off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I think that's good. Um let's uh let's make sure we save the game. Properly leave the game. Go back to character select. God damn, we did a lot, man. See what I mean though? Like this, this is a long, long, long thing. We haven't even really made it to the first big boss yet, of which there are three, I think. Um, or we've made it to one of four, depending how you look at it. I think. So level forty-one. God damn. Yeah, because my memory is I hit seventy, and it was like Jesus. I'm still in the campaign. And the campaign went on for a long time. So we, we still got quite a bit to go. And we will be continuing, I think. If you guys have been enjoying Last Epoch, I've certainly been enjoying playing it. Um, I think it's just fun. And uh, it, it's a good ARPG, and I enjoy it. And uh, it's kind of nice to do the story again, because I've forgotten a lot of it. It's been a long time since I did it. A very, very, very long time since I did it. So let me look around here. Let me just look around here. See if any any little fools are going on. Mm, Keo's going on. Um, Keo's, you know, I haven't, I haven't hit Keo up in a hot fucking minute. You guys want to go play with Keo? Could go play with Keo. Could also go play with Tuba Guy. Tuba Guy's another. Hmm, I've never rated Tuba Guy before. <laughs> or do we just want to end it? Um. Uh, hmm. I kind of feel, I kind of feel, I kind of feel, fuck, I don't know. I'm, I'm stuck in a feedback loop and I'm not breaking free. I'm not breaking free. I should be breaking free, but I'm not. Mm. Mm. Hold on just a sec. First off, we'll just see what, what's, what's going on. Oh, shut up, Kevin. Nobody wants to hear you. And we'll check over here and we'll just see what these two gentlemen are up to. We'll see what these gentlemen are up to. Oh, two big guys playing. Uh, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. He's playing Railroot. Yep, yep, yep. 
Q is doing live Lorcana lasagna. Lasagna. If Kyo's cooking, we're going to go visit Kyo because we're having dinner. I just want to see. I just want to see. Oh, he's watching uh, Nintendo Direct. Okay. Yeah, he's watching the Nintendo Direct stuff. Let's go visit Kyo. Let's go visit Kyo. I think that is what we're going to do. Do, 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 do. And we're going to just, we're just going to drop in there. You know, we're going to drop in there. We don't even need to worry about a raid message. Just uh, drop in, say hi, hang out. And, uh, oh, it's Kiba's and affiliate versary. Mm, I mean, we could do that. We could do that. All right, fine. All right, all right. God, I got to remember how many fucking A's are in Kiba's name now. Uh, or how many H's? What is it? Three H's? Four H's? Give me a little help here, Athena. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, get me, me out, out of here. here. <laughs> Good night, Noble. Good night, Noble. Thank you for hanging out today. Five. Okay. <laughs> I mistyped. Fair, fair. There we go. Boom and boom. All right, let's get over there to say hi to Kiba. Kiba's a, Kiba's a, uh, I ain't going to say wholesome. There ain't nothing wholesome about Kiba. Kiba's a little wholesome sometimes, but let's go over and let's go over and give, uh, had a blast. Thank you. I uh, had a good time for y'all and, uh, I'll be back Tuesday, usual time. If I don't stream tomorrow, Harpy is also home though and working all day tomorrow. So I'm going to be bored. So if you guys want a little bonus stream, it could happen. And if it happens, it'll probably happen earlier in the day or it'll happen in the evening or it'll do both. I don't know which, but um, I don't know. Let's get over there and say hi to Kiba and celebrate the fact that the, that it's an uh, affiliate versary. That's a big thing. I mean, I'm only six months in. I got six more to go. So uh, anytime you hit that year marker, it's very nice. And uh, I will see you guys hopefully soon. Love you all. Thank you for spending some of your time with me today. I'll talk to you guys soon.